All right, what's up, guys? Glad to be back. Yeah, welcome back, man. What are my in was? <laughs> yes. Oh man. <laughs> um, do we have much we need to say before we just get into it? Um, <laughs> well, I'll just, uh, I'll just kind of like you know, re- kind of reintroduce myself. I guess I'm Prometheus Prime. I was in previous streams before, and I'm a guest, and I'm glad to be back today here with the crew. Um, yeah, glad to have you on again. Yeah. So, so uh, you know, do you want to kind of just talk about a little bit about the video we're about to watch, or are we just gonna? Well. So, so the first video we're covering is uh, the Fallout fandom rant, and from the <laughs> thumbnail, you can tell it's uh, it's gonna be one of those oh both sides are bad, um, fucking, who knows how bad the argumentation's gonna get? I previewed a little bit of a couple months ago, and I think Prometheus, you said you'd seen part of it, and it's not good. Yeah. No, but, you know, it should be fun to just <laughs> cover, so. Alrighty then. Acritosis, thank you so much for recommending the Cowboy Bebop anime. It was awesome. Yeah, it's really good. I, okay. It's really good, everyone. Go check out the anime. Do not watch the Netflix show. Do not. Charging battery. Yep, absolutely. Charging Avoid battery. Show at all, at all costs. Yeah, I- General rule of thumb for me is uh, avoiding most of the uh, the the adaptations that Netflix does for anime and stuff. You know. Anyways, uh, should we just get right to it then? Yes, I'm ready. Ready yeah. for it. Yep. All right. So it turns out this is a much harder video. Oh, hold to, on. Uh... Um... Volume's super low for me. Uh, yeah, that might that might be a thing on his end because it was really low for me as well. All right, turn. Uh, well, my, the volume on mine was turned down a bit because we were watching those pearled videos and they were super loud. No, that's fair. So, all right, pearled those fantastic Dark Souls videos, everybody. Yeah. Um, fifty PLN from Geiger. Thank you. Polish Lodi. Polish Lodi. Hi, unfortunately I won't be able to watch the stream, so I'll send a super chat. Oh, thank you. Um, hope you have a good one. So it turns out this is a much harder video to, uh, make than I first thought. Big problem inside of Fallout. And the problem isn't the games, it's the fans. And just... Well, I mean, I disagree with you already there. Like, <laughs> yeah. the problem is, uh, yeah. that's the games. Yeah, and I know this is going to come up, so we kind of have to make it clear now. The problem... How how do we describe this without it seeming like... Because here's the thing. Um, I don't hate Bethesda in the sense that, oh, they can never do any good. I just hate what they're doing currently, which is not making good games. If Bethesda makes some really good games, I'd be really, really happy about that. Um. That's not what we're getting, unfortunately, though. Like, a lot of the criticism against Bethesda's recent uh, games is absolutely valid. Uh, $5 Super Chat from Peace was never an option. Thank you very much. Kratosis, it's 11 a.m. Time for your self-inflicted pain. Yeah, yeah it's 2 much. p.m. for me. But, uh... There is, uh... There is a lot of divide between the fans, except the problem with this, and what we'll probably get into, is... One set of fans, the ones saying Bethesda can do no wrong, constantly lie and make stuff up and misrepresent shit from the other side, while the ones that are saying Obsidian should get another chance at this uh, don't have to do that. Yeah. New Vegas definitely has issues, but they're nowhere near as big or as deep as the issues in Fallout 3 and 4, or Skyrim. And, um... I was going to say something... Yeah, I was going to say something else there, but I forgot. It happens every stream. I guess it's happening early today. Oh? What? You said, yeah, what happens early today? Oh, did I cut out there? 
Uh, for me, you did. I don't know if there anybody else you did. Oh, well, I just said, um, I had something else I wanted to say, but I forgot. It seems to happen every stream, but I guess what's happening early uh, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, there, no, there's legitimate issues with Bethesda's Fallout, and I just think it's silly that so many people try to ignore it or pretend it's not there. Like, people, obviously I can't speak for everyone, but I think everyone in this call will agree with me when I say we don't hate Bethesda simply for the sake of hating Bethesda. We just dislike what they're doing. We want them to yeah. make good games. I. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, well, here's a comment here I want to specifically highlight. PTRD41 says, I don't pick sides. I think games should be judged on merit, not who made them. Yeah, exactly. Right we, we are judging that right there. We are judging Fallout 3 based off of its own merits, and it's terrible. We're judging Fallout 4 based on its own merits, and it's terrible. We just follow 76 based on its own merits, and it's fucking terrible. Yeah. And then it just That's... so happens that all three of these games are made by the same company. So it's, again, once whatever it's a fluke twice is a coincidence three times it's a pattern yeah and that's yeah. the thing too is um if you point out that these three games are not that good then people on that side will just automatically categorize you as a bethesda hater uh an obsidian new vegas fan bully so yeah uh two dollar super chat from the great azal thank you there's a. Uh, no message with it, though. Yeah. Um, I think I remember what I was going to say, too. Um, again, I hate to keep bringing this up as an example. It's just a really good example. The Many a True Nerd video I responded to, uh, Fallout 3 is better than you think. He could have made that video in such a way where it didn't require disingenuous arguments or him lying about New Vegas. Um... He could have made a video talking about the things he genuinely likes about the game, or maybe actually find some uh, good things in the game to talk about. But then we get, oh, well, uh, Fallout 3 has dialogue first, so that shows the developers prioritized that. Um, the developers of New Vegas had you tutorialize shooting immediately. Skill checks only come in quite a bit down the line. Well, there's four skill checks in the first fucking room of the entire game. And yeah. we know he knows a. Um, yeah, sorry. We know we he knows know, two of them exist. Yeah, we know he knows two of them exist because he streamed it two years prior, in which he interacts with them. Yeah. I uh, also want to point out, Karochi says Bethesda, and Karochi knows better. He he's just stirring the pot. Uh, Karochi says Bethesda may have made a lot of bad games recently, but at least ESO was good. Yeah, which. Croce knows it was not made by Bethesda. <laughs> and a one euro <laughs> super chat from Enclave Emily. Thank you. Uh, and there's yeah. a message under it. Uh, roses are red. I'm not a scholar, but I want to say here, have a dollar. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, I think that's just an example of someone who needed to lie about New Vegas in order to defend Fallout 3. Like, Again, I hate to yeah. keep bringing it up. It's just a really good example of a really bad video defending Fallout 3. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'm a it's in the games. It's for fans. Just saying that makes me want to click stop and record, delete the audio, as I've done multiple times already now. This is a hard video to make because I'm talking to Fallout fans being like, hey, you're a problem. And as a YouTuber, that feels like career suicide. But this... It's not career suicide if it's an active, objective fact. Again, our big example of the fans being a problem is the Undertale community. It isn't the game's fault that the Undertale community is a psychotic, ravenous, absolute piece of shit, garbage dumpster fire. That is the fandom. Yeah. That is what they have fostered. Yeah. So yes, that is one of those things of if it absolutely is true... Undertale is my shining example of the fans are the fucking problem. It, it also goes into how he uh, presents his arguments, like how he presents everything, because he's all saying that like uh, uh, criticizing fans of New Vegas or fans of like the entire Fallout series is like career suicide. It's like, how are you going to go about doing that exactly? 
You know, that's what matters, whether it's career and suicide or not. And even then, it probably won't be, you know? Yeah. Like, like, well, I, I can't see if this, we can't see anymore if this video got ratioed or whatever, but, you know. Oh, no, we can. All you have oh. to do is you just download a, a no. single attachment and you can see all the well, dislike bars again. Let, let oh, me, let that. me, let me go check. Uh, <laughs> fandom rant. Um... I don't know if uh, I don't know if the Undertale fandom is still as bad as it was, but it was fucking ravenous for a yeah. long while there. Yeah, am I, I remember general... uh, they? I, I remember they bullied uh, Markiplier off the uh, video game for a while because yeah. he was doing. He wasn't even really killing anybody. He wasn't doing anything too bad in his first playthrough, but I think he stole. He took too many candies in his, his first playthrough, yes. and then people were. He took too many still... candies, and therefore Markiplier must die. Sort of thing came about. Like, yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. Yeah, and that. You go ahead. But um, there's something important, and he. No, stop. Okay. Uh, 352 upvotes, 22 downvotes. Okay. Oh. So. Okay. More people uh, agree with it than disagree. There. You go. Well, there you go. You know? So maybe he might have done it well, or. Also, Maybe people just, you know. Sorry, this is yeah. just a bit weird, but this is a channel with uh, over 37,000 followers, and this view has less than, or sorry, this video has less than 4,000 views, which is, man, those are some bad numbers for a channel that big. Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. I think my Acer Throne video already has more views than that. And it's just like <laughs> a shit post. Well, not a shit post, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's continue. But this bottom that needs to be said, because we need to have a discussion Hang on, I'm gonna about... pause for a second. Let's go back. It, but it's... My video's skipping all over the place. Yeah, mine is skipping too. Yeah, same. Like career suicide? But there's something important, because we need to, all of us, have a discussion about toxicity within the community. Because... It feels like it's growing. Just non-stop. It keeps happening. And the examples I see of it... They're not great. They're not terrible. They could be worse, I guess. But they're constant. And that is the real problem. Because there is now a common narrative within Fallout. That we all hear, we all see, it happens all the time. It's... Bethesda is ruining the franchise. I think New Vegas is the best. Oh no, New Vegas fan, you're an idiot who's stuck in the past. Can't you see all the improvements Bethesda have actually made? Why don't you acknowledge these things? You're just putting Obsidian on a pedestal. Oh no, you don't realise Bethesda's all just about the money. You're an idiot who's just paying tons of cash all the time for broken products. This needs to stop. So, this is no, that absolutely seems like... it does not need to stop. That seems like a really <laughs> reductive way to even describe the conflict to me. That is a very reductive yeah. way, but listen to what he's talking about. Uh, stop giving companies money for broken products. No, no, so you're not allowed to tell people that. No, that's bad. No, <laughs> yeah, that you too. Absolutely, hold people. You should hold fucking companies to that standard. Well, I think stop yeah, like, giving people if, money that they give you broken <laughs> shit. If I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, I think his point is people are saying that and it's not true. But that's the problem. Is it? It's, the problem it is, is it is true. Yeah. Again, like, again, that's if I'm giving this, him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, this is the issue here. One side is speaking in truths. The other side is lying, manipulating, and misrepresenting. That's the big problem, and that's why the divide comes in and people get fucking entrenched. Yeah. One side is being inherently unreasonable. I mean, Unfortunately. The thing, the thing is, like, I say all the time, you can, like the fallout games you can like all different fallout games for different reasons and you know you it, you don't have to like this idea that there are sides this or that like a lot of i think that a lot of that is a a, a false dichotomy you know what i'm saying you can like all the fallout games for your own reasons you know yeah uh, exactly we even again in a recent whoops i accidentally hit my mic in a recent video when we were talking about um skyrim we absolutely said that you can like Skyrim. We're saying it's objectively bad, and the key word there is objectively. But if Skyrim was the first game you played with your father or your mother or your sister or brother or whatever, that makes it subjectively important and special to you. So you can like the thing. Liking the thing doesn't fucking matter. 
it's uh-huh. if it's, it has the quality. If it, if there's actual quality there, that's what matters. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's kind of like uh, for me, it's kind of like the Dark Souls series, where uh, a lot of people will say Dark Souls Two is a terrible game. Why do you like playing it so much? Well, you know, for me, I I like certain aspects about it. I like that I can heal more. I like I can like there's a lot of things that I can do. Uh, I know Dark Souls Two isn't really that great of a Dark Souls, but I still like it, you know. And that might be also due to the fact that uh, I'm bad at Dark Souls. That might be part of it. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm bad at Dark Souls uh, I too. Will, I need to play more. I will absolutely, <laughs> man. When I I can't wait. Whenever I finish the Dark Souls video, I cannot wait to go into Dark Souls Two and explain why it's objectively shit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, do it, man. I still. Either way, I'll still like Dark Souls. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, exactly. You, you shouldn't. And that's and that's and that shouldn't. shouldn't feel that doesn't affect it. it. You know what I mean? Like, it shouldn't affect it. But all these people, they somehow, you know, they 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 conflate their intrinsic value as a person to the quality of the things that they, the media that they ingest. Yeah. So if you are seemingly attacking their favorite game or movie or this or that, you are essentially attacking them, according to them. Yeah. So they get defensive. Yeah. And they lie so, and manipulate. And in keeping with the same example, Dark Souls 2, like how many of the people that say it's a great game, it was their first Souls game? Your first experience in the Souls genre, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, whatever it is, will be that much more special to you because they do things differently than other game genres. Mhm. So that that already ties in a uh, that already ties in a bit more uh, of self worth. You're you're because it was your first, your very first. Uh-huh. I, I rarely hear anybody that says Dark Souls Two is a good game where it wasn't their first, where they came into it later, like they played maybe Demon Souls and Dark Souls, and they're like, no, Dark Souls Two is the best of them. I've never heard that. <laughs> Yeah, Dark Souls 2 was my uh, first Dark Souls game, so, yeah. So that's, that's a pretty yeah. spot-on observation. Uh, Greg, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to the Super yeah. Chat. Uh, $5 from Topher96. Thank you. I have to go to work today, so I'll watch the stream later. Goodbye, furry EFAP. Uh, I'm not a furry. <laughs> I'm still not a furry. You will not corrupt me! Yeah. Um, and it's coming here from ScorcherCast. I have 1,000 plus hours in Fallout 4. It's a shit game by almost all ah. metrics, but you can still find fun in it. Um, doesn't make it any good, though. Yeah, exactly. You can. Well, there's someone. Oh, well, I found someone in chat, at least. Lawrence yeah. Poole says, Dark Souls 2 was the second Dark Souls game I played after Dark Souls 1. I had already watched a YouTuber play the three main games, still prefer Dark Souls 2. But... Oh, so you had already watched somebody else do it, though. I mean, again, so you weren't really going in as a blind experience in any of them, then, apparently. Trust me, going in blind, which is absolutely recommended, go into these Souls games as blind as possible. Don't look up guides, don't look up the wiki, stuff like that. Don't listen to fucking Yahtzee who says the only way to enjoy these games is to look at the wiki in multiple playthroughs. Don't fucking do that. You're already corrupted, Cree. No, I'm not. <laughs> I refuse. Uh, $2 super chat from a guy under a bridge. Bloodborne actually got me into the Souls genre. Well, nice. Yeah, glad to hear it. I'm interested. I know, I know my the... buddy. Uh, I know Rappar doesn't like the Dark Souls. Doesn't like the Dark Souls and Demon Souls, but he loves Bloodborne because he just doesn't like the the fantasy feel of the Souls games. It's like that's fine, but he is all for Lovecraftian Victorian horror. Hell yes. Um, I do like the rumor that Bloodborne is coming to PC. That would be very interesting. I am super... I Again, it's a, it's a leak slash rumor. I am super fucking hopeful that it's true, but yeah. obviously, dump truck of salt. In fact, take multiple... Take a convoy of salt. Yeah. But yeah, the, the rumor is, for anyone... The rumor slash leak, for anyone that doesn't know, is that the Bloodborne... Bloodborne is getting a remaster that will be releasing on PlayStation 5 and PC. And I'm like, oh, yes, I, I'd please really, do that. I'd really like that to be the case, honestly. 
Uh, the PS1 port of Bloodborne is going to be playable on PC, as far as we know. Okay. Uh, they said they said remaster Proteus. They spe- they specified remaster, not remake. But we'll see. Hmm. Again, we- the first thing has to be is this has to be true. The second thing then will be is it a remaster or a remake? Kratos, did you ever play GDA Four? Uh, yes, I did. I liked it. I had fun with it. Anyways, uh, are we good to continue? Yep. Uh, yeah, yep. yeah. Let's just uh, roll this back just a little bit. You stuck in the Can't you see all the improvements Bethesda have actually made? Why don't you? You're just putting Obsidian on a pedestal. Oh no, you don't realize Bethesda's all just about the money. You're an idiot who's just paying tons of cash all the time for broken products. This needs to stop. This is stupid. And guess what? The people on both sides are idiots yeah feel good no okay no. so one it's not stupid to call out companies for delivering broken fucking products that's just the thing broken or shit products there there yes there is a distinction they should absolutely be called on it and also the other thing too is if you're trying to convince people that hey you're wrong in doing this thing calling them stupid isn't generally a good idea like, maybe yeah. if they're being completely unreasonable in response to you, then yeah, go ahead and call them stupid. But this is your opening argument. Like, yeah, you guys are being uh, stupid. Um, yeah. Not, not like, a good way to start you could this. Say, you could say, if you still want to be disparaging but give people an out, is that both sides have are flawed or both sides are just confused or both sides have uh, issues. You don't immediately say... Both of you are idiots. Well, now yeah. you've already you've already erected that brick wall. There was somebody who's like, "Well, you're just an asshole. I ain't gonna fucking listen to you now." Yeah, because it, exactly. That's kind. Of, this is kind of the point where I stopped from previewing it because it's told me all I needed to know. It's uh, oh, I'm an idiot if I say Bethesda isn't doing good things with Fallout. Okay. Yeah. I mean, all right then. Grant, granted, the the people that he's talking about are very much in the fringes are, are they're they're very much in, in like the the minority places and it's like yeah i mean in defense of him yeah those guys kind of are being idiots people who say there's absolutely nothing good that has become of the franchise later or 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 you know bethesda or, or obsidian's uh fallout new vegas is old and and used up and there's nothing of value there it's like yeah those people are being foolish yeah, there, there's absolutely the fringe crazies in pretty much in any group. Yeah, um, yeah. But the problem is he didn't make that distinction here. He didn't say, this is specifically towards the fringe crazies. You you guys are idiots. He said, no, both sides are idiots for fighting with each other. Whoa, yeah. no, hold on. What? Dumb and Chaos says, Dark Souls 3 tries to be Bloodborne and Dynasty Warriors while also recycling almost literally everything. Oh. No. No. I'm sorry. That's all you get out of that. No. Yeah, I, I, don't I disagree on that. Know what the fuck you're trying to even go for there, yeah. Jesus. Well, I don't even have a frame of reference in Dark Souls Three, but even I know that that's not right. <laughs> I don't even know if it's like that at all. But that doesn't sound right. You know? No, it it absolutely isn't. <laughs> Anyways, those are casual broken products. This needs to stupid. And guess what? The people on both sides are idiots. Yeah, feel good people on both sides. You call each other idiots, guess what? You both get to be right. Oh yeah, as you can tell, I'm fed up of this. I'm just saying, screw it at this point. I'm not going with every other recording I've done of this. I've tried to lean into a very tame approach. I'm like, hey everyone, let's just get along. This will be fine. No, now I'm just like, oi kids, shut up, you're being idiots. Just smash their heads together. Huh. <sighs> Because honestly, I think the people I'm talking about there are in the minority. But when I said, like, oh, the New Vegas fan and oh, the 76 fan, people most likely will have put themselves more towards one side or the other. Because chances are you might prefer one game over the other, and you might prefer the more modern games, you might prefer the older games. That's fine. It's fine. It really is. You can prefer whichever games you prefer. The problem. Yeah, so, again, basically what we're saying, you can like whatever game you like. Where Are you going somewhere with this? I mean, you already, like, said that you're, these people are like children you need to smack their heads together and shit. It's like, what the fuck? Okay. Well, well the thing is, uh, 
uh, I also want to say, like, I said this in my uh, Marwin retrospective uh, for to Acer Thorne a while ago, and I'll say it again. If these people are such a minority, why are you giving them so much attention? Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Like, 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 like that's the Wait. thing. Like, we, we, we give attention to the people who aren't paying attention, aren't adding anything of, uh, of substance to the conversation, who are disrupting everybody else. Like, why do we give them any attention? I never understood that. No. Neither do I. Well, mine, I'm going to have to backtrack here. Demon Chaos says, how many large hordes did Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, or Dark Souls 2 have? Demon Souls had a lot of hordes. Dark Souls 1, not so much. Dark Souls 2 had a fuck ton of them. Entire boss fights were based around hordes. How many unique assets does Dark Souls 3 have? A fuck ton of them. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, nearly the entire thing has unique assets. And then they go on to say, 30 plus invisible, invisible bitches in just one basement near it, though. More like 15, and the, most of them are crawling on the ground. So, very easy to avoid. Yeah, I've never had an issue with that the area. Deacon's I usually just walk. Was, yeah, it was a horde boss, but they were weak. In fact, they are one of the easiest boss fights in Dark Souls 3. That's why mods tend to add in more enemies or give them more mechanics or up their aggression to insanity to make it an actual tough fight. Yeah. The very first bit after Fire Link, if you don't kill the Lantern Lad and quite a few more massive mobs, the lantern lad is introducing you to the idea that somebody will call for help. If you do kill the lantern guy, nobody else comes. If you don't kill the lantern guy, four people come. Four. Oh my god, that massive horde. Yes, I'm being disingenuous, but Jesus Christ, you fucking earned it now. <laughs> uh, also note the yeah, enemy that's... designs of Dark Souls 3 far more closely resemble Bloodborne than Dark Souls. On certain enemies, yes. On the vast majority, no. What are you talking about? Just look at the Dark Souls 1 Undead Dragon and what Miyazaki said regarding its design. Okay, that doesn't fucking matter. Dark Souls 3 has almost no unique armors, weapons, NPCs. What? Are you fucking what? kidding me? That they literally recycled what? both the Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 halberd as well as the model animations of Andre. Oh my god, you, are you actually going to make the claim? Jesus Christ, we talked about this yesterday on stream. Yeah. Of So, I'm going to legitimately ask you a question here, Dome Man Chaos. If Kratos has to get in a boat in the new God of War, is it not okay for them to use the same animation of Kratos getting in the boat? Because he's getting in the boat. Is that not a, is that not allowed? Because it's getting into the fucking boat. Is it not okay that the blacksmith is hammering away like a blacksmith would? So, about Fallout. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to fucking do that. But Jesus Christ, sorry. When you hear something su uh, such an insane shit take, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is some of the worst takes I've ever heard. Uh, are we good to continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's yes. keep going. Yeah. Yes, let's, we'll backtrack it a bit from there, but yeah, holy fucking Christ. Alright, I'll let you do the backtracking and press play then, since... Oh, actually, we did, I forgot, we were at 2.30, we've already backtracked. Alright. Chances are, you might prefer one game over the other, and you might prefer the old games. That's fine. It's fine. It really is. You can prefer whichever games you prefer. The problem is that this preference then kind of puts you in a camp because mm. there is a really stupid binary discourse that's all uh, you're either with us or against us. No. And, that's, and, there's, and there's the false dichotomy I was talking about earlier. Right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, so... You could also like all the games equally. That is yeah. a possibility. Like They didn't even consider that idea, but you know, there it there, is. There are people that like fallout games just because they like fallout well they don't think beyond I, that it's, I, it's a fallout game i like it i have an active example of this uh tks mantis cool dude check him out um he seems to like all the fallout games he uh, he streams all of them fairly regularly at least last i checked and yeah he has 
some criticisms about... I think... I know I've seen him criticize Fallout 3 and 4 a bit, but he still really enjoys them and still plays them. And he does, like, yeah. lore videos. and he, He's been doing a bunch of YouTube shorts on them that, hey, here's this neat little thing in Fallout 3 and 4 and New Vegas and 1 and 2 and all that. So... Um, he still plays Fallout 76 sometimes, and he has a lot of criticism of that, and he still plays it with people. Yeah. Right. You know, so this idea that just, like, you liking a particular game puts you in this, like, this camp of, oh, either I'm this or that. It's like, that's completely, like, that's a very ridiculous notion, and people who actually act like that are, like we said before, in the minority who shouldn't even get any uh, attention to begin with. Yeah. Let me back off a bit. Then kind of puts you in a camp because there is a really stupid binary discourse that's all uh, you're either with us or against us. And I see it all the time. It, uh, even though I'd say the majority of us who enjoy Fallout enjoy multiple of the games, there's just these kind of Small, very loud minorities out there. Just a small segment of... So if you know they're a small but loud minority, you, you already admitted and tipped your hand that it's a small group. Why are you giving them credence then? Yeah. Yeah. Again, to, to partially oh. call to Prometheus Prime's video on Dark Souls, the guy he was responding to said that there are people... In the Souls community, they say you're not a real gamer unless you've beaten Dark Souls. It's like, that is such a tiny, small minority of crazy people. Why are you even listening to them? Exactly. Like, yeah. And, and that that's that's what annoys me. Like them. I mean, I mean, okay. I to kind of go back to what he said earlier. I, he says that he's annoyed by them. You know, which is fine. You can be annoyed by them if you want to, right? But they're a minor inconvenience at best that you made a 16 minute and 22 second video about them, you know, like addressing yeah. them. Oh. Yeah. Again, you, you've already, you've already given away the fact that this is a small, a very small vocal group. And also so, the, the other thing for me is, is he actually talking about the small vocal group or is he painting broader strokes here and including anyone who is critical of fallout three and four? But not... Well, the first one, it sounded like at the start he was painting in broad strokes. Now that's... he's saying it's a very small minority. But that's so why now but that's we're why... getting mixed that's... messages. That's exactly what I'm getting at, though, is a lot of the people who uh, make these kinds of arguments do paint broad strokes while saying, oh, it's just a small minority. But, like, they're, they're still including the people who are like us, who, yeah, Fallout 3 and 4 are not good games. Here's why. Oh, well, you're just the... Uh, the haters basically you know yeah um I mean, yeah i mean i'm a hater even though sometimes i have a lot of fun playing fallout 4 and 3 yeah you know? like and I, here... I like certain aspects of these games you know yeah and here's the thing too is i'm sure if you look hard enough you can find someone who thinks you know obsidian is god and bethesda can do no evil or sorry bethesda could do no right but you can also find the vice versa, too, that Bethesda is God and Obsidian can do no right. You're going to find those crazies if you look hard enough. But yeah, it's, it's the thing we've been saying. Why give those people attention? And, and that's why videos like this kind of bug me, because it's not exactly clear who he's talking about. He says it's a small minority, but it seems like he's talking about the people who have genuine criticism. Oh God! What? <laughs> I like this comment just because it's it's such a good shit post. Forsaken says Fallout is a wacky post-apocalyptic game about big green men and laser weapons intended for children. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. You're either with us or against us, and I see it all the time. It uh, even though I'd say the majority. By the way, um, I don't see it near that often, so that seems like hyperbole. Yeah. I see it all the time. This is one of those... People say that, like, they're hyper-toxic Obsidian fanboys. Like, I don't see them that often. 
I would love yeah. for you to give examples and show them I, and everything like that, because I, I don't see them. I think I've seen exactly one in my own comment section, and uh, it was a guy saying he cut off people who liked Fallout 3, and... I don't know. Oh, yeah, just, I do remember that comment. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. Just somebody, yeah. just, if there's anybody he talks to that says that they like Fallout 3, then he blocks them and removes them from his life and everything like that. It's like, yeah, okay. Okay, I've seen one. We've seen one. <laughs> yeah, we've seen one. And and See even then, that's more. like, man, that is such a shitty thing to hear because, like, this guy said he got rid of some of his friends who liked the game. It's like, you ended yeah. your own friendship with someone because they liked the game. Yeah. Yeah, that's Yeah, that's that was insane. Crazy. When but he in, said that, I was like, "Wow." But in yeah, all like... of this discussion, like this game has been out for uh over 10 years now. In all of the discussions I've seen on New Vegas and uh Fallout 3, this is the only comment I've seen of that kind. Yeah. Same. Um which 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 is I think is kind of interesting Kratosis cuz you know, you've made uh, content that is critical of Fallout 3 and 4, and you would think that there would be some people would show up and be like, hey, I'm defending it in this particular way, but as you said, those fringe groups are very, very, like a very much a minority. So, I yeah. don't know. In fact, shouldn't my videos be something of a lightning rod for those kinds of people where they come in and, yeah, there's nothing exactly. Bethesda could ever do well. I've hardly ever seen them. Yeah. Like I said, I've seen that one comment that was anywhere close to being that extreme. Yeah, that's not to say that, like, they don't exist, but uh, they're a very vocal minority, so why are we devoting so much time and energy to, like, these people who don't do anything for the series? Like, don't add anything of value or substance to the conversation. Like, why? I never understood that. Yeah. Yeah, and it really doesn't help that while he says that it's a small mi minority, he also paints in broad strokes. So you can't we'll have really... to see. We'll have to see uh... if he's going to keep narrowing it down, or if he's going to go back to broad strokes or whatever. Because right now, we're in, we're two contradictory stances, where he sees this all the fucking time. But it's a small, little, tiny minority of people, guys. It's a small, little, tiny minority that's very vocal, but they're very small, minor. We'll have to see what happens. I once removed someone from my friend group before for calling light green, light blue. I was like eight at the time, but hey, I've done worse. Um, <laughs> such, the code is Being... teal. <laughs> it is teal! No, no. Yes! We're going to yeah. remove you from our lives if you don't admit it. <laughs> You're yeah, burning bridges! Tur turns out, what we found out, chat, was that my main monitor has a blue light filter on it. <laughs> so that I don't I don't want to hurt my eyes. So, yeah. Most of chat isn't going to know what we're talking about. We streamed Forewarned. We need to play more of that. And uh, my character had a, a teal coat on, and he was calling it green. Yeah. <laughs> because it looked really fucking green. And, it is teal. Yeah, it was just funny because <laughs> it turns out my monitor has a built-in blue light filter. Um, I have it actually cranked way up now, so now my, my eyes feel way better too, by the way. So I highly recommend getting blue light filters for people. Ben sets for being colorblind. <laughs> I'm not colorblind. If I had actually pulled the game over on my other monitor, which doesn't have any filtering, I would have seen it was teal. Easy peasy. But it's funny because what I the way we discovered this was... I took a teal color swatch and I had it on the other monitor and it looked like teal. Then I pulled it onto the main monitor and it looked exactly the same color as Kratos's coat. And I was like, that looks fucking green. Uh oh. And then I realized, <laughs> oh yeah, my monitor has blue light filtering. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's continue. To enjoy Fallout, enjoy multiple of the games, it's just these kind of small, very loud minorities out there, just a small segment of the community who go, no, if you like New Vegas, you have to love the Obsidian games, hate the Bethesda ones. No. Who says that? Give an no, example. Who? Show us Please someone... Show, examples. show us numerous examples, because I'm sure you can find one crazy person who says that. Show us, like, Three. I don't know, a dozen Three comments of people saying that. I'd say, like I said, three is a pattern. Show us three separate people 
saying that. Not one person saying it on three different videos. No, no, no. Three separate people. Because at this point, this is just a claim without uh, substance. Yeah. I mean, the, the idea that you have to hate the, the Bethesda ones or the Obsidian ones because you like... That this, is ridiculous. This is actually the same thing Miniature Nerd started out his uh, Fallout 3 video. It wasn't enough to uh, just like Fallout New Vegas. No, if you liked Fallout New Vegas... Uh, Bethesda was the devil. No, sorry. Bethesda was your sworn nemesis. Todd Howard was the devil, and blah 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 blah. Whatever the fucking quote was, you yeah, get the point. No, no to all of that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I've literally never seen. Well, besides that one comment that I got, I've literally never seen anyone act like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, you need to bring your proof for that. Yeah. Segment of the key who go, no, if you like New Vegas, you have to love the Obsidian games, hate the Bethesda ones. And then in retaliation to that, the people who end up enjoying 76, or maybe got introduced to the franchise before and played that way, they're like, hey no, why are you insulting these games I like? I like these games, why can't you see it? I'm now going to get defensive. Oh. So, you, you've now accidentally discovered the fucking problem here. Okay. The people are criticizing the games that these people like. Oh, that means you think I'm bad. Well, now I'm going to get defensive and shit like that. Yeah, well, so you're actually highlighting the problem here. Well, not the just that. Yeah. Not just that. Look at the framing. It's the New Vegas fans who are the problem. It's the Fallout, yep. the Bethesda Fallout fans who are on the defense. Yes, which is so beyond fucking not true. It is, it is Bizarro World. It is the Bethesda fans that are constantly attacking the New Vegas fans constantly well not not, yes. not just that what i'm kind of getting at is look at how he's showing the two fan bases in different lights it's the new vegas fans who are the problem they're the ones who are attacking this game and say yeah. oh if you like you uh if you like new vegas you can't like the bethesda games and the bethesda fans are all why aren't you attacking our game we're going to get defensive he's com he's portraying yeah. these two groups in entirely different lights to be beneficial to uh bethesda and to make Fallout New Vegas fans look bad. Yep. Oh, like, but, he, uh, he's but, but, betraying but, the New Vegas fans as the aggressor. Yeah, but but remember, guys, these are just the minority. Even though I'm yeah. painting broad strokes. Yep. Crazy. Yeah. And, and remember, like, how many both... times? Go ahead, I'll let you go. Ahead. Remember, both sides are bad, but I'm clearly going to take the side of one of them. Hmm. Yeah. And how many times have we responded to a video, not just like ones calling New Vegas shit, like people could do that, whatever. How many times have we responded to a video where they try to defend the games they like, like Fallout 4, Fallout 3, and all they do is lie and shit on people who like New Vegas, and then we respond to them? Yeah. Like, it's not this dichotomy of a uh, Fallout New Vegas fan attacks uh, all, like, you know, Bethesda fans, and then Bethesda fans defend themselves. No, they, a lot of the time they make their own videos completely unprompted from anybody where they just, you know, they're like, to, in order to build up the games that they like, they shit on the New Vegas fans. They're like, because they're like, well, they think it's so good, but if they were to just look at this game and see how good it actually is, they wouldn't be so fucking stupid. Yeah. And it's like, okay. See, the fuck? Uh, when I when I made my uh, response to Acer Thorne's Marlin video, I I uh, uh, I touched on a little bit the uh, the charge of elitism, uh, the idea that like you know, you know New Vegas fans are somehow elitist and blah blah blah, and it's like that idea is ridiculous to me. But it, and another thing too, it's not that we think we're better than you. Or, or they think they're better than you because they like New Vegas. Like no one's better than anybody for having a for liking a particular piece of media. Yeah, know? exactly. So the i so the idea that okay, those people who think they're better than others because they like New Vegas, well, that's that's ridiculous. Like those people who do that shouldn't even be like in the conversation at all. Shouldn't be able to speak honestly. They're again. They're the crazy people. Exactly. It, why? Why are you giving credence to the fucking crazy people? Is this going to become a situation where we have to take every conspiracy nut job 
as being 100% factual and indicative of an entire side. Like, mm-hmm. Jesus, no. Please don't. Don't start falling into that sort of world. Right. <laughs> yeah, and um, that's the thing is, again, you could look and find someone that's a crazy weirdo like Azerthorn and point to him and say, oh yeah, look, uh, the Bethesda fans aren't actually playing the full game to find out what's in it, and they're complaining about stuff. You could easily do that, but that would also yeah. be just, just as disingenuous as what this kind of shit is. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's not even fair to bring up Acer Thorn when it comes to, like, Bethesda fanboys. Just, yeah, that but that, that's what I'm getting there. at, is it's it's someone <laughs> yeah. like him that, he, that this guy is trying to refer to on the New Vegas side. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, let's uh, continue. Did you already wind it back, Such? Yes, I already wound it back. Okay. Closing these games. Like, I like these games, why can't you see it? I and it's terrible. And the worst part is, I think we're all guilty of this. And I know I am. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit no. about my oh. personal journey okay. with all this. Because it's easy Shoot. to talk about all the extremist people who are just taking these ridiculous stances and think, well, I'm not one of them. I know I'm a sane and rational person. So I can just, like, tune out. It's fine. Yeah, screw those people who are being stupid. Yeah, go Sarge, whatever. I agree. This is fine. But we all do it. At least to a small degree. Do we? Okay, so now you're definitely going to have to fucking show the legwork now, my... Yeah, that's a... You know, I'm pressing X to doubt on that. I don't... No. Uh, Five pounds super chat from Kunna Gaming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, love the show, but first time I have caught you live, this sounds more like a him problem. It kind of does. Yes. Yeah, so far. we'll, We'll have to see... He, he has now made a claim that everybody, everyone, note he made sure to say everyone, every single person has done this same exact thing. Well, Sash, so, don't, don't you know that uh, everyone is the smallest minority? Fucking, yeah, <laughs> a minority of one. I mean, I, I'm curious as to how he'll no. go into, uh, you know, like, like everyone's done this to some small extent. Like, I mean, I don't. Like how minuscule do you have to be? Like, okay, is it me? Is it is it bad enough? Am I a toxic fan for saying, uh, you know, Fallout Four is not good, but Fallout New Vegas is 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 a good game? Like, is is does that put me in the category of the crazy people because I have a preference? Is is that an issue now? I, yeah. I don't get it. Is having standards for quality mean we're in the crazy camp? Yeah, exactly. Like, what what are we working with here? This yeah. is kind How of why you need to define your terms, because if I make a video and say, oh yeah, you know, all the crazies who uh, defend Bethesda and whatever, but I don't elaborate on, like, okay, so anyone who defends Bethesda is a crazy? No, no, just, just you know, the crazies. The fuck does that mean? Right. You You have to define the groups you're talking about is it the small minority is it everyone well according to this guy it's both um so yeah to to understand what you're talking about you need to define clearly what groups you're talking about uh are we good to continue yeah yeah yeah, let's let's wind back a bit. The toxicity is spreading. And... Oh, I don't think it wound back there for me. Yeah, it didn't wind back. Yeah, we didn't wind back yet. All right, there we go. Agree, this is fine. But we all do it, at least to a small degree. Because the toxicity is spreading. And I've been infected with it. Only a little bit. But now, when... Oh, God, it feels terrible. It's difficult for me to talk about New Vegas or 76 at all. If I'm New Vegas, then I'm always worried that 76 fans will think that I'm like this person who only likes the relics of the past and is going to hate on them for enjoying. Well, you congratulations! You just you just described the people as fucking psychotic relics of the past. If they have that mindset, they are physically incapable of thought. And another thing too. Why are you so uh, concerned with 
what other trying things? to cater to that to that audience exactly the yeah. audience that instantly sees you playing new vegas and says oh look at this guy relics of the past this guy loves those things you know he hates the newer games or whatever like those people you shouldn't even want to cater to that audience at all like do you really want those people as your fans well yes. I, I think one of the easiest examples we could reference is um you're kind of damned if you do and damned if you don't with in this situation with the actual crazies yeah and the they're example crazy. is efap and superhero movies they're criticizing MCU. Oh well, you're just DC EU fanboys. They're criticizing uh, bleh. criticizing the DC EU. Oh, you're just MCU fanboys. It's a yeah. no-win situation uh -huh. with the crazies. If you criticize both franchises, they'll ignore that you've criticized the one they like and still call you a fanboy of the other for, you know. True. True that. Yeah. E either way, you shouldn't even be concerned with those people. Yeah. Yes. The fact yeah. that you are concerned about that says a lot more about you as a person that maybe your fundamentals, maybe your principles aren't as rock solid as you think they are and they could be easily swayed. Uh. Maybe you are a fake person. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he's he's a real person. Um No, I mean fake as in putting on airs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you are concerned what the fucking crazy people think, then yeah, maybe you aren't as principled and as sturdy of a person in your beliefs as you think you are. This is definitely a you problem. Yeah. Yeah, because most normal people, if they see a crazy who, oh, you're praising New Vegas, that means you hate 76. It's like, okay, hold on. Um, it reminds me of that tweet where someone says, Twitter will always take things out of context. You say, I like pancakes, and someone comes in saying, oh, so that means you hate waffles then. Motherfucker, I said nothing about waffles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, those kinds of people you just have to ignore because they're obviously fucked in the head. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what else to tell you at that point. Yeah, but, you know, we'll let them. We'll let him continue his uh, his little rant things, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about New Vegas or 76 at all. If New Vegas, then I'm always worried that 76 fans will think that I'm like this person who only likes. Also, I I just caught that he said not the crazies of 76. He legitimately said all the 76 fans. So you're implying oh, that, that all Fallout 76 fans are crazy. Interesting. Okay, so you, like to to play uh, devil's advocate for him, do you think that could have been a slip of the tongue? Uh, very likely. But again, that's where we say, and he said he's tried this video multiple times. But you know, reread your script, well, or it's, go it's back very, through your audio and fix very, this kind of thing. It very much comes across as he didn't script it. This is just like an off the cuff. I'm going to sit down and record. Yeah, which, the script these type like, of videos, especially. Yeah, here's the thing: some people could just sit down and record and do like get all their thoughts out clearly and concisely. Not everyone could do it, and it seems like this person is maybe not the kind of person who can. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, just yeah. from the fact that, yeah, I sat down numerous try uh, times trying to make this video, well, maybe you should script it out then and, like, organize your thoughts so you can say what you want to say clearly. Because so you know, far, uh, this is, like, really bad. What, what, I, what I find kind of interesting a little bit is how, you know, he was having all this anxiety over video and saying i had to record this three times eight times this, that, uh, but at the same time like if you can check if you check like the the effect it had on its channel it's very minimal you know like yeah. nobody saw this video yeah that's what you we know, pointed I mean, out at the in, start in comparison to a subscriber base yeah nobody yeah watched that. yeah yeah it, crazy you know like so so we had all that anxiety and all those feelings you know like like general like particularly for nothing so Yep. All right. 76 people think that I'm like this person who Arson is going to hate on them for enjoying a new thing. And when I'm playing 76, I'm always thinking about the fact that there'll be people out there thinking, this guy doesn't know what Fallout is. I've got comments. I've got tons of comments. You know? Well, okay. Notice how he didn't say Fallout New Vegas fans or anything like that. He said there'll be people out there. So you've already set up that. It's the 76 fans who are crazy, by your own words, that, and it's just other people 
that will then say you don't know what Fallout is. So that's a bit fucking weird. Yeah, uh, a, a you know a solid script uh, would have definitely kind of saved him at this particular moment. You know, but yes. Now he does say he got comments. We'll have to see if he actually shows us any of these fucking comments, I, I, or if this I, I is gonna be. The hyper straw man, where I just got comments. You'll take my word for it that these are what they said. Yeah, they no. exist, but I'm not going to show you. Yeah, okay? like, but if I you am, know they I exist, I'm not going to believe that at all. Show me. Yeah, yeah, no, me neither. Six. I'm all thinking about the fact that there'll be people out there thinking what Fallout is. I've got comments. I've got tons of comments. You know what? I'm just going to play like a bunch of the comments. You'll yes. see them. Oh, you'll finally. See them. Okay, okay. Um, you never played Fallout 1, 2, and New Vegas, right? Because you sound like a guy who would defend Fallout 4 as a good RPG. So what's the... Okay, so now well, we need to know con the context. context? Yes. Yeah. I, what video is this on? Yeah, because yeah. I've never seen any of those other guys' videos. It's entirely possible he could be saying stuff He could be, that... absolutely be saying this. Yes. Uh, he, so, could, uh, he could absolutely be saying shit like Fallout 76 does this all like amazingly well and uh, everything well, like that. Okay, and... here's an example. Um, in Oxhorn's video of 76, he said there's something for every fan of Fallout in this game. Um, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> and that's um, the kind of... I... See, if I had seen... Sorry, if I had decided to comment on Oxhorn's video, I might have left a comment on this. You've never played Fallout 1, 2, New Vegas, right? Because you sound like a guy who would defend Fallout 4 as a good RPG. Because you literally just said, there's something in Fallout uh, 76 for every fan of Fallout. I, no? I want to yeah. say, I, I, this is a little bit of a nitpick for me. I don't want to cut you off, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Um, is it safe to show these people's names and like their profiles and stuff like that while doing these comments? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, yeah, it's fine. If It depends on how far you want to go with it. If you want to... If you think your audience can't be mature enough with it, and you're just like, okay, we'll just censor it all out. No, I mean, I, but, I know, but like the way he's uh, presenting these people as crazy, irrational, like like monstrous fanboys and this, that, and the other. So it's like, is it yeah. safe to present them in such a way and show all the essentially all the information? Yeah, well, I mean, he's he's already biased us against schism here, unfortunately. So well, they, well yeah, I I'm just, you know, it's something I probably wouldn't do, but you know it Yeah. So but... <laughs> again, we need more context on what this where this post was made, because this in itself is not a crazy irrational post. Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't see too much craziness going on here. So, and again, we need hey, the, we need the context the behind comment. it. Yes. Like was this a video? Well, again, as Cortez just said, is this a video where you were playing Fallout 76 and you said that this game has things that every Fallout fan will love, no matter what Fallout game you played in the past? I would genuinely ask the same fucking question. Yeah. And <laughs> keep in mind, it's a question. He literally says, have you played 1-2 in New Vegas? Not, you clearly have not played these games because you would not have said this. But it's like, he's literally asking, like, have you played these, though? Like, because this... Because what you're saying right now, like from what it sounds like the comment is saying is, you know, you're saying things that don't really make sense if you have played these games. Have you played them? Yeah. Uh, so again, uh, we need the context of where this comment came from. Again, I was hoping that you would show us like an actual crazy person fucking comment. But Yeah, that's yeah, what I was because expecting. But especially I mean, there might there the, might be more later there, on. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say there might be more, but you're starting off with what is pretty tame comment all things considered without context of what it's responding to like if you want to go with was... your best foot forward yeah you would show like the craziest comment you have someone saying something like oh you're playing 76 you must be a fucking retarded moron who only likes dumb bullshit you should play fallout oh. new vegas it's the best rpg ever you should or find a comment like that he would to put first he would show a comment like what you have what we have on your video if of yeah, if anybody says they like Fallout Three, I literally cut them out of my life and I block them and <laughs> well, I'll never talk to them again. It's I, like, that's the type of comment you should lead with because that's an actual fucking crazy person comment. Yeah, I actually ne never used that comment in a video, but I did post it in our chat, so it should still be available somewhere. Yeah, um, you know, um, uh, just a little pet peeve of mine generally is uh, in the in the past like five years, like the word toxic has been the most used word 
in like these types of videos. It's like like the most low like the okay, the stuff that is the least offensive somehow gets like locked in with shit that's like actually toxic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like that's so if I so if I'm a little if I feel a little bit offended by what you said, not not that like I actually say anything offensive, but if I don't like what you said just a little bit, then you're instantly toxic. You're just like those people who like in the Undertale community that wants you to die for not for picking up too many candies in the in the bowl that you get at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Like you're just like those people. You're toxic. You're toxic. That is one of the most overused words in the entire English language, and it's annoying. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a similar problem with toxic as I do with fanboys, where uh, yeah, people just overuse it as a way to dismiss people, and again, painting broad strokes. You disagree yeah. with this thing? Oh, you're toxic. Yeah. Well, yeah. No. No. By the way, keep in mind, chat. We are probably going to be pausing this multiple times because we we don't know how long he's going to keep the comment on the screen for. So. Oh. So. Brace thyself. Scorcher cast. No. No. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> I'm thinking. I, no. 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 Just... No. Pause the, pause the fucking video. I'm not letting this go. I would actually prefer to be called a fucking furry over that. Jesus Christ. And no, I'm not a furry, but still, fuck. God. What, you, you don't you didn't like when Wesker's foot got smooshed? I didn't do it for <laughs> I'm not oh, sorry. No, you no, fucking better be sorry. God, you... you Ah! Let's move All on. Right. Uh, Six, that... I'm always thinking about the fact that there'll be people out there thinking... All that is. I've got comments. I've got tons of comments. You know what? I'm just gonna play like a bunch of the comments. You'll see them. You'll see how the toxicity goes. Okay, so you see That's how the toxicity toxic. goes. What's toxic about this? Yeah, this that doesn't seem toxic to me. If, if this is as far as the toxicity goes, then we shouldn't even tell this guy about the Undertale community. Yeah. Like, like this is tame. This is small. Yes. Sad. Like, Chad is like, trolling like, me again. Like this is—is is this your first day on the internet? Like legit. Like this is nothing. Oh yeah. I—I yeah. I, I yeah. hate, especially when in comparison to like things we could show him from Cree's comment section of the other side <laughs> coming to his videos and the way that they talk about him. It's like I only. Yeah, share, I don't know, dude. Keep, keep in mind, I only share a fraction of those kinds of comments I get with you guys. I—I I see them all. Yeah, I have no. a guy in my comment section right now who's bitching about the insults in the original Mini True Nerd video. That video is taken down. Wow, it's unlisted. It's like maybe there's a reason why that's unlisted. Right. Yeah. But it's still someone bitching about it. Like, okay, so I insulted him. I can never get redemption for that. I've burned those bridges. Um, yeah. Well, well, cause but it's anyways. Crazy person. Yeah. All right. You'll see them. You'll see how the toxicity goes. Stupid so much of a time. The time. Okay, we got another one. Okay. It feels like it feels Bethesda, like Bethesda and I... and I got divorced and they won custody of Fallout. Now they beat our kid to get back at me. That's not, <laughs> okay. like, that's not fucking toxic. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not toxic or hate. Like, I can... that Legitimately, I, I agree. I understand where this guy's coming from. Yeah. I fucking agree. Yeah, I don't... How is this top... Like... I, I am, like, I know this isn't this guy's first day on the internet, obviously, but come on. You can yeah, do better well, than this. See, see, that's what bugs me is uh, these people who complain about hate comments, they do make it seem like it's their first day on the internet. Taking the most fucking basic and inoffensive comments and saying they're toxic and hateful. This yeah. is not, this is the second comment. I don't know how many he's going to show. This is not a good no. track record. And keep no, in mind, look at the thumbs up and down, too. Well, you can't see thumbs down because YouTube is yeah. a little bit fucking retarded. But look, one yeah. thumbs up. So, four months ago, even in this comment that isn't that bad, well, isn't bad at all, one person agreed with them. Yeah. yeah. You're, trying to, uh, mistaken. you're yeah. trying to show examples of how horrible and toxic the uh, fandom is, and you're showing... A comment with one thumbs up. And how many did the other have? Uh, three. Three thumbs up. Three? Yep. There's just three thumbs up. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna... um, a $5 super chat from Peace was never an option. Thank you very much. Don't worry, Cree. I know you're normal, non-furry, feet-hating person. Thank you. Peace is never... <laughs> you 
you are a legend, Peace. I love you. Thank you. And wow, and would you know it, Peace is never an option is actually a official member of Kretosis. So if you don't know that YouTube offers for this feature where you can gain membership to a channel, maybe you guys should, uh, you know, check that out. Look at Such over here fucking shilling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't hate the hustle. <laughs> It's, it's it's just that um you know looking back at this comment and everything like I don't want to I don't want to deny this person his feelings or whatever you know because but at the same time like there has to be a line and and like th this is minuscule this is like this is abs this is nothing this is not toxic at all this is a yes. these are regular <laughs> comments these are regular YouTube comments whoa Jesus. whoa whoa say no homo after that all right I love you no homo. <laughs> Whoa, that was close one. Damn, that, that was close. Almost did a gay. I'm not pagan. <laughs> All right, uh, let's continue then. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see how the toxicity goes. It's so much of a time, and it's led to a point where I've become defensive on both parts. But first, I hate this hate comp. This. So. Uh, so, that's not, not wrong. No, just... That is, again, if you actually did the Fallout 76, Internet, Histor Internet Historian actually highlighted this, the fact that Bethesda actually had such contempt for its customers that they told them to fuck off and shit. Its own customer service, okay, for well, Fallout yeah, Pete, 76. Pete Hines has done that before, too. There was a guy yes. asking about um, Kid in a Fridge and Jet, and he did the Space Wizards argument unironically. Oh, it's a, a game of talking mutants and ghouls. Um, I don't have the exact comment, so I can't quote exactly, yeah. but you know so what I Bethesda, mean. Bethesda absolutely hates its customers. Emil fucking goes on about how you can just ignore your fucking critics and rake in all that money. Who gives a shit? He actively hates the customers. He yeah. even says, as Emil put it, customers are stupid. They'll take your story, turn it into a paper airplane, and throw it. That is not somebody who appreciates and likes their customers. Yeah. So I'm sorry, but this comment is not toxic. That is just a fact. Bethesda does hate its customers. <laughs> I like yeah. this uh, comment from Breton Foe. No, you can't criticize a multi-billion dollar company. They're our friends. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything toxic here. Nope. Yeah, let's, uh, let's and don't keep... forget that they also freaking banned their own like people, like official people. Well, they were kind of official in in a way. They had like their own like moniker to them, and they knew who they were. They banned their the people who were trying to fix the bugs in Fallout seventy six for them. Like, yes, you know they would they would test them, be like, and then send them reports and be like, oh, here's something for you to fix. Bethesda got mad at them for doing that because it was pointing out all the flaws in their game, so they just fucking banned them. Yes. And when all the fans tried to be like, hey, they're trying to fix your game, can you please unban them? They're not doing anything wrong. Bethesda was like, nah, fuck them, and just left them banned. Yep. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about the fans. They, they don't like their customers. Also, uh, another comment, no thumbs up next to this comment from six yes. months ago. And this is from a subscriber, so... Yeah. I, I, I will say, uh, this is kind of... I mean, he showed three examples already, you know? And all and, three of them are not toxic, so... Right, so, like, this is... If this is really the best you've got in terms of the toxicity on the, uh... Well, well I can assume... I can assume the, uh... The, the Fallout New Vegas 1-2 one, two and one two fans, then... Then you, you have not shown what you have claimed you have not he, proven anything a couple other things um he also hasn't shown any comments from the other side of this this is all one direction here all right like and, and we're on to us i think it's safe to assume yeah it's only in the new vegas camp this is where from the new vegas camp but and the other um, thing i want to point out too we've we've already kind of touched on it look how fucking low the bar is for toxicity you know right yeah. Like, this is toxic? Bethesda hates its customers. I feel like I was in a divorce with Bethesda. They took the kid, uh, followed, and beat it as revenge. 
Um, yeah. It that's not a completely unreasonable take for someone to have about uh, Fallout, considering how much damage they have done to Fallout, both as a brand and as a like a series, a product. They've damaged the lore. That's yep. a fact. Uh, that's, that's not... $5 super chat from Terra24. Fallout 76. Now that's the T word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see if he has any other examples. If these are the only three examples, holy shit. Please, yeah. at least come up with one crazy person. I'm sure yeah, you could do it. Please have one actual fucking crazy person. Yeah. Recording this a little while after I did a New Vegas defensive throughout the entire stream. Bethesda I hates us. It's the only explanation. Ah, oh, crap. I, I rewound it because I missed what he was saying there. But yeah, that comment again. Not That's that not bad. That's not toxic. Like, I'd expect... I mean... When you say I'm getting toxic comments, I'd expect stuff like, oh, you like Bethesda Fallout? You're a fucking idiot. You know, not... Yeah. Oh, Bethesda is doing bad things with the series. Bethesda hates us. It sounds and again, to me... Again, uh, no fucking thumbs up. None. Six months ago. Your, it, your highlighted comments... It, it, kind of, it, it kind of sounds like to me, getting like deeper into this comment, uh, it sounds like this person probably like a... Uh, you know, made a lot of excuses for Bethesda in the past and was like, you know, hey, this wasn't very good, but, you know, maybe the next one will be better and da 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 And he's kind of like at his wit's end at one at this point. It's like, you know what? I guess the only explanation is Bethesda hates us, you know? Like, it doesn't sound toxic at all. Like, you know, I don't get it. <laughs> Not yeah. being a castrated smooth brain consumer equals toxicity, <laughs> apparently. Like, these... No, I mean... These are really like how the the bar must be touching the fucking ground if this is what you consider toxic. Yeah, I'm gonna roll this back again though because I want to hear what he said during that. Well, part. I'll be right back one second. Hold. On. All right, uh, we can wait then. No, I'll wait. No, uh, but just to yeah. Uh, so that's really uh. I'll just go into why I just don't really like the the idea of people using the word toxic so much because. It also is a way for people to um, delegitimize uh, real arguments and criticism that's made towards something. You know, yeah. you can just call the person toxic, and then that's it. You know, that, yeah. yeah, that's it. Their their arguments completely invalidated. Kratosis is toxic because he even made a six hour uh, video. So now you know everything that is said in the video, all the substance, all the the good, the arguments, this and that, all the evidence. Doesn't matter because I called him toxic. Yeah, it's and the exact same thing with the fanboy. Uh, it's just used as like a blanket dismissal of anything someone has to say. Oh, you're a fanboy, so I don't have to listen to you. Everything you said is dumb and wrong and biased and extremist and fucking whatever else. It's yeah, crazy. I mean, people yeah, and also go go ahead. Sorry. It just seems like people don't even want to have the discussion. Like, okay. If you don't want to get involved in the discussion, that's fine. You're free, obviously, to discuss it or not. But it makes you seem like a real piece of shit when you just go, oh, you're just a toxic fanboy hater. And, and like, that's, that's it. You're just writing it off because you see a video that's critical of one side or defensive of the other. And you just go, oh, yeah, they're, they're a crazy person. Because that's the thing. When I saw Miniature Nerds Fallout 3 Defense video, I could have just easily done the same thing. Oh, it's just a Bethesda fanboy. He's got nothing of value to say. I was actually interested in that video the first time it popped up in my recommendations. Like, oh, hey, maybe there's some actual good points to Fallout 3 I've missed. I'd like to see what they are. But then I started watching it, and the rest is kind of history. But I actually yeah. did go through and um, listen to each of his arguments and tried to see if like, how accurate or valid they were. Some were obviously insane, like, Megaton eats mole rats. Um, <laughs> but some obviously took longer to deconstruct because there's just that much wrong yeah. with them. It's. I actually got a comment like... um, the other day. Let, let's see if I can find this quickly, where someone was just saying... Right, I'm back. Welcome back. Um, 
Yeah, we're just talking about how toxicity and fanboys used as a fucking uh, way to just write off what anyone has to say. And the miniature yeah. nerd video came up again. Um, <laughs> where is this comment? Yeah, I actually gave that video a like back when I first saw it a long time ago. And it wasn't until me and Cree started like talking about it and going over some of the stuff and we, we and we like we started looking at it a bit more that i was kind of like oh you know what yeah that is fucked why did he say that you, you know I, like I, oh. I i was like oh man i didn't even notice <laughs> that part why did i skip over that well see that's yeah, the thing it was too weird it's very easy to put on a video like that and just listen in the background while you're playing games or for people who are yeah. destroying something or yeah and i was playing a game when i first watched it so i just kind of like listened to it. it was like oh that was pretty good gave it a Gave it an upvote, and then like a month later, me and you started talking about it, and uh, <laughs> and I was just like, he, he did do that, didn't he? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, and I actually just received a comment today that perfectly sums up that video. Miniature Nerd wasn't really interested to see if there was any merit to the criticism against Fallout 3. He just assumed it was wrong, and then started to look for proof that his assumption was correct, thus working backwards from his conclusion which is something you should never do if you want to be taken seriously. And, yeah, that's pretty much exactly what that video is. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, a lot of people, unfortunately, videos are that about a subject that they like or dislike. Sometimes they will, uh, you know, they will passively watch the video or they'll, they won't pay too much attention to what's actually said, stuff that they agree with. And, you know, and, yeah. and that allows for them to, kind of be like hey this video is good you know but when you decide or someone or another content creator decides to take those arguments and deconstruct them and 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 then show why it's bad like what you do in that moment kind of defines who you are at that point like am i going to be a, a fanboy apologist who basically just lets someone lie and misrepresent and slander another piece of media just because i like the other the other one or do i you know, look at it objectively and say, hey, you know what? This person did make good counter arguments. And you know what? Like, I can't I can't uh, excuse the behavior that the person I used to watch used to do. You know, like I, I don't. And that's that's the way it really is at the end of the day. You know, like you got to you got to respect the truth more than how you feel about your particular franchise. That's really what it is at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's um, grab the super chat quickly. Ten dollars from super chat from Terror Twenty Four. Thank you very much. Thank you. Definitely would say that overreacting to mild criticism is what's really the T word. This will be referred to as teal for shorthand. It's teal. God damn it. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I I would agree with what he said there. Overreacting to mild criticism is toxic. This guy in the video is presenting uh, these, like, very basic comments. Like, if you find these comments toxic or hateful or offensive or whatever, um, you need to grow a thicker skin, because this is nothing. The internet is not for you if you find these bad comments, honestly. Yeah, you could disagree with them, but to say that they're toxic is just crazy. Yeah. And it's like or I've become defensive on both parts. A little while after I did it. God, the video skipped again for me that entire point. It did the loady thing. It did that for me too. Sorry everyone, I just want to make sure we hear what he says there. Yep. And it's stupid so much of the time. And it's led to a point where I've become defensive on both parts. I'm recording this a little while after I did a New Vegas stream. And I was feeling defensive throughout that entire stream. Just a little bit. Just a little twinge. And I had like... Okay, well, one, <laughs> if you were feeling defensive that entire stream, again, that's a you problem. That is an entirely you problem. Yeah, that's you assigning a fucking... Like... <sighs> I guess <laughs> attitude towards Wait. the fan base. What? Wait. I noticed something special about this comment. Can you figure out the first thing that I noticed that's special about you this You can't comment? see the uh, likes uh, on it. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Hiding something now, are we? 
Well, that's the thing. He didn't hide it on the previous ones. Why would he hide it now? Exactly. Yeah. But so yeah. by our, by our only conclusion would be that it's because a fuck ton of people agree with this statement. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. Um... Well, see, that's yeah, the thing, too, is a lot of people agreeing with the statement would for strengthen his argument that, oh, hey, look at all these toxic people who agree with this toxic comment, even though, again, it's not toxic. It's obviously someone being a little shitpost. He's called Bethesda, not Bethesda. Please call them like they work. Like, yeah, Bethesda's games are buggy. Again, it's all... All these comments are in one direction, and, uh... I don't know. He's also allowing uh, people to have this much power over him. Think about it, right? Like the the people yep. who are he considers to be toxic. Like he is just just like melting over these tiny little like inconsequential comments. Like it, it's I don't I don't know what to say. It's kind of sad. Just, <laughs> you're giving these people so much of yourself, like. <laughs> Like, 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 like said earlier, like, get a thicker skin, you know? <laughs> I could, I could only assume it's fake, like the fake Oxhorn from last week, <laughs> but th thank you. Merry Christmas to you too. Uh, probably fake Acer Thorn. <laughs> <laughs> uh... We uh, get to continue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's let's backtrack though. Yeah. Okay. You'll see. Oh, that was a pretty. You'll see party, how the toxicity goes. Stupid so much of the time, and it's led to a point where I've become defensive on both parts. I'm recording this a little while after I did a New Vegas stream, and I was feeling defensive throughout that entire stream, just a little bit, just a little twinge, and I had like two major problems. The first one was. I knew there'd be like the old joke here and okay. there about. Okay, let's see what we got. Most likely, 76 is just a cash grab, and they will learn nothing from it if they fail. Okay, I don't see what's wrong with that part. Look, after New Vegas, people loved it mostly, and look at what Fallout 4 is. Okay, what's wrong with that statement? Bethesda will never make good Fallout games, but just good games, and that angers me. So, I don't see what's wrong with that comment. Um... Except for the fact that he doesn't really elaborate, but there's really is only so much you can do in a uh, YouTube comment. Yeah, from the sounds of it, you should probably just stay away from any Bethesda game. No point in getting yourself angry for no reason. Okay. Um, uh, the, 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 the don't like, don't play argument's my yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah, the problem with that is this is probably a series that this guy uh, really loves. And like us, he's probably not happy that I can't play new games in this series I love because they're bad. Also, how are we supposed to know if it's bad if we never play it? Yeah. I am not angry, right. just sad how many ways they could have improved Fallout series and made it more known, but they chose to go the easy way around. P.S. Bethesda games are fun, but they just make their games dumbed down for a general audience. Okay, so this is another supposedly toxic yeah, this comment. Is, Again, yeah, this is not toxic whoa. at all. This is How not, is that toxic? Um, it's if, if we very, were going, very reasonable. This is like if we were going for a scale of toxicity, your comment is more toxic than his. You idiot. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Why? Why would you show this? Why yeah. would you show this as evidence of people being toxic? This just makes you look bad. This yeah. makes you look like an unreasonable asshole. <laughs> it and, does. you know, this, this goes back to what I was saying earlier about people passively watching videos. Like, people probably listened to this in the car while they were driving home, didn't actually look at the evidence that was actually presented. And that's why this video has... That's what, I bet that's one of the reasons why this video has so much uh, support. You Keep know? in mind... Like, sorry, I just noticed something else. This guy is scraping the bottom of the fucking barrel for his toxic commas. This is from two years ago, with no upvotes. And, and, My and dude. still coming up short. He's still coming up really short. He's making himself look bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, this is, this is just a simple back and forth, and I don't know, man. It's just strange. Yeah, and of, and of the two, 
I wouldn't even consider Bad Company Sarge's thing to be toxic. But if we were going based off the scale, you are closer to the toxic scale than the guy that you're showing. Yeah, yeah, his comment isn't toxic, but it does have that stupid, just don't play it argument. Like, there's a reason people love series and don't like seeing them uh, fall. Yes, they don't like seeing them ruined. I fucking love Star Wars, and... My God, I thought George Lucas was being hyperbolic as shit when he said that he sold off his franchise to white slavers. And then I watched the fucking prequels and then the you mean, shitty fucking solo movie and everything. I was like, oh you my mean, God, you, you mean right. the sequels, the Disney movies, not the prequels. The sequels, yes, the sequels. Sorry. Um, if this is toxicity, then purified water is pure poison. Yeah, it fucking must be. Like, yep. the dude, eh, that last eh, it's dude. too pure. It hurts. <laughs> The last dude... Get the bully hunters on the line. Oh, my God. <laughs> the last dude he showed was being completely reasonable. He wasn't being hateful or any... See, this is the thing, too. He just said he was anxious his entire new Vegas stream. And he's showing these comments as the reason why. Bethesda hates us. Uh, Bethesda isn't treating the series right. I don't like what they're doing with their modern games. They're dumbing them down. It's true, they're dumbing them down. It's something you could fucking prove. Yeah, it really does come off of how dare these people give their mild criticisms on my video. Like, dude, calm the fuck down. Five comments yeah. over two years. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to see. Uh, again, we can already pretty much safely say that he's not going to have any fucking evidence, but we'll see if he actually has one, at least one, that's actually genuinely toxic. We'll find out. Also, uh, also you know, it's like he's playing this very sad and sad music. Yeah. As if it's like, oh, woe is me. How, oh, how I am <laughs> suffering from these toxic, disgusting fanboys who just want to destroy my entire channel with facts, reason, and logic. And here we and here we see these comments are very tame. Yes. Remember what very. I said about pass, passively watching videos, you know? They hear the music, they hear the arguments, but they aren't looking at what's on screen, you know? Because what's on screen is nothing. Yes. If anybody actually watched this video and saw his evidence on it, and you still agree with him, I would have to ask, what? how low are your standards? Jesus. Because if this is his evidence, oh boy. Just a little twinge, and I had like two major problems. The first one was, I knew there'd be like the old joke here and there about all oh, playing New Vegas, all oh, Sarge, what you did in his 76 channel, that was fine. Why is Bethesda Why is... so desperate to kill the Fallout franchise? One up vote. Yeah, how is that also? How is that toxic? Again. How is this toxic? Yeah, because my god, Fallout 76 kind of Jesus Christ. Yeah, it does make it seem like they are actively trying to kill the franchise. Yeah. Oh man. Also, I, wow, you're getting upset that, like, the example he just gave of, oh, if I play Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 76 fans will, you know, like, oh, you're, are you trying to kill your channel? Like, why do you care? Why do dude, you want these people in your fucking, like, viewing your videos? What, so, why? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, you know, I don't want to. You are better off without those people. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to just sit here and say, you know, sticks and stones forever but holy crap guys like look at this yeah this, this is the is... kind of this is the kind of yeah. stuff you, were, you use sticks and stones for because this is nothing this we, we've already said it but yeah if yeah. if the, these are the comments that are so fucking upsetting to you my dude the internet is not for you yeah. I've literally gotten a comment telling me to fucking kill myself I have that screenshotted on my phone uh, take yeah. a while to find it, but it is there. I was actually happy to receive that comment because it's like, yes, I've made it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It bugs me that YouTube automatically deletes so many comments, so I get a shit ton of comments, both positive and negative. I could tell from the uh, 
notification on my phone that it just fucking memory holes before I get a chance to even see them. It's yeah. so annoying. Yeah, it does suck. Like two major points. The first one was I knew they were here and there about all oh, playing New Vegas, all oh, Sarge, what you did in the 76 channel. That was fine. That was fine. I was kind of expecting that. I figured there'd be a bit of tongue in cheek humor about that almost. I was a huge fan of Bethesda once upon a time. You guys should just delete that fucking trash. I don't give a fuck about us anymore. Okay, so that's at least a bit closer, but. Okay. Yeah. Well, and the only reason is because he, like, be cursed or whatever, but. Yeah. Even then, like, he's. From where he's. Where, where he's coming from, yeah. He, again, I was a fan of fucking Bethesda. Morrowind. So was so I. I was a real big fan. Oh, a. a Oblivion, eh, what, it worked, but eh, you know. I bad. once considered Bethesda to be my bad. favorite developer. Dark They're, okay, so I've mentioned before how I want to make video games. It's because of Morrowind and Bethesda that I even have that dream. When I played Morrowind for the first time as a kid, it fucking blew my mind. It, a, wor a world, you have a world to explore. You could go anywhere. That shit was insane to me at the time. Because I've only ever played stuff like uh, Pokemon, or... I I've seen games where, like, they're linear, and you just don't have a world to explore. The fact that you had, obviously not an entire world, it was just an island, but still, you had this world, and you could just go anywhere and do anything, and that was new to me at the time, and I it made me realize you could do fucking anything with video games. And from that point on for at least a while they're my all-time favorite developer because i don't know it's just really taken in i was captured that by this alien fucking fantasy world and yeah i loved a uh i would have considered myself a bethesda fanboy at one point with what we currently consider the definition of fanboy to be just like a crazy fan who is very uncritical of them. You know? Mm -hmm. Obviously, I grew yeah. out of that, but still. Yeah, but this isn't toxic at all. Like, I mean, not. it's very little... I wouldn't even say, like, the tiniest bit of toxicity, because, if, you know, it, if I was trying you guys to go... should just delete that trash. They don't give... <laughs> if I was trying to go through my yeah. comments to find the most toxic comments... This one wouldn't even make the cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'd be like, okay, yeah, there's a little bit of hostility in there. You should just delete that fucking trash. But that, again, it just wouldn't make the cut. Yeah. Uh, do, do you think that, like, this, like, the comment that he just saw, like, the reason he's making, putting these comments up is because of how tame his uh, comments usually are? I mean, I, I'm just saying, like, it's, his comments usually generally never like just never these offensive like just non-offensive just straight only facts nothing about feelings comments is that just what he gets on a regular basis i don't know but oh, for no. him to look at these and say these are toxic like you either have to really really be reaching you know for to push a certain narrative or <laughs> i don't want to use the p word here but you know just saying. Uh, Seven dollars from LT. Thank you. Mild and fair criticism towards multinational corporation. How could you say something so vile towards me? I know, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at all this toxicity towards Bethesda. Um, well, these still aren't very toxic. Uh, Two dollars super chat. Two dollars super chat from Scootmeister. Thank you very much. Thank hey, you. Hey, oh, what I miss? Well, he's uh, currently showing his evidence of toxic comments. And pretty much none of them are. The most toxic comment is you should delete that fucking trash. Yeah. Um, after after first saying that he used to be a huge fan of Bethesda and everything, now they don't care about us anymore. So you should just fucking delete that trash. Yeah. So, so. it's like, okay, yeah, that's not. Again, that's not. That's not really toxic. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> Todd, God Howard in chat. The company has feelings. Be nice. 
<laughs> a bunch of no. sad emotes. <laughs> All right, let's continue the shit. The old joke from there about all oh, playing New Vegas, all Star Six Channel. That was fine. That was fine. I was kind of expecting that. I figured there'd be a bit of tongue-in-cheek humor about that almost, and it was good. But I was also thinking constantly about the fans. I genuinely hate that Bethesda forced my hand into hitting the game to the point I haven't touched it in months because of you hacked. Um, because I'm, of that, I'd assume. So he's going well, yeah, so, because yeah, I, we're, I was we're just being smart ass. Yeah, 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 but we're missing it, context here then. Again, no thumbs up. And, uh... Yeah. And he hasn't shown the two replies either, so again, we, we don't have any context for this at all. Yeah, actually, um, we should see the uh, replies too, maybe. But this uh, is the same... oh, go ahead. Yeah, hundred dollars from Dominic the Donkey. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, Kratos's Pagan Setch and Prometheus. Hope you guys in chat are doing good. Just woke up. Well, welcome to a disastrous video. Yeah, this yeah. video is pretty shit so far. <laughs> um, Dude, and again, like I said, for all of you that just came in, and for Dominic the Donkey, you just woke up. These are his evidence of incredibly toxic comments. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, this is a comment I actually agree with completely. Like, I'm in the same boat. I love the Fallout franchise, and I hate that I that Fallout 3 and 4 are bad games that I can't play. Look, I would love to be able to play Fallout 3 and 4 and genuinely fucking enjoy them. But I can't because they're bad games. If they were good, there would be no issue. Like, it, it's not toxic to say, hey, these games are actually bad. And because of that, I can't play them because their badness bugs me. Jesus, I... <laughs> Alright, we're, we're ready to continue. Yeah. Uh, so again, uh, oh, we need to go back. We need to go back. Oh. So, pause. All right. All right. Cheek humor about that almost, and it was good. But I was also thinking fans who just love New Vegas so much, but have to hate on the other games. Okay. So, okay, so... No, one, no one has to do anything. Are you? Yeah. Go, go ahead, Satch. Go ahead. Well, first off. Well, you're not the enlightened centrist now, are you? Because you've just now tipped your hand that it is entirely... It's the new Vegas fanboys! Well, he's been doing that this entire time. He started off saying, yeah, yes, both sides now, are bad. Now he 100%, he 100% tipped his hand. Well, what I was starting to say is, I said earlier on that he still said uh, it's the new Vegas fans who are hating on um, the other games, and it's the fans of the other games who get defensive. So he's been leaning this way the entire time, and all the comments he've, he's been showing has leaned one direction. It's, for a video yep. that's about both sides that are bad, he hasn't shown a back and forth between any of these comments. He's just saying, or he's just showing that one side is being bad. Yes. Um, and then he just said something there that's a little bullshit. I can't remember it, though, so let's let's just play that quickly. Hold on. Oh, we, shit, we could have talked about that comment. Okay. And how how it wasn't toxic. That this comment is not toxic either. Tips yeah. for millennials who've never played a real Fallout game. Again, well, one year ago, four upvotes too. Yeah. And also, like, what's the context? Like, what's this video on exactly? Like, I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very important part of the equation here. Yeah, he's he's no, admonishing it for some reason. God, I don't see because there's no defined era of when millennial it begins, when millennial ends, when Zoomer begins, when Zoomer ends. Because literally, generations are a vague, nebulous fucking statement. We have no fucking clue. Yeah. All right, let, let's hear that back again though, because he said something a little fucked there that I wanted to respond to you as well. And it was, but I was also thinking cons who just love New Vegas so much, but have to hate on the other games. Right, that shit. Um, Again, they so, don't have to hate on the other games. Yes. Again, Again, you can choose to hate on the other games because they're not good. Unfortunately, Fallout 3, Fallout 4, and Fallout 76 are not good games. You can like them all you want. That does not improve their quality. 
Yeah. Um, again, just pointing out TKS Mantis again, big fan of New Vegas, also really enjoys Fallout 3 and 4 despite having issues with them. Yeah. Um, I also, I want to, I, I don't want to cut you off, dude, but I think he's forgetting about, like, 1 and 2 fans as well. In yeah. this, like, equation. Because, like, they are kind yeah. of, they kind of like to chime in on these types of discussions. Hey, we're the ones who played the original Fallouts, and we can attest to what the people on New Vegas are saying, or whatever but yes i've played the original fallout one and two when they first came out i'm a fan from the original first two games new vegas is a fallout game fallout three is not hmm. um I, I haven't played the first two so i gotta you know do it one day hmm. yeah they're they're i absolutely um fallout 2 has got a lot of issues to bug me but i fucking love Fallout 2 it is my favorite in the series. Um, and yeah, there's there's fans of Fallout 1 who think Fallout 2 uh, deviates too far from what the series is. There's fans of both the original and I can, games. I can agree to an extent. Fallout 2 put in way too much comedy. Yeah, way, like for me, that's the biggest uh, detriment to Fallout 2 is all the silly moments and pop culture references and just the weird shit like that. It was... I did not need to see the Monty Python uh, bridge scene like a dozen times in my first playthrough. Yep. It's a and neat little reference. I didn't need to see it that many times. It probably shouldn't you know, have been in the game in the first place. And and despite you being a fan of Fallout 1 and 2, you have criticisms ready for them. And, and yep. it's like, so so this idea that you being a fan of something means that you can never criticize it and you can never say it's a bad thing it's like that's obviously completely wrong you know yeah because you you right here just make criticisms towards fallout 2 you know yeah despite it being your favorite uh you know your favorite game yeah well again before stream we were making criticisms of fallout new vegas too yeah i was you know i like i love fallout new vegas you know what it is but it's not a finished game, and it shows in a few sections here and there. You know, but you know that, that's that's besides the point. But at the end of the day, the idea that Fallout New Vegas fans have to, literally have to, like they have to make their likes into their personality, their entire personality. Like that's that's a complete. It's ridiculous. All right, that's all I gotta say. It's ridiculous. Yeah. We good to continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's pull back, though. Pull back. Yeah. I got it. There we go. Good. But I was also thinking constantly about the fans who just love New Vegas so much, but have to hate on the other games. When I boot up New Vegas and I play it, I constantly think about the people going, well... Okay, here we uh... are. After Fallout 4, Fallout Shelter, and its ridiculously greedy transaction system, which it fucking is, it's a it mobile is. game. Yes. And now the stupid Mobile Blades game, which does the same thing, which, yes, that's true. Yes, it does. It does now, even worse, by the way. And now this game that no one asked for, after refusing to let Obsidian do what we all wanted and make another Fallout game, I have nothing but contempt for Bethesda, and hope they implode along with EA. There is nothing toxic. That is There's not toxic There's only reasonable and actual factual things... Like, this is your argument? This is a horrible video. Like, I... Three upvotes uh, two years ago. Yep. So, again... But stepping... absolutely, this is absolutely not yeah. toxic whatsoever. I'm, I'm, I'm... If we weren't covering it today, I'm legitimately considering uh, making a response to this video because it's yeah. so bad. Do <laughs> it, we man. Absolutely it today, do it. We should still uh, do it. You should still do it on I, I don't want to tread, like, old ground that we've been doing this entire... Like, we're doing this for hours, and, like, you know, I don't want to tread old water, you know? Well, that's the thing, is... There, there, we don't, there's, there's no rule that says we can't make a standalone response video to a video that we cover on stream, because there might be a video that's bad enough that we want to sit down and do proper scripted response to. Um, yeah. There's actually something we've covered on Stag already that we are scripting a video to cover. Yep. So. All right. Well, you know. 
I'll and, see about doing that though. And uh, yeah, I this... should play. I should play the first two Fallout games before I make a response though. Just to, I might add something in there to kind of pepper it in a little bit. You know. You skipped yeah. too soon, Setch. Uh, no, I, no just... I went. I went backwards. Sorry. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. I was going to comment on that comment more. I was just going to say what they said there in that comment was completely reasonable. After Fallout Four, yes, there was lots of issues with it. And then uh, the greedy microtransaction games, uh, Fallout yeah. Shelter and Blades. It's entirely reasonable for someone to say, yeah, I hate this company now and hope they implode. They're obviously being, uh, being greedy assholes making garbage games. Yep. There's nothing toxic about that. It'd be toxic if they're like wishing harm upon the people who work there. Yeah, if like, they that, wish that... that is toxic. If they wish that Todd got hit by a bus or something like that, or or Mill fucking killed himself or something, that is toxic. There's someone I hope it gets hit by a bus, but it's not anyone at Bethesda. <laughs> and no, it's not anyone we've covered either. This is a different thing. The fans who just love New Vegas have to hate on the other games. When I boot up New Vegas and I play it, I constantly think about the people going, well, this is the best game, you should only play this. Don't... Okay, Who's saying again, you this should is only a... play New Vegas? No, this is what he's thinking. He is fully admitting this is his delusional mental state, thinking this. Yeah. Again, I'm sorry, my dude, this is entirely on you. Yeah, it's what I said earlier. He's assigning, like, this... this unreasonable malice and hatred from New Vegas fans towards anyone who likes the other games, which just isn't there. Yep. And I... again, he hasn't shown in a single one of these comments anyone remotely saying anything close to this. Again, these are all his delusional mind creating these phantoms to give yeah. him an excuse to the, make this video. The closest one he's had is someone saying you should delete that trash. Which, this it's not saying you should only ever like New Vegas. It's saying, man, Fallout 76 is garbage, isn't it? Why do you play it? Not really toxic, you know? Just... Not really. Maybe a bit aggressive, but not toxic. Yeah. I have to hate on the other games. When I boot up New Hang on, I'll pause real quick, because we'll, we'll still be able to get there, but this comment was perfect. Chapman, Chapman says, I don't understand. If they're living in his rent in his mind, rent-free, why doesn't he evict them? <laughs> um, the other thing, too, I wanted to comment on why the New Vegas fans have to hate the other games thing, too, again. Is he conflating criticism of the other games for hatred of the other games? Because he could yeah. still be very critical of those games and enjoy them. Again, I read out a comment earlier on stream where someone said, yeah, Fallout 4 is a fucking garbage game, but I've spent over a thousand hours in it and have fun with it. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, just like, considering how he classifies which uh, comments are, as you say, toxic, I think that's very much a possibility, Kratosis. I think that's it, very it much It kind of has to be if he thinks these fucking... These wouldn't even register on the scale of toxicity for me. If yeah. I was looking at comments. Um, especially with some of the comments I've got, then holy shit. <laughs> Alrighty. Vegas and I constantly think about the people going, well, this is the best game, you should only play this, don't play the other games. Okay, so it's not just his delusion. I'm constantly thinking of the people going, you should only play this game, none of the others. As, yeah. As, as, Again, as no, said, but he does say he does say he's constantly thinking of it. This is his delusion. Wow. This is his mentality. Again, this is a him problem, and he's trying to paint it as this is the entire fandom's problem. Instead of, unfortunately, Sarge, it's your delusional problem. Yeah. Uh, as uh, as Pagan said before, why would you ever want those people anywhere near your channel? Like, why would you want those those people like making comments and? and subscribing to you and constantly being there is this the is this the community you wish to foster like you do you want to cater to these people yeah yeah uh, no no i don't have to hate on the other games when i boot up new vegas and i play it like well this is the best game you should only play this don't play the other games 
and it ruins my experience. All right. Another comment. Well, I just finally. already said he said it ruins his experience. Again, that again, this is you just keep telling us how much it's a you problem. Yeah. Right. I love what Obsidian has done, and I haven't even played this game. Okay, that's fine. You could have watched the Let's Play. See, I consider yeah. Silent Hill 2 to be one of my favorite games. I haven't actually played it, because I've seen a full playthrough in which I get the entire story, which I fucking love. Mm. Um, not too yeah. massive of a world, but the story and immersion is there. You could tell the passion is there. Okay. On the other hand, Bethesda should take notes. The studio that made the best addition to Bethesda's biggest title has completely outclassed them at this point. How is this toxic? Yeah, that is that's not, not toxic, toxic at all. That is crazy how he thinks this... This, this is this actually a him. very reasonable comment. Hey, this company did really good with this uh, game and this series. Bethesda should take notes. I think a lot of us were hoping Bethesda had taken notes prior to the release of Fallout 4. I did. I was like, okay, New Vegas was out... Hopefully they learned from it. Hopefully they took notes. There's no way Fallout 4 can be worse than Fallout 3. And then it kind of was. Yeah. And again, uh, seven upvotes, one year. And, and again, uh, another not toxic comment at all. Uh, and this dude has already said that these people will ruin his experience. So again, it, yeah, he's no, no, no. Go back to that comment that was there. Yeah, okay. I can't help but think about these kinds of people when playing the game and it ruins the experience for me. I love what Obsidian has done. I hope Bethesda takes notes. Bethesda, uh, Obsidian has completely outclassed them. You this, know, this is ruining your experience. You know, uh, in your videos, Kratosis, I've noticed that you use the word disingenuous a lot. Partic and, particularly and, particularly and, and, in the responses. Yes, and I will say that if there's any video that, you know, is, is most worthy of that particular, uh, you know, word is this video right here. This video is presenting something that just isn't there. He thinks that, like, maybe he thinks we're stupid or maybe he thinks we're not actually watching the video or maybe he's actually thinks these are comments that are actually toxic, but he's presenting Fallout New Vegas like these horrible abominations on human existence. But he can't even show what he claims to be true. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is absolutely disingenuous. Yeah, I agree with that. Definitely feels that way. Yeah. Yep. When I boot up New Vegas and I play it, well, this is the best game, you should only play this don't play the other games. And it ruins my experience so often. Because New Vegas is a great game that I enjoy and that I want to play more. more. Alright. But oh. the voice of the extreme fighting over the stop button. Yeah, I, 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 I made sure not to push it. I figured Kratos is going. Well, I did, but it seemed like someone unpaused it. Um, better guide. Okay, so this is apparently on a guide video. Get to the shop, look at 76, laugh, install Fallout 2 or New Vegas. Congratulations. Or yeah, Fallout, Fallout 1, Fallout 2, or New Vegas. So oh, they, there's a, there's an apostrophe Vegas. right there. Yeah, I missed that. You mean a comma. Yeah, it's a comma. Jesus, yes, yeah, a comma. Or simply, <laughs> don't buy this game. Exactly. It never hurts to rub it in, though. Okay? <laughs> yeah, um, none of that's toxic. Well, maybe the yeah. hurts to... I, see, I wouldn't even consider her, uh, it never hurts to rub it in. I wouldn't consider that toxic, but again... That's a little bit like, okay, yeah, you're being a little cheeky there, but not toxic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's really just, uh, yeah, like the, the word toxic, as I said, it's just being overused to, to the most, to the most like uh, watered down like versions of what we could possibly actually see from the, from these supposedly evil, nefarious fallout. Fallout New Vegas fanboys, you know? Yeah. Apple. Yet, what we see doesn't deliver, so. Uh, this, guy is, this guy is really bad at showing evidence. Either that or he just doesn't have the evidence. He's making shit up because, man, I can't stand that people are being critical of these games I like. 
God, I don't, I don't really want to attribute malice here. He not only showed the screenshots, but he also did the music in combination with everything else. Like, it, it, yeah, it, he did it on purpose, man. You it, know? I haven't actually been paying attention to, ha like, the cadence of his voice. Is he doing the essay voice? I think kind, kind of. of. <laughs> All right. Uh. Um, and again, I, I have to keep hammering on this point because it's fucking significant. All these comments are going in run one direction for a video about, hey, both sides of the fandom are bad. He's not showing how any Bethesda fans are saying anything back towards New Vegas or New Vegas fans or Obsidian. And I... uh, remember, I, again, I pointed it out earlier. Oh, it's the New Vegas fans that are attacking these games. It's the Bethesda fans that go on the defense. So he's already given them the fucking... It, it, there's already a, ver a very clear slant yes. from early on. I, I would hope that later on he does do this. You know, to make his, his video a little stronger. But, Hopefully. You know, we're, we're, we're like a, we're a quarter of the way in, and, uh, you know, not About a third. too good so far. And you know what's funny? If he does do it the other way, his evidence for showing uh, Fallout 3 or Fallout uh, 4 fans be, like, might be just as terrible. It could yeah. be. <laughs> if he does go the other way. With yeah. The... I uh, Somehow I doubt he would, but, I mean, we could fucking... And, like, put that in there. Yeah, it would be fucking easy-peasy to do. Yeah, let's go. Experience. Because New Vegas is a great game. But there's always the voice of the extremist person in my head when I'm playing it. Again, so they live in there rent-free. That's yeah. a new problem. If you're new to this game, piece of advice, run now. This will probably be the worst game of Bethesda, which we will regret launching for a decade. You will regret it, too, if you start playing it. So this is obviously 76. This has to be 76. What's to Again, four months ago, no upvotes. What's toxic about this? Yeah. You know, Point when I made can a... You, can you show me on the doll where the toxicity is? I, I, like, when I made my uh, Oliver Swan... You, uh, cut video. out. Oh, sorry. I'm, all right, how do I sound now? Am I good? Yeah. Fine. All right. When I made my first uh, uh, Fallout New Vegas video about Oliver Swanick and stuff like that, I didn't once think to myself, "Oh no, what if the the the, the toxic Fallout Four, or Fallout Three fans see this video and downvote it?" It's like I I didn't for a second. I was literally focused on what I wanted to make, and I just made it. You know. Like, yeah. The fact that these, I wouldn't say imaginary. Say they're not imaginary. The fact that these people, these 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 uh, other than people are somewhat in your head and like they're they're making you rethink your decisions and make you like will not want to make what you want to make like that is yeah th that is sad that's crazy you shouldn't even be thinking about these people who cares you know yeah five dollar uh. super chat from Dominic the donkey thank you very much thank you they hated him because he was right <laughs> And there's also a comment here from uh, Kuna. This guy is on the YouTube Guidelines Advisory Board. Is that true? Oh, that was a no, joke. No, no, he says that was a joke, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will I will be right back one second. Now, I was curious for a second because I was like, oh my god, is this guy really? Uh, then that would explain a lot. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you can... You can like whatever games you want. You can dislike whatever games you want. Just don't lie about the games. You know, don't lie about one to make the other look good. You know, because then you are misrepresenting media and you deserve to be rightly called out for that. You know? Yeah. It, it just kind of makes you look like an asshole if you're being dishonest about the thing you're covering. And again, yeah. there's a difference in, uh, between being wrong and being disingenuous or lying. If someone mm. just got some information wrong, it's like, okay, yeah, man, it fucking happens, whatever. But right. there's stuff like this where it's very clearly someone with a slant or many a true nerds video where I fucking straight up prove he lied about New Vegas. It's like, yeah, this is an issue. Right. Or when and... extremely disingenuous about other YouTubers. That still really bugs me. That, that what, is what dirty. Annoyed... 
what annoys me a little bit is the idea that, um, you know, if you catch someone in a lie, they happen to be a big YouTuber or something like that. You're not making the video in response to their video because you happen to like the media or you happen to, you know, you happen to know the truth or, and care about the truth a lot more. You're only doing it because they're bigger than you and you're doing it for clout. You are clout chasing if you talk about Oxhorn, if you talk about a miniature nerd or TK Mattis or what, who have you. Yeah, I've that gotten is insane to me. I've gotten those accusations before for uh, the miniature nerd videos. It's like, so there's no possible legitimate reason I could want to respond to someone bigger than me than just to get attention, to get subscribers. Right. Like, what? I mean, that, that could be a byproduct of you making the video, sure. But yeah. I make my response, like for me, for me personally, I make my responses because the truth matters more. You know, like yep. accurately representing a piece of media, especially media that people love and enjoy is important. And, you know, when people lie and, and, and manipulate the facts and say this, that and the other, you as the person who knows the truth are responsible to tell it like it is. <laughs> but, you know, in, in, in me, I'm, I'm just like kind of just starting out with you youtube and the response and stuff like that so everybody's bigger than me so that excuse sometimes can happen to me so like that criticism can sometimes come run for me and i have no idea why it's like you're just doing it just to get bigger it's like dude i have like th like less than 300 subscribers everyone's bigger than me at this point so how am i supposed to make content how am i supposed to make responses well it's you know? also the kind of like and again, damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you respond to someone bigger than you, you're clout chasing. If you respond to someone uh, smaller than you, you're punching down. That is, that was always the most ridiculous thing to me, you know? Well, a lot of people... I should be careful how I say this. Um, a lot of people are fucking idiots. And <laughs> they go... They... <laughs> and... They go to these most, like, basic bitch arguments. They're always fallacious, but it's like, how can I say that this person, um, how can I ignore what this person is saying as soon as possible, as easily as possible? Oh, they're responding to someone big? They must be a clout chaser. Yeah, like, I, you know, when I was, uh, you know, kind of chilling in your server, a bunch of cool dudes... And we talked about uh, creating like a uh, a stag bingo card, you know, of like fallacious arguments that people yeah. make. And we and we were like, uh, New Vegas fanboy, put that on there. I, I uh, still I still want to find like a bingo card generator so we could just drop a link and chat or in the description that will generate a bingo card based on the inputs we put in. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Again, the free uh, yeah. space absolutely has to be. Uh, Cree and Setch fight over the pause button. <laughs> yeah, one of the spaces can be uh, just the color brown, too brown. That's the <laughs> argument. Well, see, <laughs> you know? see, we've only encountered that three times. Twice from Acer and once from fucking uh, the Cantina, I think it was. Uh, Why is everything so brown? Yes, that, that's yes, more of a rare argument and isn't going to come up so much. Yeah, but... I'm back. Oh, welcome back. We were talking about the bingo card and... Uh, stuff uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, thought he right. said the binger card for gen uh generator no we're not gonna have a shitty prosecutor generator not only that but we're not gonna violate people's constitutional rights fuck that and we're not gonna aim a gun at a jury <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right uh let's go all right and it ruins experience so often because new vegas is a and but i want to play more but there's always the voice of the extremist person in my head when I'm playing it. Yeah, that's a you hey. problem. Fuck off. Hey, 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 you're delusional. Hey, 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 you're delusional. <laughs> hey, 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 you're delusional. Hey, 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 you're delusional. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, it ain't wrong, is it? There's always the voice of the extremist in my head ruining it for me. Yes. So again, uh, this, he's this just is admitting why, this is why that the fandom he lets is... him live rent free. This is why the fandom is bad, because there's a voice in my head telling me to burn things. 
Yeah. That my <laughs> the fandom is bad and toxic because I have this delusional voice in my head that means it must be true. <laughs> I mean, he, he Dude, said he Sarge, was, he said, Sarge you ahead. need to get help. You need to get fucking actual mental help because if this oh boy, you yeah. are you are too much of a snowflake. <laughs> Head on, <laughs> apply directly to the forehead. Oh God, yeah, those he, commercials. He said he wants to play more New Vegas. I mean, you should just do it, man. Yeah, yeah play no. the game and don't worry what fucking weirdos think or say. Yeah. Why are you this? Why? <laughs> hey, hey! If if you got a stupid head uh, thought in your head, just don't. Yeah. This is a great game that I enjoy. There's always the voice of the extremist person in my head when I'm playing it, and it detracts me from the experience of actually enjoying the game. Oh shit! Fuck! And it I makes didn't me look. It makes. It didn't stop. There we go. No, it was me. I accidentally clicked it. I it didn't stop until I pressed stop. Yeah, it didn't stop for me either. Oh, it stopped on mine. Maybe because I double clicked it fast enough, it didn't stop for you guys. Ah. I'm waiting um, for a new true Fallout game since 2011. Not okay. toxic. It isn't toxic uh, either. Seven months ago, no upvotes. Um, so, obviously people in your comments section aren't agreeing with it. Same with most of the others. Um, what's toxic about this? Like, if if you're going to post these comments and say, this is a toxic hatred that's ruining my enjoyment of New Vegas, you kind of have to explain why, like, what... Again, show me on the doll where the toxicity is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't see it. Is, is there something wrong with someone saying, um, I don't like the way Bethesda's been handling the fucking Fallout series. I, I want another really good Fallout game. Seems like saying anything to this guy, saying anything that is pro uh, Obsidian, New Vegas at one all. and two, pro Obsidian, whatever, like is toxic. It is toxic in, in, inherently, like on its own. Like there, that's what it seems to be. But I don't know, man. Um, yeah, the slightest criticism towards Bethesda—that's toxicity. Like yeah, the way he it, started out this video, it sounded like he was dealing with. The absolute uh, crazies, the actual minority. And like, this actually goes back to what we said at the start. He said it's a minority, but he's painting broad strokes. He couldn't be painting broader fucking strokes if he tried, if this is toxicity. Yeah. Right. Fuck off. <laughs> in my head, it. And it detracts me from the experience of actually. And it makes me look for it makes me look for flaws in the game. It makes me criti more critical of it, and it stops my. Wait, well, that that so, good? Yeah, good. you should be looking for flaws and be critical. Like, holy shit! Yeah, being critical of the things like, oh my god, is this an actual? Oh no, they're making me think. This, I think, this is an actual. Oh no, they're making me think. <laughs> oh, Fallout seventy six oh, oh. is a pig with lipstick. Heels, mini skirt, etc. No matter how much more you add, the pig is still there. This is coming from a diehard Bethesda fanboy. <laughs> yeah, that's so that's so, not, toxic. It's not toxic. So this is no. someone who loves Fallout 3, 4, and Skyrim. And even they're saying Fallout 76. How <laughs> How is this toxic? Like how is this a, a New Vegas fanboy? Like, come on. I don't get it. And remember, this is about 76, which still has a fuck ton of issues, last I heard. Yeah, right. it has not been that improved. Dude, again, these are the people he thinks are toxic, guys. <laughs> these are the people he thinks are toxic. And ruining the experience for him. And that last yeah. one didn't even have anything to fucking do with New Vegas, but somehow, oh, these kinds of comments are ruining New Vegas for me. What? Yeah. I know, I know Again, one thing. Sarge is delusional. That's that's all we've learned from this. I I, I know one thing. Like, uh, if he thinks these comments are toxic and malicious and nasty, then uh, yeah, he's gonna call us toxic when he watches this live stream. <laughs> I already know it. 
Yeah, probably. See, look at the, the, the toxic probably. New Vegas fans bullying me. But see, here's the difference between us and him. We'll probably forget you exist, Sarge, after this. <laughs> but you will <laughs> seethe and cope and whine. Well, hey, at least we haven't made any hey, comments. At if, least, if, at least we haven't made any comments about bleach yet. Yeah. About warning labels on Bleach. Because <laughs> again, if these are the comments that are stuck in your head, if these tame comments are the things stuck in your head, then my god, we will live in your head rent-free forever. <laughs> He'll never be able to enjoy another Fallout game because of us. It's so cruel. Don't you understand? <laughs> he will cry and play sad piano music and talk about how toxic we are. <laughs> we, we need the, like, the MLG sad music fucking, uh... <laughs> Clip. Oh man. Experience of enjoying the game. And it makes me pause in the game, it makes me criti more critical of it, and it stops my enjoyment. And when I'm playing 76, if I'm playing on a live stream, I can pretty much guarantee that it's. Alright, so. I hated New Vegas, Love 3 and 4. Sorry, Love 3, 4 is boring, but I love 76, even though I don't play with others. I think this is a thing that the diehard haters can't work out. We all like uh, different things for different reasons. Those are all... See, like, neither of those are toxic, reasonable. either. Yeah. yeah. Like, Jade No More, very reasonable commentary. Like, but that's what I've been saying. This whole and King of War. Uh, Same thing with King of War. Uh, yeah. Even his thing, he says he hates New Vegas. That's entirely that's reasonable. Fine. That's his perspective. That's yeah. Loves three, four was boring, but I love yeah. seven. These aren't toxic. Yeah, what the are only, you talking about toxic? The only issue I have with Jade No More's comment is we all like different things for different reasons because, yeah, no shit we do. And that's her assuming that uh, people who dislike the game are saying you can't like it. I don't. Anyone who's saying you can't like a game is a crazy person and you should ignore them. Most of us yeah. will say, yeah, you can enjoy fucking whatever you want. We just have issues with it. Like, we have yeah. issues with the product. Not with you liking it or not. You yeah. liking it or not will never change our opinion on the product. Yeah, like, you liking something that's bad doesn't make you a bad person. Exactly. Yeah. $5 super chat from Peace was never an option. Thank you very much. Why live in their head rent-free when you could live in their walls rent-free? Hashtag Sigma Grindset. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be someone who pops along and either dislikes, goes in and goes, oh, screw you, blah, blah, blah. It's okay, so I... You you have never shown once anybody that says screw you. Yeah, not once. So unfortunately, and... you have you have shown through your own evidence that you don't get those comments. Yeah. And I also want to point uh -oh. out, there is one comment, technically two since one was a re uh, reply to the other, in that entire selection that went in the other direction. Yeah, so One. again, he's yeah, my dude. You you have to show both sides. Okay, That's okay. So, one second, I have to start. I have basic to bare minimum. I have to give chat like a fucking talking to. You guys need to stop with the feet shit. <laughs> you need to stop. This isn't a joke. It's not like fucking like it, it is. Distracting. You need to stop, please. Yeah, please cut it out, guys. We will start deleting comments and start saying it. I keep going with it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's continue. All right. Now you got before I did. Uh, and I got the. Yeah, got the other. One. Ah, you're getting them before I can delete... Okay, whatever. Yeah. Well, the one was retracted by themselves. The other one I nailed. Ah. Uh, anyways. Let's back... Oh, oh, oh hold on. It we gotta back it off first, and then we'll go. Alright. There you go. Live stream, I can pretty much guarantee that at some point, there'll be someone who pops along and either dislikes... Or just goes in and goes, oh, screw you, blah, blah, blah. It's it's all stupid. It's stupid. <sighs> There's no true Fallout game out there. They're all Fallout games. We all should enjoy them. There is a true Fallout game out there. 
Fallout 1 is the true Fallout game. That is Fallout. That That's an indisputable fact. Your first game in the series sets what the series is. Yeah. Like, holy God, dude. You really need to think that one through. Just like the the idea that there is no true Fallout game. Well, the series has switched owners, you know, and yep. it devi and it deviated from what the original had intended, you know. So, like, what yep. do you mean there's no true Fallout game? Jesus, this guy makes no sense. All right. We good? Oh, no. Hmm? You can grab some more. Yeah. All right, we're good. If they keep doing it, just fucking time them out. Yeah, they will be started timing out. Don't worry. There's no true Fallout game out there. They're all them. There's some stupid gatekeeping going on by Toxic Elements, and I hate it. You know what? Which what you haven't gatekeeping? proven. You haven't proven there. One, you haven't even proven there are toxic elements yet. Like, you haven't proven hell, there's dude. any gatekeeping. None of your comments were gatekeepy. Yeah. Like you know what gatekeeping even is, right? Oh, you're not allowed to enjoy this. Fuck, you're not, you can't be a part of our fandom. <laughs> Who has said that? None of your comments said that. Nuva DT says there is no true Fallout game. Fallout One be like, why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God, stop fucking lying! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this guy. Also, this might surprise everybody. Gatekeeping is not inherently a bad fucking thing. Yeah. Sometimes you want to keep the fucking crazy people out. Yeah, because yeah. there will be people who come into your fandoms and try and twist and turn it into something it's fucking not. Um, as Razor Fist says, gatekeep the gatekeepers. Because they yes. will come in and push you out. Yep. And it's uh, like that meme image, too. Uh, there's not enough room in here for you. Okay, we'll make your own space. We want in your space. Oh, no. There's not enough room for us in our own space uh, yeah. anymore. Alright. Alright. True Fallout game out there. They're all Fallout games. We all should enjoy them. There's some stupid gatekeeping going on by Toxic Elements, and I hate it. You know what? I put up a poll asking on my YouTube channel, Hey, would you be interested in, making me, in me making a rant video about the problems with the Fallout fandom right now? And it got a fair few results, it was quite interesting to see. I also found it pretty funny that multiple times when I checked on it, it was at either 69% saying yes, which was pretty nice, or at 76% saying yes, which was great. I think now it's at like 74 or 75, which sucks, but that was a little amusing part. Before we head on to okay, the slightly more serious thing, on. where there was... Why? Why include this? Uh, again, uh, it's, it's Haha, ha, funny meme number, haha. Ha. Uh, funny mean number, ha, huh? Fallout 76. 76. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Again, let's see what he's actually getting to. Again, that was just a nothing burger of a fucking thing. So let's see what he's actually getting to. Because he's just about to, he said that there was something that came in. I think now 74 or 75, which sucks, but that was the little amusing part. Before we head on to the slightly more serious thing, where there was this person who left a comment saying... Dude. Oh, he's going to read it. He's reading it. Oh, oh, is he actually going to read it? All right, let's yeah, find out. No, he has to read, read more. Oh my god, yeah, he has to read more why on the here. Fuck so he doesn't even you... show us the full fucking thing, you piece of shit. Why the fuck would you take a screenshot to show in your video and not hit the fucking read more? <sighs> I, mean, I mean, you know, I don't want to attribute malice. Maybe he forgot. But also... Yeah. He might be hiding the end of it because the end of it, like, kind of makes it better, or or not toxic or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, but hang on. But here's something I would like to note about this one because this one does seem pretty fucking toxic. But I want to see if he actually reads it first. Let's see if he right. actually reads it. Okay. Who comment saying, "Dude, you'll always hate and defending the game." Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, yeah, That's so actually skipping gonna... for me the entire time. 
He said oh, he, 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 he just said it. he just we thought he was gonna read it, but he just said, "Dude, y'all always hating on Fall 76," and then he goes on to defend the game. That's all he says. Um, guess what, yo? Still going strong here since day one drop. Still killing ghouls. Still making caps. Still dropping nukes. How about a video about why is it still here? Many hot title games dropped since like what three and a half years ago. COD, Doom, Rage, Borderlands, many more. Yet no one's abandoned Fallout 76. I mean, I catch people all the time who said they back uh, Quitter. And then okay, again, well, he the whole thing. He, he well, here's a little something we can do. We can... Uh, look at the active player numbers and show that this person is wrong. <laughs> I was going to go somewhere else. We can go to this guy's channel, try and find the poll, and see if we can find the full comment. Uh, sure. We can try it. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm doing that the meantime, right now. Two dollar super chat from Terror Twenty Four. Thank you very much. Use your brain. That's teal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that was I. That was a YouTube comment, so it'll be under its community tab, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, let's see here. Well, this guy makes a lot of uh, posts. <laughs> oh man, the. Yeah, again, and, and as for why is it still here? Because a sucker is born every minute, and they people keep spending money at the Atom Shop. Uh, like, well, they, people still spend money, $18 for a fucking can of paint. Yeah. So, of course, uh, why? You have no reason to shut this down, ever. Wasn't Fallout 76 free on Xbox Game Pass or something? Yes, and they've been trying to give it away free multiple times. Because... Yeah. Them, them getting people into the game isn't what they want. What they want is people getting suckered into the cash shop. And if you do that, it's a net positive. Why would you ever shut something like that down? Okay, so I want to point out something quickly. There's yep. three answers in his poll. Yes, I'd watch that. No, I won't click on a video like that. Fuck you, I'm unsubscribing. Why okay, you... so it's it's not even a good poll. Jesus. No. Uh, and where's right. that comment that. by? That was Outlander. Outlander 1321. Yeah, here we go. One. It's right here. Okay. Uh, how about a video uh, about why it is it's why is it still here? Many hot title games dropped since like what three and a half years ago. COD, Doom, Rage, Borderlands, many more. Yet no one's abandoned Fallout 76. Well, you don't know. That Which no isn't true. Yeah, Which isn't you... true. We we have the numbers. We know they have in fact abandoned Fallout 76. Yeah, you could say not everyone has abandoned uh, Fallout 76, but not not exactly. that. Uh, let's see, can I put this on screen? Yes, I can. Yeah, um, do it. You know, I mean, I catch people all the time who said they back Critters from first year and are lost because the game has changed so much. I play on PlayStation 4. Heard experience how the community gets along Varus on systems. Varies. Yeah, I don't Varys know why like... Varys from Game of Thrones has fucking anything to do with this, but all right. Hold on a second, but look, look. He commented. Bad yeah. Company Sarge commented on it. Let's see what you had to say. Also, no upvotes, no likes. Yeah, I do want to ask as a genuine question, what is it that makes it appear to you that I'm regularly hating on uh, 76? I'm neither agreeing nor disagreeing with that statement. I'm just looking to know specifically why I come across like that to you. If you're able to let me know, then that would be incredibly helpful. Thanks in advance. All right. Thank you for replying. It means a lot. I was stereotypical and I apologize. How are you stereotypical? Uh, I think he was saying he assumed. Uh, this is what he means to say. He assumed that this was another hate thing. What I meant by y'all was... It's so weird for me to say y'all because it's just not part of my vocabulary. Um, I can do it. Fuck yeah. Y'all. Yeah. What I meant by y'all was a blanket term for those YouTubers who have for years talked more about Fallout's faults than its amazing coverage of encompassing the attention of many types of player and able to hold on to that base. That has much more return visits from those that quit uh, that quit it than probably any other. When I talk you to don't gamers, know that. Yeah, you don't know that. When yeah. I talk to gamers who know the franchise and like other games but don't play it, I ask why and they were scared to spend any money on a game that was broke. I ask how you know it's broke. It's all, They always say reviews in YouTube. Thank you for your time. No, this is what? real fucking easy. This is real fucking easy for me. How do I know it's broke? I unfortunately experienced the game, and it's a broken piece of shit. Yeah. It also has nothing to do with Fallout. Your very first comment of 
Still killing ghouls, still making caps, still dropping nukes. Well, sorry, that ain't a Fallout game anymore. That is not... You being able to launch nukes is the antithesis of Fallout. Yeah. Fallout was about the horrors of fucking nuclear world. Tim Kaine's quote, again, to bring it up, um, I was more interested in the uh, morals of a post-nuclear world. Um, yes. Not building a better plasma gun. Yep. No. Obviously, I fucked the quote up a little bit, but you get the essence of it. No, no, and, and, here's, and here's the funny thing. Uh, this is uh, a toxic comment? Right. Like, he corrected himself after you asked him, like, what he actually meant by, like, oh, why, why are you hating on 76? And so keep in mind... He, uh, you, yeah. you rolled it back. No, keep in on. mind, those replies were... He already got the response when he showed that comment in this video. Yep. Um, so. Yes. So, again, yeah, fucking Sarge just being disingenuous. Of fucking oh, course so, he is. So that's why he didn't show the replies. Interesting, Matt. Yep. Uh. All right. Before we head to a more serious thing, where there was this person who left a comment saying, Dude, you'll always hating on Fallout 76, and then defending the game. Now, this person has been subscribed to me for a year. They subscribed to me, obviously, when I was covering Fallout 76 full-time. And guess what? I'm not hating on Fallout 76. But I decided I wouldn't claim that... No, how dare you claim I hate 76? Screw you, I didn't want to start an argument, okay, so, so I okay, tried to put so it as usual as possible, okay. I asked them, as a genuine question, why they thought I'm hating on 76, and I said I'm not agreeing or disagreeing with the statement, I just want to know specifically why I come across like that. Okay, I want to, sorry, I had to pause it for a second, but I want to also say that he didn't um, show, read more on the comment that he replied to, but he put show more on his own comment. Yeah. Yes. So that's it. That's kind of interesting to me. Yeah, I noticed that right away. Uh, God damn it. I, I will continue, though, if anyone doesn't. Just... And I thanked them for it. I was very. Thank you for replying means a lot. I was stereotypical and I apologize. What I meant by you was a blanket term for those YouTubers who have for years talked more about oh, Fallout fault, Fallout's faults than its amazing coverage in encompassing the attention of many types of players and able to hold on to that base. I, yeah, he gives a very positive thing, and he talks a lot of sense after I just disarm things by being neutral but polite. Okay. Disarmed things? He wasn't toxic before, though. Yeah. You didn't disarm anything. Also, you have to love the use of the word fucking disarm there. It's like, I got this horrible, toxic comment, and by being neutral, I, I disarmed I jumped on the landmine, <laughs> and because I was neutral, I was able to make sure it didn't go off. Ugh. Like, Sarge, stop overinflating what you did. You, one, didn't disarm anything, and two, you, that wasn't toxic to begin with. Stop being disingenuous. Yeah, it's clearly someone kind of fanboying over a game, but it's not someone being toxic. Yeah. This He's is not saying pathetic. you should kill yourself. He's not saying get a fucking life. He's not saying that you are the scum of the earth. He's not being toxic at all. No. Not even a little. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking pathetic. Jesus Christ. I, like, I'm 95% sure I'm going to do a response to this video. Yeah. yeah. This So far, this entire video has been nothing but a guy whinging that people... Have, have disagreements on the internet? Have very mild disagreements on the internet. Yeah. Very oh, mild. The, Holy shit. Oh, the humanity. I mean, how how is... You know? Hearing what he's... It's like seeing what he's saying. Wow. My god, Someone said I would you have... shouldn't buy Fallout 76. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so toxic and hateful. Oh. Yeah, we, we truly are living in the... In and the we truly are living in Generation Snowflake, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Actually, that reminds me. I saw a comment in chat earlier I was wanting to read out, and I fucking forgot, but I just remembered it. This guy makes snowflakes look like chads. 
<laughs> Chad Flakes. <laughs> Chad Flakes. That yeah. that sounds like a breakfast cereal. It does. That's what yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> Alrighty. I always start my morning with a helping dose of Chad Flakes. Nah. Snow for the Chad Flake. Alright. Looks a lot of sense. After I just disarm things by being but polite. Because this is another example of how the toxicity steeps in. We just it seeps then. That the wasn't games we play toxic. that we immediately assume that what fucking hell, Jesus. Hold on, play that again. He says that it, we get so defensive we immediately go on the attack. I think is what this is another example of how the toxicity Man, steeps in. Over the games we play, this is actually getting hard to deal with. The video keeps yeah. Why is loading. it skipping so much? Mine isn't. All right, hold on. We'll go back a bit further. We'll go back uh, like fifteen seconds. So, but but wait, basically, what he said was we just get defensive so much over the games that we play and like. It's like again, that's a you problem. This is entirely a, if you can't get over your fucking self and you tie your self worth into a fucking game. That's a you problem. Yeah. Looks a lot of after I just disarm things by being but polite. Because this is another example of how the toxicity steeps in. We just get so defensive over the games we play that we immediately assume the other party's going to be on the aggression or on the aggression. Like you kind of did just now by assuming that comment was toxic. Yeah, you're right. you're literally again. You are highlighting that everything in this video is your problem. Yeah, not the, the community. Guy... It's you. Yeah. It's entirely you that is the problem. Yeah, the guy had to literally like tell you, like, dude, I'm not being toxic. And in his like after you came at him, as making assumptions on his part. He had to tell you, hey, I'm not being toxic. You didn't defuse the situation. If anything, you tried to escalate it. Am I out of touch? No, it's the fans that are wrong. Yeah, that's literally this fucking guy. <laughs> no, it's the fans who must be wrong. Toxicity steeps in. We just also, get so steep, defensive over the games we play that we immediately assume the other party's going to be on the aggression or on the aggressive side of things. And it's not the case. We just enjoy playing video games. These are... I almost swore there. These are just video games. They're just games that we're enjoying. Oh, are you actually going to start going into the thing where you shouldn't have to... You shouldn't think about this stuff? You shouldn't actually think and put care and, like want people to do good things with it that you, there shouldn't be effort it's just mindless entertainment turn off your brain just consume is that the argument you are actually walking toward don't ask Slide. questions just consume product and get excited for next product because yeah he's literally it's just games it's just games like seriously yeah. that is the best fucking quote red letter media has ever had holy shit yeah dude this is holy shit see what i what i've come to find when people say stuff like this just uh it's just video games like you shouldn't you know think about it it's all good it's here's my deal that type of talk uh inadvertently tries to delegitimize video games as a form of art yeah and yep. uh i can't i'm not for it really you know everything is uh, every piece of media everything is subject to criticism and you should always try to look at what you like critically and evaluate why you feel the things you feel and if you don't then like you're just passively engaging in your media and you're just soaking you're not exactly understand like essentially it's just watered down at that point if you don't do those things you know Yeah. I was about uh, I was about to say, did I cut out? Be no. 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 no, you didn't. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at chat. All right. How's it? Okay. How does it feel to have Just... lived long enough to see all your favorite franchises go down in flames? 
Yeah. Feels great. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're on the end of things. And it's not the case. With video games. These are. I almost. Video games. They're just games that we're enjoying. But too often we're getting like an emotional attachment to it and feeling like we have to defend this game. We need to defend it because that person's going to attack it. That person likes that thing, well they're going to attack my thing. How dare they? It's not the case. We're all just being infected. Uh, well, sometimes it is the case. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah. Because you you literally just engaged in this. Well, he... That you have tied your emotional self-worth into things. Well, he even made this argument at the start of his video. New Vegas fans will uh, attack Bethesda Fallout, and then the Bethesda fans go on the defense. No, you've already made you've made this claim as a fact, which you haven't backed up at all. You claim that there's a ton of toxicity, which you haven't backed up at all. And especially now, you're saying you're, you've disarmed a thing just by being neutral and polite, which you didn't do. Um, holy shit, dude! But the problem is that you already admitted that you are 100% emotionally driven. These people that you call toxic that aren't, that the most mild, like, milk toast fucking comments, they live rent free in your head and ruin the experience for you. This is a you problem. 100% a you problem. Like, oh. my god, dude, you need to grow a spine. That said, I do agree that there are people who will get way too emotionally invested in um, yes in different series, whether it's games, movies, or fucking whatever else. Um, like that pathetic man-child who cried at the Rise of Skywalker trailer. That's someone who is too yes. invested. Oh my god. That is in... somebody who's like, dude, you need to fucking get outside. Yeah. And sometimes you will have to deal with those people, but you haven't shown that in this video. You... you... None of the examples you've shown even come close to that level of, like, emotional attachment to a series. Um, yeah. And, like, I can only imagine what your reaction would be if you actually had to deal with one of those people. Because, my God, if this is your reaction over the comments you've shown... <laughs> yeah, you, you're, you're you a lost are cause, literally... Yeah, you literally wouldn't wouldn't stand a chance at this you should stop now big iron lives rent free in my head <laughs> that's a good <laughs> thing to have uh rent free in your head end this game we need to defend it because that person's going to attack it that person likes that thing well they're going to attack my thing how dare they it's not the case we're all just being infected by the worst part of the community and we need to catch ourselves when we do this. We need to stop ourselves from going to the extremes. We just need to... Okay, so right now you're admitting that it's entirely a you problem. Like, you're admitting that you have to stop it. You, It's you. It's all you. It's just you. See how he's also trying to tie in the worst parts of the fan base again? That's Yeah. Like, they're the ones who are making us like this? Which, again, no. he hasn't even fucking shown that there was any toxicity to begin with, so, you know, you've already fucked that. Man, these people. Holy cow. Yeah. Being infected by the worst part of a community. Catch ourselves when we do this. We need to stop ourselves from going to the extremes. We just need to chill, man. Just chill. Just let it all float away. It's all fine. Because... Bethesda, they might not be ruining the franchise. I don't think they are. So, uh, they no, they definitely are. are. So they just, absolutely are. So you haven't even looked into any of the arguments to see how valid they were or not. You didn't, like, you you hear people complaining about what Bethesda's doing their franchise, and you decided, oh yeah, they must be toxic without doing any research. Well, maybe they're not ruining the franchise. So, you know. So you don't know. You don't know. Yeah. Which My makes God, this even dude. worse, because you're sitting here saying that these people are, are toxic. toxic and stuff, and meanwhile, they could have a genuine point, and you don't know it, which you just admit, because you're not you paying any bother, attention. Yeah, you aren't paying attention to anything. You're just letting it all flow away. But also, at the same time, 
you admit that you're a hypocrite because these people live rent free in your head and you're so like they're so toxic it ruins everything for me yeah this very much seems like the kind of person who would um see my eight hour fucking uh miniature nerd response video and just go yeah that guy's long toxic. man bad long man bad long man bad yeah that guy's toxic because he's saying this game is bad and responding to someone else's opinion of it like no that's not how that works not yeah. in the slightest you wouldn't reply to someone on the internet would you Holy shit, yeah. Yeah, it's... <sighs> Just what annoying coming across these shit fucking arguments so often. Especially when someone won't even do the research. It's just all assumption. Yep. $2 super chat from a guy under a bridge. Thank you very much. I smell a copium addict. Yeah, yep. basically. All right. There we go. Because Bethesda, they might not be ruining the franchise. I don't think they are. But we could be. Think about it. All the people who come to the Fallout We absolutely are not ruining the franchise. Okay. Yeah, demanding quality from this Having... product. You, you pay... Sorry. Americans pay $60 for these games. Canadians and Australians pay fucking $80 for these games. Yeah, I yep. think we're allowed to fucking demand some quality from these games if we're going to be shelling out that fucking much money to play them. And, and longtime I, I fans get. have a long investment in the, in this series. They want it to continue to be good. You know how shitty it is to get super into something and then it just turns to fucking shit? Yep. Well, no, Sarge wouldn't. Because, Sarge, hate to break it to you, normal people aren't consumers we don't just shut our fucking brains off and like i don't think oh no the comments are making me think logically about a game oh they're so toxic we're not like you <laughs> we have a spine we have standards we have basic standards of what something should actually be the fact you don't the fact you are so easy to please that somebody could jingle some ch some fucking coins in front of you or your keys yeah that's a you problem yeah. you need to get some fucking standards my dude you know, when making a defense for the Fallout and you happen to say something like, oh, these people who are making me think critically about the series are ruining my enjoyment of the series. Like, then if your that's enjoyment... your defense, yeah. then like, how do you, how can you even say that you actually even like these actual franchises? Like, how can you even say that? Yeah, there... here, here's, the, here's the thing, chat, and it's true. And it has always been true, and it will always be true. If somebody's opinion of a game, even, like, it doesn't matter if it's backed up or not, if somebody's opinion of a game destroys your enjoyment of that game, then you didn't actually enjoy that game. Right there. You, you built up a falsehood, a facade that you enjoyed it, and your subconscious has just now railed against it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you have it. And there's a comment in chat. His argument is their opinions ruined my enjoyment. Yeah. Yes. If someone... I, I think this is something Mr. Caption actually said in one of his videos. If someone criticizing a product ruins it for you, then... Fuck, how, how did that go exactly? Thinking about... A, um, I forget the exact quote, but... You know what I'm getting at. If, if someone's ruining the product for you just by criticizing it, then maybe that product wasn't good and you're coming to terms with the fact that, oh, yes. hey. You are experiencing denial. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I, I think Mr. Caption's uh, quote was, thinking more about a piece of media shouldn't ruin it for me. Because he's replying to the kinds of people who say, oh yeah, don't, don't think about it, just play game. Yeah. It should absolutely be that if I think about it, I get more investment in it, and I am more impressed by what has been shown. Yeah. Uh -huh. Be ruining the f guys. I don't think they are. But we could think about it. All the people who come to the Fallout games now, they're entering a community where the topic of conversation far too often goes to, 
oh hey, are, are you a fan of the real Fallout games? Or do you like those other Fallout games, the ones that suck? Ugh. Wow. Wow. That is who just that reductive and who, disingenuous. Who yeah. and where? Those are the, those two questions. Who and where? Again, you haven't shown any of this. You, again, your entire fucking parade of toxic comments were the most milk toast tame fucking comments I have ever seen. Like, dude, you are especially somebody who will not be the the arbiter of what is toxic or not. Because as we have proven, you can't even fucking handle somebody saying, I don't agree with you. <gasps> toxic! Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's insane. And he's completely wrong about, well, he is at least for most of them, the, the idea that fans of, I don't know, let's just say like fans of New Vegas are going to ask a question like that like i some of my friends some of my closest friends their favorite fallout game is four i hate four i think four is worse than is worse than three i think uh i don't think it's as bad as 76 but it's definitely like on the lower end i think it's terrible i don't fucking sit there and be like you're stupid I don't, yeah. I don't call them stupid. I'm just like, why do you like it? And the reasons they like it make sense. I just don't think that that's – I don't think that's what you should completely, you know, base your enjoyment of the game around entirely. But I understand why they like it more. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, well, you're an idiot. You're stupid. You shouldn't be in this fandom. You shouldn't like these games then. You – Shouldn't be allowed to talk about them, or we're not going to be friends anymore. Actually, that's I just insane. Something too. Hmm? He's li- he is literally asking people to gatekeep, right now. He's actually asking people to gatekeep these toxic elements out and like ignore them, push them away, get them out of Ooh. here. Uh oh. Yeah, saying, and this is what he considers toxic. Saying, yeah, while saying gatekeeping is bad. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also, just to point out, because I it's distracting and really fucking weird. Look at this fake widescreen shit he's got going on here. Yes, we're half the UI is why... fucking cut off for some reason. Yeah, well, why? How did this happen? I I have to assume it's just done intentionally. Like he has, he's either uh, cropped uh, the video using masking to make it look widescreen, or he just has. A PNG with black bars on the top and bottom that he overlays the video footage because that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, I don't know why he's why he's doing that. It's more cinematic that way. <laughs> yeah, it surprise. looks like shit seeing the UI cut off though. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if that's legitimately why he did it, it and I'd just be like, "Fucking, that's, be. that's a lie." It could be. Right. There, there are people out there who think making something more cinematic just makes it better. Like, instantly. Uh, five pound super chat from Uncooked. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Merry Xmas. Let's celebrate a year of bad Fallout takes. <laughs> it's not just a year of bad Fallout takes. Holy hell. It's a decade at this point. Yep. All right. Hey. A fan of the real Fallout games? Or do you like. Fuck. Ugh. It's terrible. It just is. I do not feel proud to be a Fallout fan these days. I loved it when I first got into the series. I may not have enjoyed the first game, but of the first game that I played, which was Fallout 3, I couldn't get into it. But then I played New Vegas and I loved that, and that got me to try the series out more. When Fallout 4 came out, I decided I'd start a YouTube channel, which is now my job, which is freaking amazing. And then I came back and went to Fallout 3 again, and now I love it, and it's great fun, and I've got so many positive takes on it. And I should love all of that. But there's always just this demon on my... Oh my god. You're actually doing the positive... Uh, the, uh... The, um... What is it? Toxic positivity thing. Holy shit. Yeah. We should, you should just love everything. Uh, sorry, just to make no, sure we're on shouldn't. the same time code. You're at ten minutes exactly, right? I'm at ten minutes exactly. Okay, yeah, because you're starting to say this demon, which... Yes. Uh... It's like, oh boy. Also, by the way, this isn't... Sorry. This is exactly why when you make your YouTube channel, you shouldn't dedicate it around one franchise because there's Absolutely. numerous reasons why you might 
not want to cover just one franchise. You might want to branch out. You might get franchise fatigue. Uh, the franchise might come to an end. You might run out of things to say or do or fucking whatever. Um, yep. And that's part of the, like, just to make clear, I never intended my channel to be a Fallout-centric channel. It just happens that a lot of the videos I did early on were mostly Fallout videos. Um, I am going to be doing a lot of non-Fallout stuff as well. Obviously. Yeah. Alright, backing us up. And I should love all of that. But there's always just this demon on my shoulder going, Oh, I'm either a New Vegas fan or a Fallout 76 fan, or would you like Bethesda or Obsidian? Which of these entities do you like? They're companies, they're not people. The people in them change over time, and they aren't just set by the one thing they've done. By the one thing they've done? Oh, boy. Okay, so that's more in favor of Obsidian. They aren't set by the one thing they've done. But, again, once is a fluke. Twice is a coincidence. Three times is a pattern. And Bethesda, Bethesda has, a... has constantly, constantly dumbed their games down, made more egregious microtransactions, and been as completely anti-consumer, and especially have hated their own customers constantly. Yeah. Pete Hines doesn't react the way he does because he loves the fan base. He reacts the way he does on Twitter because... Because he hates the fan base. Yeah, because he's annoyed that anyone fucking asks a question about how the game works. Or why the lore is fucking broken because they didn't pay attention to what the content was. We will not be beholden to the words of someone else. Like, we, go won't fuck yourself, Pete Hines. we won't be beholden to the writing of someone 20 years ago. Yeah, um, go fuck yourself, Pete. This is, this is how you fuck your world building and lore and history of your series into the fucking ground. Yes. Again, Bethesda can turn this fucking around. Nobody is beyond redemption. Bethesda can absolutely turn this fucking shit show around. If Starfield turns out to be actually fucking good, thank God. Because, hey, Starfield doesn't have any lore for them to fuck up. So... That, they don't. We don't have to worry about that. That's one of the biggest things uh, Starfield has going for it. Has no lore for it to fuck up. That said, that doesn't mean they will. They can't fuck up the story. It's very possible they will. Oh, absolutely. Um, I want it to be good. I. I hope it's good, but I don't have my hopes up that it will be good. Yep. Uh, back me up. And excuse me. This fan or a Fallout Six fan, or would you like Bethesda or Obsidian? Which they're companies, they're not people. The people in them change over time, and they aren't just set by the one thing they've done. Obsidian have made tons of games, not just New Vegas. Because they made New Vegas and you enjoy it, doesn't mean everything they do is perfect. Because Bethesda. Oh my God, the fucking perfect argument again. Uh, perfect. No one That's is saying on this. Way. No one is saying. We want more hits than misses. That's all we want. We don't yeah. need fucking perfection. And That's... Fallout New Vegas fans are pretty well the personification of that, because God knows New Vegas is nowhere near a perfect fucking game. But yep. they still like it because it's good. Yeah. Yeah, it has actual objective quality. It actually exceeds standards. Yeah, the perfect uh, argument is definitely the bingo card. Yeah, that should definitely be on the bingo card for sure. Yeah. Also, I, I think I'm going to add um, entitlement to the bingo card. You best fucking believe that if I paid over 50 fucking dollars for it, I'm entitled. I, it's a product I bought. I am entitled to that product fucking working. Yeah. Yeah. That's, also, that that's a, another that word that's overused, like fanboy fucking, and toxic. Yeah, that is basic fucking rights. Yeah, that's one that comes up a lot. Oh, you're just an entitled fanboy who wants perfection. No. What is, uh, Caleb Dawkins says, what is a perfect game? Uh, truthfully, I don't think there will ever, ever be a perfect game. However, there is one that we have joked about might be a perfect game, which is Desert well, Bus. Yeah, Desert and Bus we, is a 10 out of 10. And we emphasize we joked about, yeah. 
because it sets out it tells you exactly what it is you are a bus driver that is driving the route between vegas and somewhere else in real time i think it was tucson arizona yeah so you're driving the route in real time yeah the game eight hours exactly what it says an eight hour drive yeah and if you so, uh, go off the road you get towed in real time back to the starting point yep so i mean again it delivers exactly what it says it's going to do so if you don't like it that's not a fault of the game the game literally said this is what it is all hail so, desert bus <laughs> yeah so that's why we joke that yeah desert bus is a 10 out of 10 because it well, sets out and does exactly what it says it will do half joke i do think like it's it's funny to say Desert Bus is a 10 out of 10, but probably actually is a 10 out of 10. With a badass seal of approval. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue this shit. Uh, have you already wound it back? Yes. Okay. Didn't enjoy it doesn't mean everything they do is terrible. Companies will have high points. Oh, I guess. No, I didn't wind it back. Holy, my apologies. I thought I did already because I thought we were at 1030 before. You right, fucked up. Yeah, we're going back a little bit more, a little bit more. All right. There we go. Made tons of games, not just New Vegas. Because they made New Vegas and you enjoy it doesn't mean everything they do is perfect. Because Bethesda did 76 and you didn't enjoy it doesn't mean everything they do is terrible. Companies will have high points and low points. With okay, so. We're okay. not saying. Except everything. they're on a constant downward trend. Yes. Exactly. This is, this is a problem. They are. And going downwards they're they're constantly downgrading they are dumbing down they are not going up they are not improving and this is exactly why i hate these fucking petty reductive arguments oh just because bethesda made 76 doesn't mean uh everything they do is terrible that's not the argument we're making the argument no. we're making is yes it has been a pattern um yes fallout 3 has a ton of issues Fallout 4 has a ton of issues. Skyrim has a ton of issues. Like, yep. Yep. We're, we're not saying Bethesda bad Fallout because Shelter Bethesda bad. We don't like Bethesda. It's terrible. It's awful. Yeah. They can do no good. That's not why we're saying Bethesda bad. We're saying Bethesda is bad because they're making games that are like have a ton of issues that we can point at and show you. Yes, yeah. and they keep happening. Again, they can't turn this around and Starfield is going to be the thing that literally for me makes or breaks if they can actually turn this shit around because they don't have any lore to fuck up or anything like that. It is entirely an original thing for them. So they, they have, they have everything stacked in their favor when it comes to Starfield. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Yeah. If they can't make a new IP without fucking that up, then man, that is not good for Bethesda. Yeah. Uh -huh. Enjoy it doesn't mean everything they do is perfect. Because Bethesda did so many things, mean everything they do is terrible. Companies will have high points and low points when they make these games. We need to all learn and accept that and just chill the F out about it. <sighs> you need to look into what yeah. people are actually saying. Yeah, because yeah, this, this, seems, this seems very much like someone who is aware that, oh yeah, there's a, uh, there's a schism, there's a, there's a divide in the Fallout fan base. But did zero research on it. And As I, to I, why there's a divide. Yeah, and I need to point this out again. Look at how fucking one-sided this all is. Well, Obsidian isn't perfect. Be or, yeah, Obsidian's games aren't perfect because they made New Vegas. And not everything Bethesda does is garbage because they made 76. He's still only mm. attacking one side of the argument here. Because mm. both those arguments would be attributed to New Vegas fans. Even though that yes. that's not what we're actually saying. But... That's where they're. That's the direction they're attributed. He isn't saying, "Oh well, um, Bethesda also isn't perfect for uh, the games they make, and uh, Obsidian isn't garbage because you don't like Outer Worlds or fucking whatever else." Yeah. Like, it's it's just completely one sided here. Yeah, it's annoying. And it shows. Yeah. And, by the way, yeah. we're over 10 minutes into a 16-minute video, 
And this has all been one-sided. I very much doubt we're going to get the other side at this point. For a video that's, hey, both sides of the fandom are bad. Seems yeah, like both sides like are bad, but I'm only going to talk about the one. Yeah. Yep. This video is so much worse than I thought it was. Yeah. All right, let's wind it back. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Because Bethesda did 76 and you didn't enjoy it doesn't mean everything they do is terrible. Companies will have high points and low points when they make these games. We oh, yeah, I want to point out another thing here. Uh, we won't have to wind this back as we've seen the next part. But yeah. Uh, Bethesda isn't bad because you didn't enjoy Fallout 76. It's not about enjoyment, it's about the quality. You yeah, can enjoy yeah, yeah. something that's poorly made, and you can hate something that is well made. We don't say Bethesda bad because we didn't like 76. We criticized Bethesda because 76 was genuinely poorly fucking made. As evidenced by all the videos pointing out the glitches and uh, bugs and crate. Remember how, I think it was last year, people found a way to spawn in the fucking Pridwin from Fallout 4? Yep. There, there are so many, so many fucking issues. Yeah. And, uh, and as Setch said, uh, there's, a, there's a pattern to consider with Bethesda. Yes. You know, which, which, they're, which he's uh, kind of leaving out, but whatever. Yeah. Yep. And it's funny, too, because in a lot of other situations, people will look at the track records of uh, companies and stuff. Like, the good example, the GTA Trilogy Remaster. People are looking at it prior to release and are like, oh, shit, the company they have doing this is the company that did the awful mobile port. Well, yeah. they've got a little bit of a history already. I don't know what else they've done, but people were like, hey, they fucked up this thing before. Um we're not having high hopes because they might do it again. And then what fucking happened? They did it again. So. Yeah, that's how people are about 343 Industries right now and Halo Infinite and being like, well, are they actually going to pull this off? Because so far their track record has not been too great. Yeah. yeah I haven't played the Halo games after 3, but I heard 4 is bad. I heard 5 is really bad. And I heard they destroyed like a big part of the lore. Yes. They. Yeah. They made it so that humans are no longer Forerunner, mm. which was expressly stated in in the other games that they are. You are Forerunner. That that's not even a, a fucking thing. An actual okay, an actual keeper of one of the rings specifically stated humans are Forerunner. Yeah. And then they try to retcon in because of these fucking consoles and research logs. That, oh, no, no, we're not actually. Well, the Forerunners exist. So they, they can have Forerunners as enemies. Mm. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. dumb. It is, it is very, very dumb. But, yeah, it's like you can. Yeah, it's OK to look at the track records of other companies. But if you do it for Bethesda, you're you're toxic. Fuck you. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's continue. And accept that and just chill the F out. <sighs> yeah, oh, this has gone into full ramp mode. Well, yeah, I guess the title probably goes for it. I will say, though, there is a fair bit of hope. Because it's important to remember that the toxic people are a small part of this. And although they'll yeah. infect us from time to time, I saw something lovely the other day. Kato happened to share with us for a future Pipcast discussion a little poll that was taken on the Fallout subreddit. And the poll itself, the results, don't matter too much. They were talking about, like, hey, which of the Fallout games do you think has the best this, this, and that? I'll leave a link if you do fancy just having to browse through. The part that I loved were the comments. Because the comments were realistic and sensible and just great for that reason. Like, genuinely. One of the most upvoted comments was someone being like, Oh hey, it's important to remember that this is the r slash fallout subreddit, so the results will be skewed. And it was only like, less than 10,000 results, it might even be 800, my internet's broken so I can't check on it. But it wasn't that many people, it was a small segment of the most dedicated fans you could say, because they're already in r slash fallout. And okay, so I have to point, he said his internet's garbage, um, you need your internet to upload this, so you could have gotten the, uh... Screenshots of the comments and the poll results to show on screen. 
Yes. But you're also saying diehard Fallout fans. Well, again, there's two Fallout fandoms right now. Which one are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, for all Actually, we know, it sorry. could have all been I, people agreeing. I, I should I should clarify, there's three Fallout fandoms. There's generally there's the old games plus new vegas there's the bethesda games and there's the people who like all of them so yeah. which group are you referring to here because if you say it's going to be slanted well he sure it's there's going to be a slant reddit's... which direction is it in yeah he said it's reddit's thing it's r slash fallout and, he... and then he says that this comment said there will be a slant but then okay so again why didn't you show us the poll and why the poll doesn't matter or anything like that no, the poll could absolutely fucking matter yeah, it could. If if something is like ninety five percent fault seventy six is the bestest, then yeah, the the poll is fucked. Yeah. Yeah, because for all we know, it could literally be all the comments and the poll could literally just be a bunch of people being like, "Yeah, Fallout no, Fallout seventy six is amazing. We're totally correct about everything we're saying." Also, and yeah. with nobody disagreeing with them. Also, you hear the insanely small sample size too. It was like 8,000, or it could have been 800, I don't know. Um, that is a very small sample size. Yeah, that is not very big at all. That leaves a lot of room for people to just be one-sided and not disagree with one another. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, so this this is all just a weird nothing burger of a tangent. Let's see where we go with it. Yeah. It's broken, so I check on it. But it wasn't that many people... It was a small segment of the most dedicated fans, you could say, because they're already in r slash fallout, and people were being sensible about that and realistic, and it was nice to see, it was a good reminder that, hey, well, Reddit's broken, my internet just came back on and Reddit's not working still, so that is- Okay, so he's- oh. I want to ask, what is sensible and reasonable to you? Because we already seen what's toxic to you, so what the yeah. fuck is sensible? All the games are good. They have no problems at all. I want more of Bethesda Fallout. Is that what? Don't it... don't think if pe making people making me think about the flaws and stuff ruins it for me. Don't think, just consume. Yeah. Also, another thing I want to call out here real quick: they're the most diehard, dedicated fans because they're on the Fallout subreddit. You know, there's a lot of diehard fans who refuse to use Reddit specifically because because these of places how... are a toxic fucking cesspit of of yeah. one thing. Yeah, and if you disagree with anything, they will harass you and even ban you for your opinions. Oh yeah, I've so seen for a you shit to be ton like different comments over the years of people saying, "Oh yeah, I've got them banned from uh, this subreddit for disagreeing with them." It, it happens yeah. a lot. And so to say I, that... I also want to point out, you, do you realize how fucking fast I would get called out if I said, oh yeah, there was a uh, post on No Mutants Allowed, and it was very reasonable, and it gives me hope, and just not show any of the evidence? You know how fast people would call me out? And that's yeah. not to say No Mutants Allowed is bad. I don't go on the forums. I, I don't use forums. But uh, I do know people regularly cite it as like, Oh yeah, it's the toxic cesspit of the classic Fallout fans. It's like, it just seems like a forum to me of people who like the games. Mm. And are critical of the new ones because, yeah, the new ones are not that good. Well, let's see where this goes. Being sensible about it, realistic, and it was nice to see, it was a good reminder that, hey... Well, Reddit's broken. My internet just came back on, and Reddit's not working still, so that is great. But it was a great reminder that hey, yeah, we enjoy different things. How and convenient! Just a small fan base or a small section of this huge fan base. Yeah, I want to point out uh, my internet came back on. Um, my. But now dude, Reddit's down. My dude, this is what editing is for. Yes. Nothing says yeah. you have to do the entire video in one shot. And then fucking upload it immediately, upload it immediately. Ah! Like, yeah, that, I can't wait a day for Reddit to come back up so I can get the evidence for my video. No, no, no. I have to upload it now, right this instant. I cannot, I just can't put the evidence in because I, I have to upload it now for some arbitrary reason. Yeah. Refreshing to see. It was nice to see the discourse just be like chill and accepting. 
and that's what I want Fallout fans to be. Okay, again, Dude, what okay, is Sean accepting to, to you? Because yes. you considered the most bland, low-level criticisms as horribly toxic to the point where it ruins playing the game for you. So... Yeah. So yeah, is it just I people not... Do. Is it just people not being critical of the game at all, and that's what you consider, like, good discourse? It might be. I mean, he said he said it himself that when making him think about the game, that was ruining his enjoyment, so... Yeah, that's what's toxic, is when people point out flaws with these games, it makes me enjoy them less, and that's toxic behavior. So you're literally just saying that if somebody makes a valid and factual statement that goes against what you want to think, that's toxic. Yeah. Apparently. <sighs> uh, we're, we're in the home stretch now. Yeah, yeah. we're almost done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fan base, or a small section of this huge fan base, and it was refreshing to see. It was nice to see the discourse just be like chill and accepting. And that's what I want Fallout fans to be. And that is what I quite frankly demand of my community. Like, I. Oh boy! No wonder <laughs> your community must be fucked then. Jesus. If yeah. the bigger basics like discourse is super toxic to you, your community is fucked. Yeah. Yeah, he literally turned his community into a hug box because if you disagree with them, as he just said, I demand this well, sort of thing. So he probably you... bans them or something. You want to know Jesus. something else? That comment from the guy from um, earlier that he responded to, it didn't yeah. have the little icon next to it saying whether he subscribed or not. Now, no, he's he... not anymore. I well, guess. Hold, hold on, let me explain. That icon right. doesn't show up for everyone because some people do hide who they're subscribed to, which is a, a fair feature, I guess. But he specifically said, this guy's been subscribed to me for a year. So. The way you find that out is by hovering over that little icon, and it'll say, oh yeah, this person's been subscribed to me for three days, seven months, two years, fucking whatever. So for yeah. him to know that that guy was subscribed to him, he would have had to have hovered over the icon that wasn't there when he showed the screenshot. Uh, mm. Yeah, so the guy's not subscribed to him anymore. You know, I, uh... Now, that could be for any number of reasons, but after hearing the, this is what I demand from my community, and after showing that selection of toxic comments, um, I have some assumptions. I won't yeah. say what they are, but when, I'll, I'll when, let people when, draw their own conclusions. When the guy said, uh, when the person we're spying to said, uh, you know, I demand civility... I instantly thought of the uh, Acer Thorn yeah. video. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought of, too. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I'm sure this guy is nowhere near as bad. Uh, I, I hope not. He no. certainly can't be as stupid, but he could <laughs> probably be as bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ, can we talk about the music? Why is it so fucking dramatic? Because, because you, you don't he, understand. He's you, tailoring you his this... video to these people that don't actually think they let the music dictate the emotion they should be feeling yes you need the the sad soft piano music to convince people that the thing you're talking about is really sad isn't it tragic how hateful tragic. these people are yeah. <laughs> so, so sad. This, this poor unfortunate soul <laughs> Nice to see the discourse, just be like chill and accept. And that's what I want Fallout fans to be. And that is what I quite frankly demand of my community. Like, I. I had to go through and like search through old comments to see how many, like, ones I could use to fry in this video as the oh, example of the extreme and toxicity. And I remembered that I probably deleted a fair few of them. Because the absolute worst of the worst, people actually being terrible to one another, I get rid of. Okay, okay, so that's wow. why oh, you have no proof. Wow. Yeah. Okay. See, so the, the reason how convenient. The, <laughs> the reason the comments I showed were terrible is because I deleted all of my proof. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good, like good an excuse, up. but. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah. 
It honestly probably would have been better for his video for him to say that instead of showing the comments he did. Because yeah. showing those comments make him look really bad. Yes. Um, how much you guys want to bet he's going to shoot the mini out of the Super Mutant's hand instead of actually shooting him in the head and getting the... Well, let's find out. It did look like he was trying to aim for the nuke. Yeah, it looks like he's going to shoot the nuke. I'm like, one's to fry in this video as the example of the extreme and toxic that I probably deleted a fair few of them. Because the absolute worst of the worst, people actually being terrible to one another, I get rid of. Because we're all just here to play video games yeah, and enjoy them. That's we don't need all this BS going around. We don't need gatekeeping. We don't need tribalism. We just need to have some fun. Cause it's just have fun. Don't be critical. Oh my god, he's actually saying we don't need gatekeeping. We don't need tribalism. But you have just advocated for gatekeeping. And you have admitted yeah. that you engage in gatekeeping. And you want the entire community to engage in gatekeeping. Hmm. You know, the, the idea generally for fans of a series is that they're entitled and this, that, and the other. But imagine being so entitled that you think this way. You know, yeah. the way of which everything is fine. Everything is supposed to be fine. No one's supposed to have any strong emotion one way or the other. Everyone are supposed to be just a bunch of the neutral or, or at the very least, like, crazy fanatical people who just like love love everything don't look over there don't look up don't look behind the curtain everything's fine everything's great if i die tell my wife hello <laughs> yeah exactly exactly <laughs> <laughs> fucking oh. i fucking love futurama um but yeah this is this is fucking garbage. Yeah. Oh, man. I... Now I'm at 98%, honestly. <laughs> uh... We don't need all BS going around. We don't need gatekeeping. We don't need tribalism. We just need to have some fun. Because that's all I want. And I hope that's what you want, too. No, and we that... want... I want a good, objective games. I want objectively good games. I have standards, unlike you. I okay. See, I'm sort of in the same. I'm half and half. I want fun, but for me to find something fun, I require it to be at least decent. Most times, there's there's the odd time I could enjoy a little trash, but like not Fallout. I want Fallout to be good. It's a series I enjoy very much. I there needs to be quality. Yeah. And if that makes us toxic. You no, know, I guess we're really toxic people. Yeah, if you yeah. think wanting quality is toxicity, then my god. Like, I'm sorry, but people like you are the reason why we get such shit games. Just consume product, don't think about it. Yep. Jeez. Because, as, as, like, literally, you're the perfect fan for these companies. Oh yeah, just make anything, toss it out, they'll enjoy it. They, they... They will advocate for you to not think about it for the company. Just just enjoy. Just consume product and get it... Uh, bleh. Fuck that up. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and get excited for next product. Yep. Jesus. <sighs> Alright. We don't need all BS going around. We don't need gatekeeping. We don't need tribalism. We just need to have some fun. Because that's all I want. And I hope that's what you want too. And I really hope we can all just focus more on catching ourselves when we feel like we might do something a bit toxic, when we get too defensive or aggressive, and just chill out. Cause so, in your eyes, how do we provide criticism against these games, considering what we know you consider to be toxicity to be? How can I say that Fallout 3 and 4 are poorly made games with tons of plot holes and other issues without it being toxic to you. Because even my description just now, you'd probably consider toxic. Yeah. So, so how do I engage in criticism for wanting a better product in a way that is not toxic? Am I even allowed to? Or is, is criticism itself toxic? Am I just supposed to mindlessly praise the game and say, yeah, I have fun with it. It's great. It is fun. I love it. Is is that the only way to not be toxic? 
apparently to this guy it is. I feel if Remember. we ever make like a parody video of this, or not this, but these types of videos, we need to use the fucking Minecraft sad fucking funeral soundtrack in the background. <laughs> just just as a way to mock it. Yeah. Yeah, remember, the next time you think about criticizing something, just chill out. Just don't <laughs> say it. Yeah. yeah. And, like, he's, he's not saying exactly that, but that's the way it comes across considering everything else in the video so far. And I really we can all just focus more on catching ourselves when we feel like we might do something a bit toxic, when we get too defensive or aggressive, and just chill out. Because there are times now where I'll watch videos that have nothing to do with Fallout, and someone will be like, Oh yeah, this, this thing... this thing sucks. Oh, it's a bit like 76, isn't it? And there'll be a joke like that, and I'll instantly get defensive and I'll be like, Oh, I need to dislike this video, and I just want to chill. And Again, that's a you your, problem. That's your you. delusions and your problems. Go back see, to your fucking hug box, you little snowflake. And see, people are perfectly reasonable in saying, hey, yeah, by the way, Fallout 76 is shit, because that's what most... See, let, let's pretend for a moment that Bethesda has fixed a lot of the issues with 76. Most people's memories are still going to be on release. It's the whole first impression yeah. thing. Um, a delayed game can eventually be good. Um, a bad game... What's the exact quote? A bad... A bad... It's not that a bad game will always be bad, but people basically always remember uh, that initial impression. I think I think I remember... I think I remember the, uh, the quote. A delayed game will eventually be good, but a rushed game is always bad. Yeah. Which isn't really, like... Universal, considering, yeah. uh... uh no Man's Sky. Vegas and, Shigeru uh, Miyamoto... Yeah. Shigeru Miyamoto said, a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad. Yeah. That's that's not, it's, that's kind of ironic for Shigeru Miyamoto to say that, because like, Majora's Mask was rushed, but it's a fantastic game, you know? So, I mean, it's not universal, that's basically what I'm saying. Is the quote, you only get one first impression? There's that, too. Um, yeah. That's part of what I'm getting at, is most people who don't, who didn't stick with 76 are going to remember that first impression. Um, no Man's Sky very much had a similar situation where I think people are even still finding out, hey, follow, uh, sorry, No Man's Sky is actually really good now. You know? Right. And it is. It is genuinely really fucking good. I, uh, I still need to play it. But, yeah, there, there will always be that fucking stain in the back of people's minds that will man the original no man's sky was fucking trash yep all right and uh by the way just to plug it again because it's a good fucking video uh internet historians yes woman's land video very good watch yep D highly recommended someone will be like oh yeah at least this thing it sucks. Oh, it's a bit like 76, isn't it? And there'll be a joke like that, and I'll instantly get defensive, and I'll be like, oh, I need to dislike this video, and I just want to chill. And I hope that the people making those jokes will stop as well, and be like, oh, well, why are we talking about that? We don't know that much about the game, we're just jumping onto this toxic culture that started surrounding Fallout and making it- You don't know that they don't know it. isn't toxic, you fucking plank. Jesus Christ. Also, Again, you also don't know if they don't know anything about the game. What if they know more about the game than you fucking do, and they say it's shit? What do you do then? How do you reconcile this delusional fantasy land you live in? Yeah, um, this video kind of reminds me of that video. Of what? One that was like, uh, that video y'all talked about a long time ago that said, uh, disliking Fallout 4 is disrespectful. Uh, oh, yeah, the Oxhorn yeah. one. Uh, yeah, I think that, is, that was the one. Um, five uh, kangaroo bucks from Caleb Robinson. Thank you very Thank much. You. A delayed game is forever good. Laughs in Cyberpunk 2077 and potentially Halo Infinite. Well, no, that's, that's, not, the, that's not the, what the quote, quote is. is. Not, yeah, the, the quote, quote is not is a delayed game a delayed, is forever good. A delayed yeah. game can eventually be good. A rushed game is forever bad. Yeah. 
Basically, take your fucking time with your product. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're almost done. Yep, we're almost done with this one, and then we can move on to the next one. Ugh. Uh, yeah, thankfully the next one should be fairly short. No, Mr. Matty Plays uh, said that back when he was a Bethesda shill. They both said it. Um, yeah. Oxhorn's video was uh, in defense of Fallout 4, in which he was saying that... Um, like, the whole... It's very toxic to be critical of this game and saying bad things about it, basically. Yeah, uh, Mr. Matty Place did say, oh yeah, it's disrespectful to say Fallout 4 is bad. Yes, that's the one, Mr. Matty. $5 uh, from Terror24, thank you. And likely, No Man's Sky wouldn't have been fixed if people didn't critique it. That's possible, too. Yep. Right. Why fix what ain't broken? People aren't complaining, why fix it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really get these redemption stories unless you actually call the shit out. But right. you still don't see redemption stories that often when it comes to bigger companies. Uh, no, you don't. But there's no redemption for Anthem or Fallout seventy six. But no, at least we but did see you it with No Man's Sky. Yeah, and you, but you wouldn't even get that. Like you wouldn't even get the small amount of times it does happen if people just consume product. Don't don't say anything bad about it. Never do that. Yeah. You would never get these redemption stories. Yes, noted, there are few, but they do happen, and you wouldn't get them if you didn't criticize it. Yeah. I very much disagree that you should take your time. If it takes 10 years to make a game, you shouldn't finish it. You most likely have a pile of crap that can't be saved. I disagree. I disagree. I fully there, disagree with that. There are so many contributing factors that, like, that would need to be taken into consideration. Ten years to make a game is a long time, but that's not indicative of whether it'll be good or bad. That's just a very long development cycle. In fact, yeah. I have seen games that have taken longer than ten years to come out and were excellent, so you're just wrong. Yeah. All right. Like, oh, are we talking about that? We don't know that much about this toxic culture that started surrounding Fallout and making it far worse. Hi. Oh, I don't know how well this video is going to go down. Uh, well, it went down like shit, dude, because you don't know what you're talking about. You're completely deluded. You are a hypocrite advocating for the thing that you say that, that shouldn't exist. Your evidence of toxic comments was a literal nothing burger. They were not toxic at all. So you, you've literally just proved that it is entirely in your head. You have the problem and you need to be the one. Not the fandom, not anyone else. It is you with the problem that you need to get your head fixed. Yeah. Yeah, you need to pull your head out of your ass. A fucking curse games could take a long time, but you have had uh, so mismanagement that you haven't done your job. So a 10-year development cycle doesn't necessarily mean... Mismanagement. That doesn't, that doesn't guarantee mismanagement at all. Again, there are so many contributing factors. It could be a really, really, really big fucking game. It could be one person working on a game on their uh, off hours from their day job over the course of a decade. Like, you, you don't know. Like, development time alone is not enough to tell if something's going to be uh, good or bad. Sometimes these developers have to go to court before they can release their game because of certain aspects like, oh, hey, we heard you're releasing this thing with this name or this this aspect, and we we have a copyright on that. Yeah. You can't do that, so we're going to fucking sue you, and it's going to take years. You're making a game called Scrolls? We're going to sue you because we make the Elder Scrolls. <laughs> Here's the sad part about that, though, is that is actually something that they would have to do. As you, if you look into that court case, but the but those does, or sorry, I should say, Zenimax made it as painless as possible because they're like, you need to understand, we have to do this because if we allow this to slide, then somebody can be like, well, they let that slide, so we're gonna call ours the older scrolls or something like that. <laughs> it's like, mm. then they wouldn't have a leg to stand on because well, you didn't defend against that. So it, it's dumb. just with how it's kind of how dumb copyright is in general. Yeah. But um, uh, that, no, it not, takes two. Not you can't went through the whole thing and was like explaining like no Zenimax were actually being very reasonable here. They they specifically told us why they had to do this. Let's make this as painless as possible. Let's just get this over with to show that hey we are on the record as defending this thing. You don't actually have to change the name of it. None of that. You know blah blah blah. blah. And so I actually you know, wasn't aware of all that. 
Yeah. Yeah. So again, they they tried to make it as as harmless as possible with as minimal cost as possible. Well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, and then no, you no, get no. shit like Take Two, though. You can't you, you can't call two. your game. It takes two. Yes. Yeah. Fucking Take Two. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Ancient Books Five Land Edge. <laughs> <laughs> that was for a long time ago for the scrolls game that notch was working on yeah culture but surrounding fallout i'm making it far worse i i don't know how well this video is gonna go down i don't know if any of you were even stick i have to point out he's using 76 footage there and the game glitched the fuck out with that super mutant yeah, the I just torso, left a skeleton there. The torso, the bloody torso was floating in the air, and the head and arms just fell off and fell to the ground. Yep. Uh, Five dollars uh, from Kuna. Thank you. You're confusing trademark with copyright. Trademark needs to be defended. Copyright is granted on creation. The issue is that Elder Scrolls is a trademark. Okay, no, that's fair. Go. Yeah, okay, that's my bad. This genuinely... But I think I'm just going to stop now because, yeah, I've tried recording this a lot and I think this is as good as it's going to get. Me just being <sighs> That's exasperated. pretty bad. Yeah, what a fucking self-condemnation good... of your own quality. Jesus Christ. If this is as good as this video is going to get, then my God, dude, your quality standards are shit. Again, if you're going to make... Generally, I would advise scripting your videos. Um... Especially if you're going to make a video like this, script it, and provide the fucking evidence. If you deleted all your comments of people w being toxic, that's on you. That Like, that's no one's fault but your own for not keeping the evidence. Yeah, why would uh, you not think to say, hey, I should save these and then I will delete them. But no, you're like, I'm just going to delete them. If that's even what happened. Yeah. Yeah, that's assuming yeah. he's being truthful there and... I don't know. He seems disingenuous with a lot of Ew. the other things uh, he said. Yes. So I and don't... he's he's already proven himself a hypocrite. So we can't give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Right. Oh man. Yeah, if the comments he did show is genuinely what he considers toxic, then my fucking god. But I think I'm just gonna stop now because, yeah, I've tried recording this a lot. And I think this is as good as it's going to get. Me just being exasperated and fed up with toxicity within the community. Hold on a second. I need it's to skipping a little something. bit for me, but... I know yeah. it's skipping a little bit for you, but I'm going, I'm going back as well because I need to see something very closely. He's fed eye, up with himself. My eye caught something, and I want uh -oh. to see if, if it caught something or if, if it was just a momentary glitch or what it was. I want to see. For all of Genuinely curious to see. But I think I'm just going to stop now because, yeah, I've tried recording this a lot. And. Okay, no, it was just a glitch. It was just a wonky thing with the video. Okay. Okay. All right. Holy shit. Don't, don't press play. Look at this fucking freeze frame of that head. Yeah. 16 times the detail. I wasn't even saying that. It just looks funny the head chunks being there before they explode apart. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, no, I thought the I thought the shotgun uh, that he wasn't actually pumping and everything like that, and I was like, hold on a second, did I just see that? But no, it was the video being wonky, and then going back through here without any stutters or anything. No, you can see it pumping. Nah. Yeah. Not everything is going to be Bebop flicks. <laughs> yeah, holy shit! <laughs> holy shit! Bebop flicks is a gold mine for like cursed guns. Just shit in general. Prometheus, be glad you didn't watch that garbage. Oh my god. <laughs> watch it, is, the, yeah. it is genuinely the worst show Netflix has ever made. Watch yes, the anime, easily. don't watch the fucking Netflix Bebop. I, I, as I said, I generally, as a rule of thumb, stay away from like live action Netflix adaptations of anime. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an entire, that's a very good rule to stick with. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. I think as good as it's gonna get. Me just being exasperated and fed up with general toxicity within the community. Please, everyone, be better. Please, we all can be better. Let's just focus on it. We don't need to be perfect. We just need to try 
and be nice to each other and be polite and not go for the tribalism. It's not Bethesda versus Obsidian, it's just us chilling out here trying to enjoy the games. Let's focus on just having some fun, being chill, and just be good to one another. We don't need it to get bad. If we keep the toxicity up, it's just going to make everything worse. Okay, no, well then take products. your own advice. Take your own advice then, because as you've shown, this is all on you. You're the one who's injecting this like toxic ideology into everything and assuming toxic intent on everyone else when they're not being toxic. Yeah. You're the one who needs to chill out. You're the one who needs to stop doing this shit. Not everyone else. Take your own advice. Stop being a hypocrite. Oh, no. Uh, Congo Red Jr. says it's nowhere near as bad as the CP cuties. Okay. <sighs> we need to emphasize it is the worst thing Netflix has ever put out that shouldn't be illegal. Okay? Yes. <laughs> that is the caveat we get because there's some content, cuties, that should be fucking illegal. Yes. Yes. But yeah. Um,. They have, Holy shit. they have forever fucking ruined that word too. Jesus Christ. No. Yep. Um, for me to like acknowledge that film, that would be an insult to all other films on Netflix saying something. Yeah. So, but yeah, here's the problem. His whole thing is like it's the community doing this. No, it is Bethesda absolutely doing this. Yes, it is Bethesda. So, yeah. So this is the other thing too. Most of us complaining about Bethesda's fallout games not being good wouldn't be complaining about bethesda's fallout games if they were if actually they were good. good right like it's a very simple fucking equation make bad games people are going to complain make good games people will fucking love you for it well people will still complain because you still have the weirdos but guess what then the fringe weirdos are the ones that stand out more and more and you know who they are and you don't have to fucking listen to them yeah yes And as Mihawk in chat just said, most of us just want a good fucking game. Not even an 8 out of 10, just a 6 or a 7, holy fuck. I've said the same thing before. If you give me a 6 out of 10 Fallout game, I'll be happy, because that is still leagues better than Fallout 3 or 4. No. And especially um, fucking 76, Jesus Christ. I don't really consider 76 to be... I think it's it's just a product. It's just there. Yeah. yeah. Nope. All right. Let's focus on having some fun, being chill, and just be good to one another. We don't need it to get bad. If we keep the toxicity up, it's just going to make everything worse. Well, that's a bit of a depressing end to the video. Hey! <laughs> um, I'm considering live streaming tomorrow and letting like there be a live dis a discussion. Over? Probably be at six o'clock tomorrow. Be over. If you well, do we want that, let me know in the comments. Going, so I'm 100 percent down to yeah, say yes, like I'll do that. Left. But 6 p.m. Yeah. UK time tomorrow, there may well be a Fallout stream. He also, talks don't about know which game I should. Endings while playing this music. Yeah. yeah. And using well, this footage, thing. even yeah. if he's not using a filter, which it almost kind of looks like he is. It just might be the game, though. You're using this footage, just washed out, like gray, rainy, depressing footage. You know, and I don't well, want to say uh, that wasn't intentional, but he did the music thing. Something well, it, you know, the music thing is intentional, and I yeah. highly suspect that this. Well, you you make up a bunch of bullshit and nonsense, but as long as you end strong on a like a just we're all human beings, we should get along. Then you'll have the idiots that'll be like, oh yeah, yay! <laughs> Something a bit less related to the overall contents of the video and just what's happening now. It's something I find really really fucking weird why are you putting in your schedule for like streaming and stuff at the end of the video like yeah i'm gonna to stream tomorrow um that comment is going to only be relevant for one day and then yeah. it's just there in this video fucking forever that that oh he streamed tomorrow which was seven months ago now or however long it's been uh, it just seems weird to me to... <laughs> He's going to stream tomorrow. That was two days ago. I missed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah. Let's see if we finally finish it. Like, that would be all if he picks Fallout 70. Vegas is going that way. Ah, oh, bleh. So yeah, there might be a stream tomorrow where I can discuss this because I do want to hear people's opinions on it and I want to actually chat with you guys rather than... It seems like no. Based off the comments you showed, you don't want to hear people's opinions on it. No, clearly. If they disagree with yours, this course is toxic to you. Yeah. So yeah, dude, fucking hell. Because I do want to hear people's opinions I actually chat with you guys rather than just rant. So I'll probably be streaming tomorrow, 6 p.m. UK time. Although I think it might also be a clock change, so that that could be a problem. But anyway, thanks all for tuning in. I make videos like this sometimes, but very rarely. Normally it's much better stuff. Okay, Character so builds, big old discussion pieces that are scripted and now. fancy and well put together. Yeah, Good yeah. content, you know, rather than this, which is just me getting stuff off Let's my chest. See. Anyway, getting stuff off your chest that you get wrong and also prove you're hypocritical and everything. So yeah, I, I would hope that this isn't a usual for you. Well, uh, he admits that this video isn't good. So yeah, he said that there so, that all of his other stuff is better. Why did yeah. you upload it then? Is it not good because they're talking about a negative subject and everything negative is bad? Is that yeah. why the video? Because if you're critical of something legitimately and you're negative in that criticism, it doesn't mean that video is bad. This one is, but it doesn't mean all negative criticism about something is going to be bad. No. Yeah. It does really come across yeah. as if negativity just equals evil. Yeah. yeah. Seems a little uh, entitled, too. Like spoiled. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see if there's literally anything. It, it sounds like it's purely wrapping up. But you never know if we're gonna get that fucking bombshell shit take. Yeah, the stinger like at the end. Of them. Yeah. There's only yeah, 40 seconds. Anyway, thanks to those of you who decided to listen to this all the way through. I hope this video has even a small positive effect. <laughs> I'm what? <laughs> even a what? I didn't even hear what that was. A small just... positive effect. Oh, wow. I hope this video has yeah. even a small positive effect. You were fucking... Mm. You were whinging and being a hypocrite throughout the whole thing. No! Yeah. It's Who are you going to convince to not... Like... Okay, so if you're talking to the genuinely toxic people, not your definition of toxic, but genuinely toxic people, who out of them are you going to convince with this video? Yeah, let's right. just be happy. Let's just not be toxic. Blah, 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 blah. Like, don't think, just consume. Yeah. Yeah, but those crazy people aren't gonna listen to you. Uh, you know, you know, uh, this situation actually reminds me. We asked. I hope this did something really good and all that. Like, it made me think of that. Uh, that uh, the Simpsons meme with like Bart bringing in the cake saying, "At least you tried." <laughs> that's, that's what it me. But yeah, nothing good is going to oh, come shit. out of this because he has advocated for, uh, you know, uh, fuck, what is it? Ah, uh, why, why am I having? He advocated yeah, gatekeeping. For gatekeeping. Even though he tried to distance himself from it, like I'm not actually advocating for gatekeeping, but uh. Uh, guys, actually, gay, gay key people, don't don't let them disagree with me. Kick those people out. Harass yeah, them. I demand this of my community. It's like, well, so you're gatekeeping. Congrats. Yeah. yeah. The whole, the whole, I don't uh, I don't believe in gatekeeping. You shouldn't gatekeep, but uh, guys, actually, gay, gatekeep. And again, that isn't, really good thing. that isn't that isn't my position. I will always say gatekeeping is not inherently a bad thing. It's how yeah. far you go with it. And yeah. Yeah. To, I think you need to, to a degree. Allow, you need to allow discourse and stuff, but if somebody comes in and they literally say, hey, that person said that they liked Fallout 3, so I'm going to remove them from my life and mute them and call them bad names and shit like that. It's like, yeah, that person, I get rid of that person. Yeah, that's a crazy person. Yeah, yeah that's a, yeah, that, get rid of him. This guy is literally like, tribalism is bad. All tribes should join my tribe. Yeah. That's really what it is. Also, since we're at the end of the video, we can say that yeah, pretty much all of this was in one direction. It's the New Vegas fans are the bad ones. Yep. He showed Every one time single comment say... that went in the other direction, but most of the discussion was, oh yeah, here's why New Vegas fans are bad. It's not it's not that the yeah. Bethesda fans are doing anything. It's all New Vegas fans. It, For a video 
Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I, which, for a video about both sides being bad, my dude, would, uh, you didn't be... even fucking touch upon the other side. Yeah. It'd be, it'd yeah. Be pretty, it'd be pretty funny if he, at the last 20 seconds, he's like, oh, by the way, that's nonsense that I've gotten. And this puts a bunch of screenshots on. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, well, like I said, there could be a fucking, we've had a couple of videos where there is a, like, last second stinger of bullshit. So we'll yeah. see. Right, so that's why we're going all the way through. It. Go ahead. Yep well put together good content you know rather than this which is just me getting stuff off my chest anyway thanks to those of you who decided to listen to this all the way through i hope this video has even a small positive effect i'm <laughs> i'm constantly going between hopeful and nah this is gonna do nothing so who knows but please everyone be good to each other just don't worry so much about getting defensive and aggressive just all chill out, get rid of the toxicity, and be good to one another. Because we don't need to fight over these games, we just need to play them. As always, thanks for- Yeah, okay, so you did have a shit take at the very end. Nice! Just consume. Just get rid of the toxicity. Just gatekeep. Just consume. <sighs> Alright. See, when we that criticize these games, we're not trying to pick a fight with Bethesda fans. We're- Literally, if I say- If I make- a video saying Fallout 4 is bad, that is not me saying, hey, fans of Fallout 4, you suck, you can't like this game, you're idiots. That's yeah. not what it is. That's not me picking a fight with fans of Fallout 4. It's me saying, hey, this game, not that good. So, I guess that's yeah, toxicity. It's being like, hey, Bethesda, please do better in the future. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the next video queued up, and I will be right back a second because I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let me do that. We'll start. Oh, I'm being banded by both my co-hosts. <laughs> yeah, it's just a guest here. What you know? Uh, um, honestly, like at this point, I would. Okay, honestly, I'm like I'm not guaranteed, but most likely, I'm gonna respond to this video because it's so bad, it's so disingenuous, as you put it, and. It kind of paints everyone in this broad brush. This terrible, everyone's these terrible, toxic individuals. Even though, like the screenshots he shows, to, like showcase any of his points. Like he's, you know, and, and he admits that the video isn't good because it's not. But that doesn't really save him, you know. Yeah, exactly. Mm, I don't know. It's like, you, you see that, like, if I were to make something like this, I would probably delete it right away before I even, like, upload it. I'm not going to lie. Because this is, this is horrible. Yeah, but uh, you, you have the fucking self-awareness to know that, oh, hey, this thing isn't that good. Maybe I should do it differently. Yeah, well, you know. It's this idea that, like, you know, these fans are inherently toxic. Like I said, toxic is one of the most overused, uh, you know, words ever made. But like, you know, yeah, it just goes. It just it just goes to show. Like, you got to ask the question. You got to ask the question. You know, how do you define your terms here? How do you define what is toxic? You know, if we can't define our terms, then what we say from here on out will be meaningless. You know. Yeah. Um, and it's not just toxic. Again, it's the fanboy and entitled comments, too. These words are so absurdly fucking overused that they're basically losing all meaning. Especially when we have clowns like the guy we just covered saying, oh yeah, this very mild criticism, that's toxicity. You know? Yes. Anybody who says anything about the thing I like, Fault 76 is bad, you no, know. I'm back. I, I feel yeah, I'm back, too. All right, great. Yeah, you know, I'm finished. Okay, you know, you know, anyone who says anything about that is mean, and I'm gonna like get them. I'm gonna dislike their videos because they said Fallout 76 is bad. It's like, well, you are engaging in the toxicity that you say is a bad, thing, man. So like, yeah, I don't know, man. Jesus. All right. Um, All right, can, I'm trying to get the it. video up, but um. My internet is being slow right now for no particular reason. Uh, that would explain 
the uh, the weird sound effects I was hearing whenever you would talk. Sound effects? Yeah, you would like get really staticky and kind of warp out for a couple of seconds. Oh. Yeah. It, it didn't happen that much though. Hmm. So yeah, that video is pretty fucking garbage. We've been going for nearly four hours just on that one video. Yeah, I didn't expect it to take that long. Yeah, uh, but I'm not... uh, I think this uh, other video is going to be much shorter of a time for us, though. I'm it not... should be. I'm not surprised that it uh, that it took that long, but mm. all right. I was just expecting it to be bad ever since I saw the fucking thumbnail, and then after I saw the preview. Well, the thing is, well, the issue is also every sentence that he said, everything that came out of his that went into his microphone was was not true, and, and everything else was just like the misrepresentation of like what's actually like he couldn't even show what he was talking about. So, yeah, this took a very long time to just cover, but holy shit, man! All right, here we go. All right. I hate Jacob's Town. Oh, new... oh right. boy. So hate in all caps too. Uh, so Pagan, you said you've seen this oh, already, was... right? Yes, I have seen the whole thing. Uh, how bad is it? Really bad. A uh, a buddy of mine named Versus Twenty Two actually full response to this video. Good. So you know, shout out to him. Uh, you cut out a bit there, so I'll just kind of repeat what you said quickly. Uh, Prometheus's buddy, Versus22, who's actually in chat right now. Hello there. Um, Versus22 made a, uh, a response to this video already that you can check out on YouTube. Yeah, it's a very fantastic video. Very well made. Very hilarious. All right. So, you know, it's a good fan of mine. Made my character and everything. So check him out. All right. Anyway, let's do this thing. We have you surrounded. Come to Jacob's Town. I hate Jacob's Town. I hate Jacob's Hi. How's it going? Wow. Well, well, <laughs> pause it and go back because I only just got back. All right. Oh, you, you said you were back Wait, already. I, yes. were back. I said, hold on a second. Oh. Oh, God damn it. I missed yeah, that. Yeah, we, we did not hear that. Yeah. Uh, All we right. Didn't know that. All right. So. I already have mixed feelings because cringe, but also, hey, an owl. All right. Yeah. So, he's your oh, nemesis. We'll get to that point and I'll pause it again. Here we go. He's your, you know what? He's your uh, evil. He's my... Vegas is terrible. He's my Pokemon <laughs> rival. <laughs> we have you surrounded. Come to Jacob's Town. I hate Jacob's Town. I hate Jacob's Town. Hi. Okay. Hello there. That was a weird start. Everybody, all right. So we'll back up a bit, just because we have to, you know, work about uh, freezes and pauses. Here we go. Yeah. Jacob Stell. I hate Jacob Stell. I hate Jacob Stell. Hi. How's it going? So, I love Fallout New Vegas. This game okay. is probably my favorite RPG of all time. And I'm not exaggerating. I like it a lot. But, unfortunately, it was put through a very rushed production, and a large part of it was left unfinished. And that means that some parts of the game ended up aging like milk in the fridge. One such example in the game is a little place in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, all the way to the northwest side of the map, called Jacobstown. I really do not like Jacobstown. You see, other areas in the game don't take a lot of effort to get to, and you can approach them from very different angles. But not Jacobstown. Jacobstown has to be different. You can only approach this lame-ass skill lodge by going up this long-ass fucking road that's not fun to walk on as being stuck behind an old lady going downstairs and you need to go to the bathroom. Uh, what the fuck? What? Oh, oh, we're fighting over the pause button. So he's already um, wrong. Well, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll say, I'll say even if that, oh, uh, you saying he's wrong about, uh, there's nothing being on the roads and stuff like that. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying there's another way to get to Jacobstown. In fact, you can get to Jacobstown from the start of the game. You don't have to walk all the way across the Mojave to get to that road to get to Jacobstown, there is a path that if you go, so you know the area that with the Casadors near Good Springs. Yep. Yeah. If you get past them, there is a little like 
path in the side of the mountains right down the road. If you walk through that path, it will circle around and open up into Mount Charleston right next to Jacobstown. You can get there from the start of the game. Huh. So he's I just wrong. That. Oh, yes. No. All right. Well, also, well, I was gonna... also, but... Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, here's the other thing is you have to go up a road to get to the ski lodge. Like, did you not expect the ski lodge to be up in the mountains? Like, Tip yeah. Typically, I expect ski lodges to be in valleys away from any high places. Yeah, so that's that's a bit fucking weird. Um, it's also, also a good... Go ahead. It just seems weird to me to be all, oh yeah, it's over in the corner of the map. Um, so first of all, so, this is based on so a real world be location. The the this is based but, on a real world location, and I mean, it's in the mountains. Of course it's going to be far away from fucking civilization. Yeah, it's a ski yeah. lodge. I was going to I was gonna it say... It also that... makes... Go ahead. Oh, yeah, go, go ahead, dude. Okay, well, it makes for a good... Uh, strategic location because that is the main entrance. There is another way, but it is hard to get through because there are Cazadors along that path. But if you're going to make it so that, you know, the only other safe way to go is this one, you know, narrow path, this road, that makes the area a lot easier to defend. Yeah, absolutely. It, Having... makes, it makes sense why they would choose this area to live in it's safe it's protected it's easy to defend yep. yeah yeah it's so having and it's far away so, so i was gonna say and it's far away from what uh discriminate against them for being nightkin and super mutants you know which is you know yeah. a very big deal yeah yeah just in general having the high ground and having one road in that does make it easy to defend um also um you no know, like I, the other thing I was gonna say was argue, kind of. I mean, if if the whole you can only go to Jacob's Town way thing was true, like I was gonna argue, like kind of, I guess that. Well, then you know it's it's like this, right? Like Huber Dam kind of does the same thing in in a way. You know what I mean? So like you're not know, talking about Jacob's Town, but Huber Dam, Huber Dam does the same thing. Uh, uh, Red Mountain, I think, does the same thing. So. Um, there's actually two ways to get into Red Mountain as well. There's uh, Ghost Gate, which I just gotta say because I mentioned it. Holy fucking shit, that is an awesome name. Ghost Gate. Oh my god. <laughs> but there's also uh, at least two different caves that I'm aware of that have outside entrances that go under the ghost fence into the Red Mountain area. Um, oh, okay. One is just a cave. And one is from the uh, Dunmer Stronghold that doesn't have the index chamber that, uh, again, goes under uh, ground into Red Mountain. Huh. Oh, well. Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, either way, he's, you know, like uh, Hagen said, he's wrong about Jacob's Town. So. Yeah, and the thing I would point out, too, is even if there was only one road, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. But he's yeah. also just incorrect that there is, it's not just one road. There is a way to get there without having to walk all the way across the Mojave. Sometimes it's literally just, right next to Good Springs. Sometimes yeah, it just makes sense that a location might only be accessed by one way. That That's not a, an inherent bad. Yeah, he also said it's boring, which, I mean, you know. Yeah, we're getting to that. Yeah. Uh, we'll have oh, to boy. see. We'll continue. Have you rolled it back you already? Yes, I did. Okay. This lame ass skill lodge by going up this long ass fucking road that's less fun to walk on as being stuck behind an old lady going downstairs and need to go to the bathroom, which is at the bottom of the stairs. Every single playthrough, whenever I have to go to this dreaded place, I just roll my. Did you notice what he just did there? What? He's using someone what? else's footage. This guy is not Germa. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, I noticed that too. Yeah, he named the the footage was Germa making his character and naming it Germa whatever. Well, it uh, it could be a joke though. That's the thing cuz this guy is hamming it up a lot and making a lot of like references and jokes. He could just be making a joke, oh, but that wouldn't really make sense. Why would you What yeah, why would you randomly Germa Germa uh, naming his character? Yeah, that's so weird. I don't know. 
Uh, so there is a Germa 985. Is that was it 985 or was it 895? That was on the thing. Uh, it doesn't matter. I know Germa is a streamer who exists. Yeah, so that's why I was trying to figure to go out to the bathroom, which is at the bottom of the stairs. Every single playthrough. Yeah, so, okay. So he's either making a reference or he's using Germa's footage? Maybe. But even if he's making a reference, it's just, it just seems really random. Yeah, it's very um, strange. Germa, yeah, Germa doesn't have any New Vegas footage that I see on, no? his, on his channel. Okay, so he's making a reference, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You must you must be a fan, I guess. Okay, but that still seems weird to randomly inc uh, include in the video. True, true. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. It isn't, and then it turns out it will be or some shit. Like, well, who knows? Maybe, maybe you'll get Galaxy Brain this time, like I did with the other one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bottom of the stairs. Every single playthrough, whenever I have to go to this dreaded place, I just roll my eyes and I have to control myself from not toggling no clip. Okay, you don't have you to don't go have to, to go this there. place. The fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it is. It's not really a story area. Like, you don't need well, complete New Vegas in order to. to... Well, I mean, you don't need to go here to complete New Vegas. You know? We've already I mean, learned. From the masterful, legendary gamer that is Acer Thorn, that you can complete the game without visiting this location. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. He never came here. <laughs> he never met any super mutant. Yeah, he never met any super mutants. That God, I man. still find that fucking amazing. He managed to dodge every single example of them. Yeah. There isn't even anything interesting to look at in this world. Oh, look at those trees, right? And all that snow. My God, it's the worst. My God, it's a different biome. Well, that's interesting. You know, most people who complain about New Vegas say, oh yeah, it's just desert. The game is nothing but desert. Which, the natural response is, yeah, it takes place in a real world fucking location. It's a desert. But yeah. they usually ignore this location because, hey, it's actually a different biome. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, but here, this guy's like, no, it's not interesting. It's not different, dude. It's got green trees. It's got fucking water. What do you mean? It's basically, it would be paradise in this hellhole if it wasn't for all the Cazadors that live in it. Yeah. It also, uh, I, I want to point out two things. Um, he also said there's nothing interesting. Uh, that's subjective, my dude. The other yeah. thing is, um, I've never played New Vegas on survival mode, but... His nut level is at four. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's nutrition. It stands for food, but yeah. I know what it means of making a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nut level is at four. All right, gotta move. Gotta, let's move forward. It, it goes from three to four, so... There isn't anything interesting to look at while you're going up the stupid ass road. Oh, look at those trees, right? And all that snow. My God, it's the worst Christmas ever. There is no danger besides some big horns that just work XD at you if you get too close. And maybe a Yawgwai or two if you're using the living desert mod. But by this point in the game, you're more than well equipped to take it down without trouble. But apart from that, you're just holding down W, hoping for this walk to end. Wanna... And then you finally get to Jacob's town. And look, it's Marcus. You might recognize them if you play the earlier fall games. I have not done that yet, but I will someday, I promise. Uh, he says some shit, I don't remember. Then you walk around and see that this place is empty as fuck. Everyone's a mutant and they don't want to talk to you. You're not part of the Cube Mutant Boy Club. So you head inside. Because uh, most people attack are, mutants on site? Are you also, missing? Also, he says it's empty while a bunch of, like, uh, Well, cabins. showing that there's a bunch of mutants walking in the distance, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In that same photo. Oh, also, there aren't, there aren't just like Yaogwai and, uh, you know, and big horners. I think there are some some of those, uh, those coyotes, dark, uh, night something. I night there's stalkers. night stalkers. Night there's stalkers, giant. Yeah. There's giant mantises. Yeah. Yep. 
lot, this is a lot of different. Like he didn't even mention those uh, those enemies that you fight. Well, and then he started <laughs> talking about mods. So again, oh. mods mods don't have anything to do with Jacobstown itself. Yeah, there is one thing he will mention that I will kind of agree with later, but you'll see what I mean when well, I we'll, get to we'll it. We'll get there. Right. I also want to point out, he said, oh, I hate how you have to play this part every time. Um, it seems like he's missing a lot of the point of Jacobstown with some of these complaints yeah. he's making. I also want to read a comment. Crete, please have mercy on us. Most of us just unloaded our nuts after November. Don't make us do it again. <laughs> do it anyways uh let's continue uh he says something i don't remember then you walk around and see that this place is empty oh. as fuck everyone's a mutant and they again don't want to talk what to he you. says is important to mutant boy. so he says shit i don't remember he specifically says if you're part of the ncr keep it to yourself they're not popular around here there's a good fucking reason for that the ncr kills super mutants and in fact you know early on they send up um a group of mercenaries because the NCR wants you to wipe the met. Well, not you personally, but um, they want the mutants to wipe out these mercenaries as an excuse to attack the town. Yeah. yeah. And again, so it, not only is it not empty, but what Marcus says is very important. And you should pay attention to what he said. Yeah. I see that this place is empty as fuck. Everyone's a mutant, and they don't want to talk to you. You're not part of the Cube Mutant Boy Club. So you head inside, and my god, it's still empty as shit. You look to the right, and you see an old man. There's stuff everywhere. Yeah. This is Dr. Henry. He's as interesting to talk to as watching paint dry. You can do the same to his assistant, god, and like, it's the same this... thing. That's just... Is this gonna... Is this oh just my gonna god. be him just saying everything and, like, empty and... Like, the thing is, it's not empty in this cabin. Like, there's, there's stuff everywhere. Like, what are you talking and about? And there are people walking around. Yeah, yes. and he's completely overlooking the fact that Dr. Henry is former Enclave. He is trying yep. to make up for the things he did in, in, in the Enclave to try and do something good before he dies. He is an interesting character. He's also a part of a quest. Not just a yep. quest, a few. Yeah, yes. he's part of uh, giving Rex a better, br well, a new brain. He's part of yes. um, the quest for the Nightkin to try and figure out their uh, addiction or uh, psychosis, and obviously he's a part of the fucking um, Enclave, Enclave quest. Yes. So this guy is important. Also, the assistant Calamity is kind of interesting. Because she has chosen that because she lives so long, she changes identities regularly to try new things. And if she doesn't like it or if she gets bored, she just changes. She changes her name. She changes what she does. She changes her profession. She just moves through life as comp as basically different people. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, you know, Doc Henry actually uh, helps Eddie uncover some of his... Uh, Life tapes from back in the day if you just kind of talk to him while he's around and he also yeah. helps raul realize that he's not a useless old man by seeing an other elderly person who is actually useful and capable so yeah. he's yeah. he's a very important character and helps flesh out other characters that you allow to travel with you, you also know? we haven't made the most obvious argument yet but it's worth saying if you find a boring Man, that is entirely fucking subjective. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess sure you can hate Jacobstown because you find it boring, but it seems like you're missing a lot here. Yeah. Yeah, just wait. It gets it gets pretty dumb. Oh, Even boy. Flash is the fucking like, oh yeah, the it's part of like Jacobstown is also somewhat part of the Remnants quest as like a, just a quick little flash thing on screen so he could get around not having to talk about it. So right, he's still well, missing stuff. Well, we'll have to see it. But Yeah, we gotta see where this guy Dr. Heron is interesting to talk to as watching Oh, so he fucked up the name. Hang on, because this is Dr. Heron is interesting to talk to as watching paint dry. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Give me, give me. And... 
gonna make the fucking button. It's not right that important. Right. Who cares if he Three. fucked up the name? I said his name wrong because I'm stupid. I want to see what he wrote there above it. Ah, oh. uh, okay. Yeah, I wanted to see what he wrote, damn it. Okay, I didn't know there was writing there. Yeah, I didn't see it either. <laughs> because again, he yeah, flashed it by so fast, that's why I wanted to see This is Dr. Henry. He's as interesting to talk to as watching paint dry. You can do the same to his assistant, and it's the same thing, just that this time, the drywall's falling off. Nice to meet you. But if you don't look to the right, instead you look to the left when you come in, you will see Thanos himself. You can talk to him, Thanos. he doesn't like you very much, and say some mean words, and then after that you can do that thing that the guy from Omega does, it's actually kind of funny, hmm. and then he stops talking to you. Ah, humans. Anyway, what content is there in bumfuck nowhere? Well, for your long walk here, you shall be rewarded with three quests. The first quest is finding out why the hell the local Night Stalker population is becoming visible at will. Sounds horrifying. So Just we recruit Lily, an old lady who got Thanos fied, and we walk into the Night Stalker cave. We purge some dark snakes from existence, and we find their chew toy. A chewed stealth boy prototype. <sighs> that sucked. Why? Yeah, that yeah, that was the video, why? that wasn't you guys, right? Yes, that, that was, was him. It was him. Why? It's it's a I don't know. It's a really dumb like transition thing. It I don't know. He's just weird. Yep. But yeah, I, oh, that I was am, so I, dumb. I had to go find. I had to go find a bunch of night stalkers to find a, a prototype stealth boy that's been chewed. Uh, that's so stupid. Like, bruh, why are you fucking? Um, what is so bad about this? I don't get it. I want to say, well, I am extremely disappointed that someone else using an owl icon made such a bad video. Oh, these blue guys are Thanos, so oh, I'm going to keep a sneeze in. Oh, I'm going to fucking lampshade the fact I got this guy's name wrong instead of re-recording the line. Yeah. You know, I, I think he's trying to go for this, um, you know, that self-referential uh, Deadpool-esque humor. It's like, I mean, <laughs> guys, like, look how terrible my video is. And, and all I'm saying is, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, you're fucking shit Intentionally is bad is still bad. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. The thing is, the sneeze thing, it's like, okay, obviously you did that as like a transition to be like, and we're back. You know, like, he's trying to imply that like, oh, it's just like a sneeze away. It's It's nothing. It's. You could get there so quickly. It's it, it's basically just nothing, and uh, it's so dumb. It's fucking stupid. I mean, it's a pretty standard quest, I think. You know, with, with yes. uh, New Vegas anyway. So, you know, hey, I've heard about something that can help these people. Go here, grab it, and bring it back. You know? It's also not the focus of the mission. It's it's to confirm a theory yeah. he had, and it ends up actually being a dead end for yeah. him. Okay, uh, backtrack first. Okay, now we're... We got oh, we're actually pretty far. We walked into the Night Stalker cave. We burst some dark snakes from existence, and we find their chew toy. A chewed stealth boy prototype. <sighs> that sucked. So we go back to Dr. Boar, and now he has to perform a life cystoscopy on my grandmother. Strange, but good. After being mentally scarred from that experience, Thanos breaks into the room and demands to have the chewed stealth boy prototype all for himself. We tell him that he's a big dumb dumb poo poo head and he goes away. And very reductive. Extremely. That's that's the quest. That's Lily's personal quest done. Just like that. You, you cut oh, out no. the entire substance of the quest. Why Okay, why you're so running? one, it's supposed to be really difficult to talk him down. You have to have a very high speech because he doesn't trust people. And you actually make him see that, hey, what you do in the outside world affects what happens here in Jacobstown as well. You're not just fucking over yourself when you leave. You're fucking over everyone here as well. And it isn't until you break that to him that he realizes, oh, maybe I shouldn't fucking do that yet. <laughs> Secondly... It doesn't have to end there. There are speech checks for Dr. Henry. It doesn't just end. You can give him advice on how to improve his tests by using the Night Stalker brains, uh, like the Knights, the, uh, fuck, the Invisible Night Stalkers. Yeah. 
Yeah. You can he could put like uh, I don't know what they're called. You you could if you have a high enough science skill, you can just basically tell him like, hey, if you do this thing, it will help you with your research and make it faster, and you won't have to test on like the the Nike in themselves. Um, you know, just to kind of like uh, uh, go a little bit off topic for a second, there is one uh, criticism I have towards uh, the New Vegas. Um, when you have a high enough speech, you know, that kind of makes you overpowered in New Vegas, you know? Like most issues can be solved with the high speech, uh, you know, uh, level. That's not a bad thing. It's just like it's a thing I've noted. You can get well, out it's most, most it's one option. There's speech. many. There's usually several options yes, to yes, yes, complete yes, a quest. Yes. Speech is just one of them. It's well, yeah, it's so is... that your character isn't completely useless. Well, yes, not just yes, that. Yes. It seems to me that speech would be somewhat naturally overpowered because you like if you're a smooth talker, you could convince a lot of people of a lot of things. Um, yes, true. being pers. Being persuasive is usually one of the most overpowered things in real life. True, true. No, it's just one of the things that uh, some I've kind of observed. But yeah, you guys make a lot of sense, though. Um, but as as for this video, though, uh, his idea of like, ooh, just tell just tell Keen he's a big stupid when he walks away. It's just like, uh, I mean, I, incredibly maybe, reductive. Maybe, okay, maybe this is a troll. I don't know. Like, this seems so bad that it's a troll. Like, are we, I don't are think we, it is. I think he legitimately. To, are we allowing ourselves to be subject to his bait? I don't know. Well, I mean, we're eventually probably going to cover a troll video at some point, anyways, because Maybe. sometimes my ultimate example is Acer wasn't trolling, and that was probably one of the trolliest things we'll ever cover. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing is the reason trolls are so effective at playing stupid is because people that stupid actually exist yeah all right we good to continue yes i already rolled it back and there we go that's that's the quest that's lily's personal quest done just like that also but, no acer oh, no. is not a troll hold on i just remembered that's that's not the end of lily's personal quest there's that's the quest to that's that's not even part of her personal quest that's help the town get rid of some night stalkers and help henry with his research her quest is taking her around the wasteland and she slowly starts to remember things and then you you can inform her as to whether she should keep taking her medicine or not so he's again. He's just wrong. That is not the end of Lily's personal quest. He's just being insanely reductive and getting shit wrong. Yeah. Going off topic one more time. Uh, Lily is a really great uh, companion. She can carry a lot. She gives a lot of help. And she does a lot of damage. Appreciate yeah. her. Yeah, Lily yeah. is great. Yeah, she is good. Best grandma. All right, are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. But, oh no, we go outside, and it turns out there's mean people shooting up the ski lodge. I like how it's called a ski no, lodge, but there's literally nowhere to ski. They're, they're specifically uh, anyway, making sure they Marcus don't needs our the help. We have to stop the big bullies with guns. We walk over to them, tell them to go lick a fat one, go back to Marcus. Quest done. So there's two quests, so, and none of them... Again, you're missing the entire substance of that quest. It's not just telling some guys to go away. It, again, yeah. I've already mentioned it. They're trying to provoke an attack, and the NCR plans to use us as an excuse to attack the lodge. Yes. This, this guy is so reductive. And it's why it's important that you don't just walk over and fucking kill them. Yeah. Because yeah. that yeah. will fuck over the town. It's, uh, he's very, very reductive. He just won't, like... I don't know. He has to be like trying best to like, you know, break this stuff down in the, uh, uh, like to its base elements. You know. Yeah. Yeah. There's something I don't know what it is that he 
he just really does not like this area and he has to really go out of his way to try and make it look bad by simply just not talking about it. Yeah. Uh, using words like empty and boring and long and this, that, you know. And getting they, shit wrong, like, well, that's the end of this quest. That's the end of that quest. This is the only way to get here. That Those are all wrong statements. Those aren't true. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go ahead. So, what's the third quest? Why, it doesn't even start in Jacob's Town. Rex is a robo dog and needs a new brain because brain tumors or something. And this quest is real... Did you not even pay attention? Brain tumors or something? What the it's fuck, a fucking dude? Two hundred year old dog, older than that. Uh, yes, the brain is his, getting old. His biomed gel is breaking down, and it's causing his actual brain to rot. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, brain tumors or something. You know, flash a, a picture uh, of uh, Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> funny, funny. It's the life right now. So, what's the third quest? Why, it doesn't even start in Jacob's Town. Rex is a robo dog and needs a new brain because brain tumors or something. And this quest is real fun. That was sarcasm, by the way. Talk to the king, talk to the spiky haired lady in Freeside, talk to the king, and now go to Jacob's Town. Oh boy, good thing I can just fast travel there. Talk to the old guy, and now I get to pick from three different brains to give to Rex. The options are. Crackhead dog, not happening anytime soon, and normal dog. Seriously, I don't see any point in not just picking old lady Gibson's dog every time. It's less troublesome, gives Rex a buff from damage, and it's just faster. Because yeah. there's other options, you can give him different stats depending on your play style. Maybe yeah. you don't want him to do more damage. Maybe you want him to do something else. And being like, oh, it's too out of the way to go to Caesar's Fort. You literally have to go there for the main story. Yeah. The okay. fuck are you bitching about? And also, you, um, you're also determining Rex's future, whether he's going to be uh, like a normal dog or, again, a raider dog that's been um, fucked up by drugs or a legion. Like, each of those will affect his personality as far as the story is concerned, which is part of the ending. Yeah, and keep in mind, if you're playing a legion character... There's no reason why you would have an issue with him being still being part of the Legion. Like, you wouldn't care. You would not care that, oh, if, you know, like, after the game is done and, you know, his memory set back in, he doesn't go to Old Lady Gibson. He goes to the Legion and he's taken care of, like, the other dogs. Okay? You're not going to care about that if you're a fucking Legion character. Hmm. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> uh, you know, he has to walk places and fast travel and actually physically go places to do these quests. And you can't have that in your Fallout games, guys. Yeah. Everything's supposed have... to just. Everything's supposed to be as close as it possibly can. And you need a free suit of power armor. First area you should go to. But keep know. in mind, he fucking bitched about that before because he was like. You know, like making fun of the fact that the uh, the Night Stalker quest is stupid because it's so close. You could, It's just yeah. a short walk there and back. And it's like he had an issue with that. But now he's like, oh, but if you have to go far, that's also a, a problem. Make up your mind, dude. Which is it? Can you, are, Do you want to go far to, to, to go to places or do you want it to be super close? Because well, you've bitched about both. I feel like that's kind of an issue across the board here, though, because he started off the video by saying, oh, yeah, I love New Vegas. But now he's complaining about typical New Vegas quests. You go and talk to characters and learn information about the situations they're dealing with, and you search for solutions to deal with them. Yeah. Also, saying Jacobstown isn't interesting. It's literally a super mutant village. the Like, one of the only ones in the entire game besides Black Mountain. And they're not hostile. You can talk to them. How is that not interesting? And keep in You're mind, getting to speak to an entirely different species than humans. And, and keep in mind, that's one. New Vegas has two out of three super mutant villages in the entire series, and yeah. one of those was a mix between uh, super mutants, humans, and ghouls in Fallout Two. Yeah. So, 
Uh, doesn't he tell you a little bit about, uh, you know, the events of Fallout 2? Matt yeah, Mar Marcus will refer to both the events of Fallout 2 and his friend that Jacobstown is named after. Hmm. Yeah, he says, like, he even, like, lived like ran a town back in uh back near arroyo yep which is in fallout 2 yes i'm huh. wow. soon and dog seriously i don't see any point it's not just picking old lady gibson's dog every time it's less troublesome gives rex a buff and damage and it's just faster i know that the legion mongrel gives rex uh extra dt which is important in the hardcore mode but that requires advancing the main quest so you can unlock the fort in the first place, and I don't like stalling side quests, so I just don't care. Anyway, back to the main Oh my god. Okay, so that's so, all you. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all, all you. you. That's not the game's fault. Personal problem there. Uh, after we watch an old lady commit animal abuse, we travel back to Jacob's town, and we talk to the doctor. He performs the transplant, and the quest is done. Jacob's Town's quests are mostly just talking to people. Sure, there are a few parts here and there where there might be some optional combat. Much of New Vegas. <laughs> You're just talking, talking, to people. talking to people. Yeah, do you see what I mean by this is fucking stupid? He's literally complaining about the core element of the game. Why are you playing RPGs if you have an issue talking to people? He Matt, just wants to shoot things. Yeah. The, playing Morrowind would fucking kill this guy. Oh my god, look at all the dialogue in this game. All the text I have to read. Yeah. <sighs> Over as quickly as it starts. For the most part, Jacobstown's only challenge is your patience. The Net Stalker cave oh, is boy. boring. The characters except for Marcus are boring. The whole place is just boring you know, no it's boring oh it's subjective it's all just boring oh my god dude oh would you prefer then that it not be inoffensive and that it take up hours of your fucking time you have to come here you have no choice and you need to spend hours here to actually complete stuff is that what you want instead no it just wants to make a crappy video <laughs> yeah he really does just want to make a crappy video because this is shit yeah I am disappointed oh, in the owl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need a you need a license to, to use a owl avatar. You need to show that you're above a certain IQ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh man. Markers are boring. The whole place is just boring. You know what's even better? It's a huge pond right here, right in front of the lodge. Uh, yeah, this pond was actually present in the vanilla game when it came out. It's not exactly modded uh the thing is though is that they removed it with a patch later on so um i'm actually using a mod that restores the pond uh obsidian Probably literally that. went out of their way to make this place even more boring here's what it looks like without the pond jeez so okay yeah. well, 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 say, uh, okay well, so well, yes I'll that is maybe that is true well yeah that might be the case but that might be due to lots of limitations or trying to save space on the game well, no. the thing is, no one's really sure because even the mods that restore it just kind of say like, it did it. It's weird. Nobody really knows why because nobody seemed to have any issues with like frame rate drops or anything like that when they looked at it or anything. So no one's really sure why they removed it. They just did, and there are mods that restore it. I use one because I agree. I think it looks better with the pond. It's a fresh water source. Why wouldn't you put that there? Well, it might it's, be, as people are pointing out, it might be a console thing. Like, it might have fucked with the consoles. Uh, it could be. Well, well, I but, don't know. I don't I don't think it did, because I had the game on Xbox 360, and I had no issues with it when it was there. See, that and seems, I just noticed that they removed it. They removed a few things, actually, and I that, didn't understand why, because I had no issues. Hold on. That seems really, really fucking weird to me, though, for a couple of reasons. So... First of all, um, it's just a bit of water. It's nothing that significant in a fairly, like, I don't want to say small, but in an area that, you know, it's not megaton, you know? It's not um, the Vegas Strip, which has a yeah. lot of fucking shit going on in it. So I don't know why that water would be a console limitation thing. The other thing is, um, 
I'm not sure if it occludes through the ground or not, but if you clip under the ground using no clip, you'll actually see most areas of the game will have water under it. Um, yeah. Oblivion is like this. Um, Morrowind. Yeah, Morrowind is like this too, but the difference in Morrowind is they, they can't change the water level based on the cell. Uh, Fallout 3 is like this. Um, I don't know if Ooh, that... Skyrim is or not. Well, again, I, it'd be nice maybe if we had a uh, developer who would be like, yeah, this is why we removed it. Yeah, yeah, I think the Josh Sawyer mod actually puts it back. I don't know. All right. So, yeah, I'm not sure, but yeah, I, I you know, I, I do find it a bit strange, and I do like that there are mods that restore it because it, I think it does make it look better. Yeah. It's just, yeah, I, I don't know why they removed it. I will agree that it's weird that they removed it, but I don't really see it as an yeah. issue. Also, right. before we continue again, I want to point out his nut level is 182. The fucking course. <laughs> <laughs> the nut rises. He's getting a hate boner. I literally went out of their way to make this place even more boring. Here's what it looks like without the bond. Jeez. So, yeah, that's the lame piece of shit. That's Jacob's now. Not even the first track here on my first ever playthrough on console was interesting. It's just so far away from everything else. It can only be accessed with one long, boring world. No, yeah, you're wrong. It's empty as hell. There's only one interesting character just because he's recycled from Fallout no. 2. There's no, there's multiple point. interesting oh characters. My God. There's Marcus. There's there's Doc Henry. There's Calamity. Keen is actually somewhat interesting. You get Lily, who is literally a companion who you praised earlier. What the fuck? You're literally getting shit wrong. You're contradicting your own video. Yeah. Just so far away from everything else, it can only be accessed with one long, boring world. You get here and it's empty as hell. There's only one interesting character just because it's recycled from Fallout 2. So, saying recycled from Fallout 2 seems disingenuous to me, too. It Re is. Reusing a character isn't necessarily recycling. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't even consider Harold and Fallout 3 to be recycling. I think it's obvious fucking fan bait and. They're using him just because he's I iconic, but even that I wouldn't consider recycling because they're still doing something kind of new with him. Yeah, and you should never be a crazy person that every literally every single thing needs to be brand fucking new in a, in a sequel title. That'd yeah, be that's insane. so dumb. Yeah. You can't yeah. reference the old games. You're not allowed to have anything from what came before. No, you can. It just needs to be done well. And Marcus is done perfectly fine. Yep. Also, if he thinks the main road up to this place is so fucking boring, okay, then take the shortcut path that gets you here way faster. I could guarantee you won't be fucking bored then. <laughs> Fight through those Casador nests. See how much fun you have. All right. All right, well, let's see if there's a last-minute fucking shit post. Here we go. Yeah, we uh, did this pretty quickly. Yeah. And the quests, none of which are interesting to do, two of them being personal companion quests, that's just suck. Thank God the rest of the game is not like this, though. This location is just one bad apple in the middle. The rest the of the game is like this, this, you idiot. It is like this. You talk to people. You travel long distances to places to talk to people. You backtrack. The NCR, I mean, you could literally say, that, okay, well, by your logic, the NCR is is recycled content. All right. This is the video of a crazy person. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I told you this was bad. It's short, but man, it sucks. Yeah. Does does nut mean nutrition? Uh, as in his food level? Yes. No, it means your nut level. <laughs> I guess it's just... continue. Fallout two, and there's only three quests, none of which are interesting to do. Which has more than three quests as well. Quest so. just wrong there. Suck. Yep. Thank God the rest of the game is not like this though. This location is just one bad apple in the middle of a bunch of good ones. The rest of the world is pretty interesting to explore, and the rest of the game, as I said before, is great and totally worth playing. Anyway, uh, more of the story. Uh, nuclear annihilation is fun. Wait, am I forgetting something? Oh yeah, Dr. Harry. Dr. Harry is important in Arcade Games questline. Yeah, now I remember. Anyway, don't go to Jacob's town. Yeah, okay. Well, you're an idiot. Fucking yeah, you're just a fucking idiot. 
much. Dude, you actually have an editor? <laughs> I don't even have an editor. Wow. Oh, wow, yeah. you make such shit videos and you have an actual editor. Jesus well, we can't Christ. say his other videos are bad. This one is bad. This one is really shit. Yeah, but this I mean, one's it, it really wasn't even, it wasn't even edited well either. Yeah, no. It's weird. Well. Yeah, I, I right. don't know what the fuck was up with this video. It was so strange. Yeah, yeah don't go to the fucking snowy area with, you know, living trees and stuff in this fucking desert. Yeah, because that's not interesting. There's nothing to explore there. I, what the fuck are you talking about? There's all kinds of shit here. There's literally a fucking enclave base. There's even a fucking... Uh, there, there's a mine you could go into with a legendary Cazador in it. And there's a fucking enclave helmet. There's all uh, he kinds was, of shit here. He was just kind of reaching to say anything about you. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, he was thought, to, maybe he was trying to like fish for hate clicks or something like that. You know. Maybe. Well, but he had like New Vegas in the title. I I will say, um, this is a small video from a small channel, so it's possible that these two guys are new to this. So, that could like, be. try to do better next time. Not not Captain Falcon. You need to do better, but like, you guys need to do more research and maybe tune up your editing skills a bit. Um, yeah, you know, don't keep the fucking sneezes or, um, bad takes of lines in there. Like, you know, his name isn't, uh, Dr. Harry. You could re-record that and fix it. Um, yeah. the editing, I didn't. Maybe play the game more so you can use your actual footage and also you don't have to pull up the wiki page to confirm stuff. You can actually show clips of it in the game. I think yeah. he just yeah. didn't want to do that quest. And for, I, I think that's what it was. He was like, uh, I'm just going to show the wiki page. I'm not going to gather footage for that quest because this video is already really short, so he probably made it well, in like a day. Well, the thing is, you don't show any footage because that it might actually look somewhat interesting. You might actually get to see the Enclave bunker and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, no, just just flash the wiki real quick so we don't have to show anything interesting actually in this area so my narrative doesn't fall apart on me. Yeah, just frame everything as boring as possible. Say everything as boring as possible and uh show nothing. Show basically nothing. Yeah, get shit wrong and then make subjective statements about how about why it's shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. That was that one wasn't as bad as we saw, at least to me, anyway. It was, it was, it was super shit, and then it was over. It was just kind of like, out of, yeah. I, out of all the it's videos, mercifully covered, short. Yeah, of all the videos we covered, this might be the least bad one. <laughs> that's saying something. I think a lot of that is because it's so fucking short. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only reason. It's it's mercifully short. Every, everything it's in bad, it is, is but, awful ugh. and atrocious, but it's also not stretched out to like you know three times the length. Yeah. Imagine going through sixteen minutes of this. Oh god. Yeah. That would have been fucking awful. Yeah. I, again, I just recommend for this guy and his editor just try to improve in all aspects of making your video. Um. I'm just trying to be more, like, nice because it is a smaller channel, but, like... <sighs> well, again, do more research. Do more do research. research. Check your facts. Yeah. Get ask, the actually ask appropriate people. footage. Yeah. yeah, if you don't know something and you do know somebody who knows more about the game, ask them, please. Be like, hey, is, is what I said here correct? Yeah, oh, it's not? Okay, well, let me let me fix that. Especially from uh, a video this short, try to get, like, friends or whatever to just check it out to see if uh, you're on point or not, to have them preview it. Because yeah. it's harder for me to do that because I make eight-hour-long videos, but, well, I only have one that long, but you know what I mean. It, it's harder to get people a preview uh, an hour, two-hour, or more longer video. It's harder to get people to preview those than it is to get someone to preview a six-minute video. You can get yeah. someone to sit down and watch it, and it, it'd be like a fraction of their day. Yeah. 
I mean, I will say that uh, they have better uh, audio than. I. Oh, that's my, <laughs> that's my, uh, my positive uh, crit criticism, I guess. Yeah, keep the jokes. I don't mind the jokes. I thought the jokes were pretty fine sometimes. Like some of the stuff was genuinely kind of funny. Yeah. Like he seems like he has potential. It's just maybe cut out some of the cringier ones and yeah maybe uh, have a make sense and don't i don't know yeah. i i still don't know if he stole germa footage or if it was a reference or what uh, I, mean, I still I'll, don't know what that was i mean as i said before i'm not really a the biggest fan of the self-referential just yeah look how bad this video is guys that yeah. whole thing I'm not a fan of that. That's just like, yeah. I don't like just, that. that. I don't like the lazy. Like, I shouldn't be agreeing with you like 100 percent on your on your like joke as if it's a statement. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah, the video is terrible. You subjected me to it. Yep. Mm. Alrighty. So, so how you guys feeling? Well. I'm glad that video is over with faster. I'm glad the first video is over with. So I'm hold on, just I'm, really, just, uh... I'm just looking at the comments on this video. Someone commented, "Even Fallout New Vegas' worst area is still better than most games' main areas." It has an interest. Sorry, it has interesting lore, just shit gameplay. So I agree, or I disagree with the shit gameplay part. But he responds, yeah. "I like Marcus a lot. The lore behind Jacobstown is really good." But gameplay-wise and presentation-wise, which are the two things I focused on, it's just really boring. So again, you didn't that's focus subjective. on just gameplay and presentation. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, you... Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. It's a shame, really. If the path was shorter and there was more to do and more characters to meet, Jacobstown would probably be one of my favorite areas. Oh, well then, boy, oh boy, will he be surprised to learn that, hey... You can get there from Good Springs. There's a shortcut path right through the mountains that takes you straight there. You can get there within about five, six minutes of leaving Good Springs. Well, not only that, um, it feels like he's almost kind of missing the point of Jacobstown. Still, it's supposed to be small. Like, the, the, um, the Master Super Mutants, they can't reproduce. They are dying out. Like, yeah. there's a limited number of them, and they aren't fucking coming back yes yeah. th they're also being persecuted they want to be away from the rest of society they're they want to be in a remote corner of the world they don't want they don't want the attention so yeah it makes sense that it's going to be in a small area that is easily defendable with only one to two paths one of which they don't even really have to worry about because it's so infested with Cazadors that most people won't go through it. But you can. Right. Even with just a pistol, you can fight your way through the Cazadors and get there from Good Springs. Yeah. Well, do, do we want to end off on uh, uh, something positive? Something funny? Are you talking about that video that's been uh, suggested in chat numerous times? New. No. Oh, okay. What is it then? I will link it to you first, and you can decide. Uh-oh. I was going to have this play for us and let chat see it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of awkward about playing someone else's video with, like, not talking about it. There's not... I don't think there's a whole fair. lot we can say about that. Yeah. All right, that's fair. Um... Chat could check it out if they would like, though. It is uh, the Proled, P R U L uh, P R U L D, Praise yep. Till You're Hollow. It's a yep. um, it's a Dark Souls video. Which chat you guys might uh, you might like this. Yeah, it's a music video. Enjoy. Oh man, that's pretty good. So. so uh... Does anyone... Oh, uh, well, yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, um, I don't think I have anything else uh, to cover right now, I guess. Like, are we good to end it here? Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Or did you guys have yeah. anything else you wanted to say? Or... Uh, 
I mean, I'll, I'll say, you know, another uh, just shout out to uh, Versus 22. He made a direct response to this uh, this video. So can you check it out? Can you give me the link to that? I can put it in uh, chat. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll hand it to you in your D. I'll give it to you in DMs. Well, yeah, just drop in the group chat. You guys can continue conversating while I do this because it's my. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a boom when it comes to technology, so it take too long. Yeah, it's fine. Um, shit, I didn't have anything planned to talk about for, for downtime. Um, well, I know. Hey, chat. How is everyone? After. Huh? I know something we can listen to afterwards. All right. Dune review. Um, there's there's probably still gonna be Dune stuff we'll be covering. We're Excuse me. Yeah. We're not done with Dune. I would love to make a thing. I didn't realize that they were that HBO Max was taking Dune off of HBO really? Max. Really? Yeah. So, oops, I should have recorded it. <laughs> so I could have had it. So I could have done the Dune video. So that's a you know, well, we got a we got a feather in that one. At least. There, there's there's still ways to obtain it. No. No, no, no. Because that that is a movie I genuinely want to fully support. Well, yeah, support it, but what I'm saying is... Yeah, shush. For the sake of footage in a video. That's fine, it's fine, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. But... Do you... Alright. That... That seems a little bit silly to me, but alright. No, well, because I'm basically going to be using the entire... Every second of the footage, so... Yeah, but... Like, I'm just gonna wait. Okay, if I got make, other stuff I gotta do anyway. If, if you make your Dune video tomorrow and complete it and release it with alternatively obtained footage, that doesn't mean you can't buy it when it's on DVD. Like you, no, that, that, I know th those things don't. When is the next part of the Skyrim analysis coming? Um, unplanned right now. Uh, I'm trying to start on the script for it. But yeah. why does it? Why the fuck does a stream say the Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind? I didn't say that's what we're covering. Ah. <laughs> what did you go into the more options and actually change the game? I'm doing it right now. Yeah, that's what I found. I, fucking YouTube system is so weird for how to stream. It worked out really well, so I'll definitely stream it again on YouTube. But uh, yeah, it's just fucking. Uh, you got that link yet, Prometheus? Uh, oh, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna... Well, I'm getting that, uh, I'm gonna ask you... What criticism do you guys have towards, uh, New Vegas? Uh, well, we talked about it a bit before stream, but, um... I do oh. like the quest, one for my baby, because, you know, Boone is a cool character. But I think it's a bit silly how, um... How you can just get people to follow you in front of the statue with, like, no convincing. It's just, hey, I need you to come with me for a minute. And no one questions it. You don't have to, like, convince anyone that, uh... There, there's the link. Got it. Oh, cool. Yeah, you don't have to <laughs> convince anyone to, uh... to come along with you. They just will. Which is weird. Oh, so. shoot. <laughs> Versus was messaging me while this was going on, sending me the link. Rip. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, there's the link and everything. Go on about your... <laughs> well, I'm pretty much done. Um, it just it just almost kind of feels like a mod, the way uh, the way people in Novak will just follow you. So. Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty strange. All right, Pagan, if we, if we want to just do left to right, Pagan. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'm uh, apparently there was some shit going on while we were uh, doing stag, and I'm looking into it because I'm getting like messages from people saying like, "Hey, something needs to be done in general," and I'm yeah, currently going good. through it. In the server? Yeah, in yeah. the server. Jesus. Let's take a look. I'm I'm sort of of people are 
Whew, there's oh, a lot here. Awesome. There's so much. I'm trying to go through it, but it's hard to find everything. Apparently, somebody was being transphobic or something and got like super political and actually got one of the members to leave the server because they were being mean to them about it and shit like that. And I'm looking into it. Jesus. Great. All right, well. Well, Pagan's doing that, and I'll kill some time. Um, mine would be that the Legion aren't more fleshed out. That a lot of the stuff that would have been in got left on the cutting room floor. Um, yeah. Stuff like seeing an actual Legion city. I think if we had genuinely seen a Legion city or seen into Legion territory and things were running way better than the NCR, that would have been fascinating. Yeah. So I, I think we only have... As it stands, you only have uh, Caesar's charisma and just wanting to join the Legion just out of spite as real reasons to actively join them or listen to them. No. I think that I think a lot more could have been done to explain why the Legion have the philosophy they do and why people are attracted to it. Yeah. Another thing uh, I don't particularly like is that you can't have Ulysses as like a companion, you know? That sucks because like his voice and the way he like talks about stuff is really great, you know? Yeah, and he was uh, apparently originally planned to be a companion. Yeah, but you know, uh, that sucks though, isn't it? That Fallout New Vegas is not finished and will never be. You know? Yep. Unfortunately. Oh my God, though, if we if we had actually like, there's so many cool things that it could have been if we had actually been able to see the uh, a Legion held city and just like legion merchant convoys and they're just like totally fine like yeah no we don't we don't have anything to worry about if you're a bandit in legion territory you are fucked yeah, yeah i uh i heard about in fallout i think it was fallout, fallout 1 there was a town called junk town where uh if you have like a terror like a leader who's a bad person a part of the you know and like the mayor of the town he'll make it like things like that you know like i don't know as I said, I never played one or two, but I've heard about that. And I think to myself, that could kind of be like uh, Caesar's town, you know? Like, just like his town is like prosperous and amazing. And everything, just everything is well yeah, taken the, care of and everything. You know? Yeah, the ending you go with for um, Killian is, it sets up to the effect of it's a bit of a frontier justice, but keeps the town safe or something, or the town prospers. Hmm. Right. All right. Uh, one of these days, I do have to play Fall One or Two. You know, because oh yeah, absolutely. Because uh, because a lot of the 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 people who like the original uh, the original games, they say you know New Vegas is the most like the original games, and I like New Vegas a lot. So yeah, you know, I, I absolutely I can take recommend a look. it. It's a bit hard getting uh, used to the controls at first, but once you do, it is a very good game. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, it should, it should be fun, I think. Yeah. One of these days, I might, I might just, like, a stream. Uh, don't quote me on that, but, like, I might do one, most likely. Like, 95% sure I will do. <laughs> um, so, I guess we'll end it there? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, you know, uh, thanks, you guys, for, uh, letting me come on. No problem. Thank you for coming on. It's good having you on again, man. Yeah, it's been real, you know. All right. <laughs> so, everyone in chat, check out uh, Versus 22's video. Check out Prometheus and um, his video in response to the Dark Souls guy. Um, I have another. I have another video in the works. Of this uh, the same person too. So. All right. It might be out. It might be out Wednesday. That's the like the longest I can do. All so. right. Well, yeah. Check out Prometheus Prime. Um, I can't remember if I put the link in the description or not, but I will after the stream. Um, right. and Setch, you're streaming on YouTube now, aren't you? Yes, we're giving it a good old college try and good experiment. We went really well the first time through, so we're gonna we're gonna try it again tomorrow and just yeah, see how it goes. No. Yeah. Pagan, anything to end off on? 
Mm, no, I think I've got everything I know I've wanted to say. Out. You you should have just said yes and left it at that. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you for coming.